There are really people in the chat who see Jaden in the title and think it's it's like not going to happen. They think it's like click. I I understand the Jaden clickbait, but I saw some comments of people like, yeah, fifty percent chance she's here. I I've never lied about the Jaden presence. If I ever say Jaden's going to be there, I I mean it. Yeah, you know, like it'd be so strange. I think it'd be weird. You know, I would even go so far to say I I I simply just think it would be weird. If I said she was here and she wasn't, I think <laughs> I think it'd be just bizarre. Um, oh, chat, why? Oh, it's because I was listening to Sabrina Carpenter. That's why chat's so tall. There we go. <sighs> then where is she? She's eating lunch. I am doing what we in the business call stalling while she eats her lunch. So don't worry about it. She'll be here eventually. <laughs> Now we have our little yippies right there. Hmm. Oh, I s thank you everyone for showing up though. And uh, the hype train. A uh, real shame we didn't get the gold kappa for the millionth time in a row. But it is what it is. Thank you for all the subs and all the primes and everything. And panic with the signature tier too, as always. Um, thank you, thank you everyone. Uh, I wasn't really excited about this because obviously I was going to do a tier list. Uh, ranking lions versus Pokemon today. I'll do that another day, but I I was like really um, I Kind of like the idea of this stream because Jaden kind of wanted she wanted to record it with me And I was like ah, I want to stream today and then you know kind of pitched the idea of like what do we do both? Because uh, I love too many types. It's you know, it's a great 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 mod and It's just a lot of fun and I get to watch her play which is fun, but my thing is, like, I like having stream games where I don't actively have to do anything, you know? I would even count uh, the Let's Go Pikachu Eevee Shiny Hunt as one of those because <clears throat> it was a very mind-off game. It feels like I can talk to chat more, you know what I mean? Are you being lazy? I hear you. Uh, I hear you. I actually don't think it's lazy because instead of putting my energy into playing the game, I put it into commentating. And I, I like talking to chat. I like the games where I can just kind of not focus on, on it. It's just like glorified just chatting streams. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where we're going. Not only is Jaden in the thumbnail, she's doing all the content. That's true. Hi, Jaden. Oh, okay. Jaden's here. Not clickbait. She just cracked open my door and stared at me. Hello. Is she here? Hello, I'm here now. I oh, meant to walk Jayden, back. Oh, you're real. Okay, so <laughs> here, I'll I need go. to turn your volume down on my Discord. Here's a little Jaden. It's tiny me. Tiny Jaden. She's okay, actually here. Good. I would say it would just be weird if she wasn't. <laughs> I think it would be a bit peculiar. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited to uh, hop in, Jaden, to too many types? I'm so excited. I'm, I've been wanting to play this for so long, and Since so long just out. keeps long getting longer. Yeah, I think... Uh... <clears throat> When, when, guys, chat, when did I do this? I want to say this was like, oh shit, was it like August, September of last year-ish? Was that it? Was it really? I just realized how long ago that was. It was like a year ago. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, the Jaden schedule works in years. <laughs> sure does. Here, let me, uh, <laughs> too many types. Let me see when my YouTube video was uploaded. Um... Because I know I uploaded on the Friday, and I think I streamed it, like, the Monday. Because I remember getting it turned around fast. Uh, yeah, if it's September 4th, I want to say it was streamed on, like, September 13th last year or something like that. So, like, before a year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, here's a the actual bit. VOD. The VOD says uh, September 12th. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Mm. It's, it's, it's been a while. Yeah, and it's August 24th. So not That's a not year. even close to being a year. We've got like a couple of weeks left. Can we say can we say <laughs> why you're playing it now? Um I mean, 
I want to make it a, into a video, and I'm the video schedule is open now. Yeah. <laughs> so Mr. Beast video really threw a wrench in your organization. Yeah, it's... First of all, I, I went into the goddamn queue being like, okay, I'm gonna just have fun. <laughs> People know I'm I'm important enough to be invited, and then no, I leave. No, when Jaden, when you were talking to me about it, you were like trying to weigh the pros and cons of going, and you said I'm gonna go just to remind people I exist, and then you won. <laughs> yeah, purely for ego, <laughs> because because if I don't go, then people think I'm not important enough to go. It's, it was uh in the Andy Sam, the Lonely Island, the what was it? A pop star never stop, never stopping. They have a line of like. It's like, of course you sell out, because if you don't sell out, people are going to assume you never had the opportunity to sell out. Mm hmm <laughs> Um, yeah, I almost did not go, because I've been saying this for the past, like, couple of years of my life, where I was like, I just want a single month where I don't travel anywhere. Mm -hmm. And and June 2024 was going to be my month until Mr. Beast Cube spawns, and I go, I gotta go. I, I gotta go into the cube uh and then i fucking won it and i was like well i i should just make a video on it mm -hmm. so that i was working on a different video and then i just had to go into the i had to come back and be like guys we gotta drop everything yeah and it's just been a while <laughs> and then two months <laughs> sneak out a main channel Jaden Pokemon video so here we are yeah that's why I'm I'm I want to play it is like I don't really want to do I'm not really feeling Nuzlocke right now but I do <laughs> like uploading co Pokemon content and it's been a while so I feel like this is perfect can't wait to draw I feel like <laughs> drawing the Pokemon as types there are some it could get offensive, so just err on the side of caution, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I, I, I heard that part of it gets a little political. <laughs> Some might say, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I can do. And I will kind of use this as a soft announcement for everyone else. Uh, let me let me find it. Uh, we have not started actual production on this, but let me let me find this. I, oh. It's in my notes. Where the hell? Uh, right here in my phone is uh, 100 new types. Whoa! So we uh. Drop one spoiler, um, please. One spoiler um, of the new types. Hmm. Okay, I will drop one. Scrunkly type. Scrunkly type? Yes. Oh, I can't wait. Is this gonna have just the Gen 3 decks, or is it gonna have more guys? I mean, you'll see. Oh, wow. I mean, this this game goes up to Gen 8, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it does? Yeah. Damn. I don't think Too Many Types has any Gen 9 Pokemon in it. I think this was before they got added to, like, the EX expansion thing. Mm. Um... <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think, like, who's the most... Because I know Phalanx is in it. Uh, but I think... I don't think a Gen 9 Pokemon is in this game. I can't... Definitely add Paradox in the next one. I feel like there's a lot of funny ones Ooh. you could add. Yeah, for sure. I mean, just adding an extra batch of Pokemon it opens up so many new types. Yeah, is who's the Gen 9 Scrunkly guy? Scrunkle. Um, I'm thinking... Maybe that little, like, graffiti monkey thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Grafai I see it. Is that his name? Uh, uh Grafai is the big one. Shrudel is the little one. I don't know which one gives off more scrunkle, but I think it's it's in the family line. Oh, also, I will leak one more type I had in my mind for when we start this. Of course, because, mm -hmm. like, I go into this thinking, like, what is the thumbnail? Like, how do I... What is the thumbnail? And... Uh, last time, I wanted Breaks to be a starter specifically so we could do Magic Furry in the thumbnail because I knew it would do well. And this one, the specific one, I'm adding... I want Lucario added as Furry Goku type. That is, oh, that is going to be Goku. the one in my head. That's so it lands one. all the same. Is there a second Goku, Goku type Pokemon, though? Or is it just... 
Is it just I mean, Lucario? Isn't Chimchar the Goku guy, or is that yeah? No, I think Infernape, like that's Sun God, right? Yeah. Or uh, Sun Wukong. Yeah, I guess he's a monkey. Yeah. I think Infernape can be Goku type. Yeah. Yeah, he is just that. Yeah, he's literally... <laughs> Infernape is literally... Oh, his name is Goku in Japanese. That's awesome. Oh, wait, really? Well, That's it's like, cool. It's, it was something else. It's longer. It starts with... Uh, Gokazaru or something, but like... Yeah, it's fine. Mewtwo is Frieza type. That is true, but I don't think we're adding Frieza type. <laughs> Who? What else would be we Frieza just have type besides Vegeta one? Vegeta type, Bulma type. We're just really diving <laughs> into it. Pokemon, uh, Dragon Ball Z types. The, the it's ROM. so niche. <laughs> <laughs> but it would hit. Do you? Yeah, I'm happy to jump into it if you want to. Uh... Yeah, I'm ready. I'm staring at the silly little Rayquaza on the screen. He. I forgot how silly we made him. And by we, I mean not me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me... But it's it's the vision. Yeah, I saw Cannons in chat, one of the, the modders on it. Hi, Cannons. Okay, I'm good to go on my side. Let me, let me unmute it. Okay, let's see here. Oh, my controller is being weird. God damn it. Hold on. Tools settings does jane have a cold so remember how i was sick not too long ago and then my cough kind of lingered well jane mm -hmm. and i live together so uh you know yeah i, I got <laughs> i got bronchitis <laughs> you didn't get it nearly as bad as i did luckily but no not not yeah you were like bedridden yeah your cough has definitely lingered much longer than mine I feel yeah. like, you know when you see someone yawn and then you yawn? For me, that's been with Jaden coughing every time she... Oh. I'm just going to reset it and okay. see if this fixes the controller. It, it did. Just, it was so I sudden on my end. <laughs> I don't think I um, said anything, but in the last draft lock, um, my controller just straight up disconnected like two or three times. Do you want to borrow so my like... controller? I won't be using it. I don't think it's a controller thing. I think it's... Maybe it is. I don't know. But it's just... I mean, yeah, the birds have chewed on this wire. It's fine. I think I'm sharing again. Am I? No. Oh, oh. oh I have to click watch stream. My bad. Oh. I see... People are seeing Jaden eating burger for the first time. I love this one. Someone drew it for me in, uh, on Twitter, and I, I have it as my, my profile picture. I love snack time, snack a.k.a. Time. eating Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. It's okay. I Chad had to deal with me coughing for like weeks. It happens. That's true. Hi. <laughs> is this Pokemon. a Nuzlocke? No, I think this game is genuinely very hard to Nuzlocke. I've seen a Go couple ahead. people Nuzlocke it. I think uh, Squirk is like the one who actually, I think it actually wiped on post patch pre, like when Savali did like zero damage because I think they had like a full like uh, uh, counter strat against it and it just didn't work. I think this is a very hard Nuzlocke for what it's worth. Yeah, so. it sounds very intense. Yeah, I think especially with the Elite Four being as genuinely challenging as it is uh, and it kind of feels similar to like most of like the top level Nuzlocke games where it's like if you don't get the good first few encounters you just reset like yeah it's it's like I'm I love Nuzlocke's but I would like to just be able to enjoy this game <laughs> that's the thing yeah yeah it's it's a hard Nuzlocke oh it's been so long since I've played Pokemon at all do I need to go over here I think we skipped a lot of stuff you might be able to just send it I'll check in yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think you just go and catch your Pokemon, which you kind of know most of the types, see probably. The guy. I mean, I think I've forgotten a lot. That sounds believable. Been... Yeah. <laughs> because I am who I am, and it's also been a year, and I you do do the that. <laughs> oh, oops. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait, let me. Uh, I messed something up. I have to. Oh. 
I moved the windows around and it messed up how it looks on stream. No. I see. Okay, now we're good to go. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Chikorita. Oh. Okay, I don't know. I get one at a time. <laughs> Pop Leo. Oh, wow, well, look at all these guys. I don't even know their types. I want to do Fennekin, but I kind of want to... I love me a Pop Leo. I... I... None of these starters really stand out to me, though. I think... Hmm. I think you'll like the Pop Leo. I think you think you I will. like the Pop Leo? I think you will. Pre Prima Arena has really grown on me. I love Prima Arena. That's a Prima little Arena. bit of a Poplio hater. It's I'll become be, a top 10 honest. Pokemon for me. I just adore Prima Arena. Prima Arena is very Jacob coded. Mm -hmm. Water gun. I guess I can check right now what, what his little type is. Water silly type! Oh, little guy! <laughs> I need to turn my, my microphone down. I'm pe I'm already peeking my microphone. Yeah, that's why I was excited. You'd love the little water silly guy. Water silly guy! Yeah. <laughs> I oh, can't also, wait to see... you can... If you back out real quick... Oh, or, no, oops. I mean, this won't die. Um, Rage. If you press R, like, on the home right here, I think it shows you the enemy's type. Oh, oh, it's it's also it's L. Angie. I feel like Angie could be pretty good against Silly. Or maybe it's the other way around. Oh wait, yeah. I'm gonna go in with no type chart. That's how it should be. Trying to understand mm -hmm. the type chart is harder than just sending it, if I can be honest. Yeah, like we gotta have some challenge. You saved me. Can I keep this guy, please? Please! Do you have a name in mind for the <laughs> silly? Silly... Hmm... Yay! Yippee! Oh, and for all the people uh, hopping in, no, this is not a new Too Many Types. It's the same Too Many Types you've seen before. The only difference is uh, Jane wanted to play it and I wanted to stream, but she wanted me to watch, so uh, <laughs> we, we're doing it all at the same time. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Silly. It's hard because Poplio is such a little little guy, and then he turns into such a beautiful creature. So I can't. It's. I'm trying to find like a good balance between, yeah, like Goober and Princess. Oh, Brayden's <laughs> in chat talking shit on Poplio. What, Brayden? What the fuck? Chose Chikorita in this game though, so like. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Um. <laughs> There's a vertical white line on the side of the cat. Yeah, yeah, I'm a. That's part of the that's, the that's, bar. That's the that's the the stream layout. That is I'm... the streamer layout. Uh, okay. What am because I'm also thinking like. Welcome to my to... <laughs> GBA streams. It's always been, it's always been there. Um. There's a, Jacob. There, I don't yeah. want to alarm you, but there's a white border around your webcam. Thank you. Thank you for the information. <laughs> I also have to like keep in mind like what name I'm gonna be using for the animation because I want to name him Yippy, but that's kind of hard to say in an animation. But then you could draw him as a little Yippy guy through all the evolution. You're right, and then it's easier on the animators. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Yippee. 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 Huh? Yippee. I think it's Yippee. But with Did so many more it? E's. I like the simple Yippee. 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 Oh, you're right. It is two E's. I need to start over. <laughs> Fuck. No. Did I really put... <sighs> yeah, you misspelled Yippee. It's okay. She's starting over. No, you're gonna... Look, you can change it when you get to Slateport. It's not too far. What is going on with my game? Oh, there's just two of them now. I clicked the ROM twice. I'm already starting over. Okay. <laughs> cool. Look, I'll, I'll... There's not that much that I had to have to keep up with. No, you're right. To... Look, if I'm gonna restart, that's the best time to do it. 
I didn't want to wait till slate port. I also have no speed up button. Did that? Did that mute? It did. All right, cool. Someone more to make sure. There you go. Look how noise. fast that was. Uh, thank you again. I'm try. I hate saying shouting out subs and stuff when I'm in call with other people, but thank you. There have been so many primes just showing up, and thank you for everyone. I know it's Jaden Clickbait, but thank you for watching anyways. I appreciate it all the same. Also, will Hard this be a video no, I see? Chat, uh, exclamation mark video. I, I it's disabled the speed same up as always because been. we're so used to not using it. Look, <laughs> I'm right here. It's different this one time. <laughs> There we go. Hello again, Poochiana. You win these. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Historically, you win these. I just reset to beat him up again. Well, wait, that that last one was like a crazy good special attacking Pop Leo. Ah, oh, god damn it. His rage is building now. He's so mad. <laughs> He's pissed. He's so angry. No, you angy. just had the good damage roll. This is the best <laughs> Poplio you could ask for. You're right. <laughs> Worst IVs, says Brayden. Hating feels, on finding any opportunity it. to hate on this Poplio specifically. <laughs> Pulled it off with a plum. Poplio, I I know just the name. <laughs> Yeah, think it over. <laughs> yeah, how did I think that was right? I can't, I'm just so, I'm, I can't believe it. <laughs> you just sent it so fast. <laughs> I'm a fake fan. <laughs> What's the deal with physical special split in this ROM? The, uh, What's the deal? The, the deal is that it's, it's there. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. What's the deal with this <laughs> better feature? <laughs> All right, who we who are we getting? There's so many guys. Centrit. Yeah, there's a little centrit. Centrit is centrit silly. Let me check. Let me ch according to my calculations, it's normal fluffy type. <laughs> wow. You really have forgotten everything. I think it's what's so funny about getting Jaden into media is like <laughs> I can blatantly spoil things for her, knowing <laughs> that by the time she consumes the media, she's forgotten everything. <laughs> There's just so much for me to keep in my mind that nothing else has room anymore. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Honestly, me too. I feel like Jane's one of the few people who can experience <laughs> something for the first time multiple times. Yeah, like, I mean, I've said it before, but when I consumed all of One Piece after you spoiled every part of it to me... <laughs> well, okay, I... so the context... I don't yeah. spoil things. Jaden is so bad at consuming <laughs> media that this thousand plus chapter series, I was like, you're never going to read this. She's like, I'm never, ever in my life going to read this. I don't care <laughs> if you spoil it. And then I just talk at, but I talk at her while I'm reading it for the first time. Mm -hmm. And then she Crabby. gets into it. Well, I did it for, for you as a joke. Crab type! I knew cra Crabby was the crab type. I like the little logo for it. Oh, people love the crab type. I do too. Let me um, move my OBS over here. I'm just going to put this info out there. Crab type is, like, busted. Crab type is really? very good. Maybe I should grab me a little crab. You should. Absolutely. <laughs> So okay, I know you're, like, not sporting. wanting to use Water Gun here, but keep in mind, Krabby is not a water type. Yeah, I guess. I just assumed cr water, like, water was not effective on Crab type. You're probably right, but I'm just saying, you never know in this game. I'll see. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> but it did so much more damage. It, I suppose it did. I need to go buy Pokeballs. That was not the crab for me. Does Jane have the Yippee type chart? To no. Six. No, I'm I'm going in blind. I think the game's way more fun if you go in blind, unless you're nuzlocking. Then I think it's like impossible. 
Yeah, not the type. I think the type chart's too hard to read, but I know somebody what? made like a, like just an, like a, I guess like an input. You say, this is the type, this is the type I'm hitting. What does it, how much damage does it deal? And I think that's much easier to use. There's so many crabs in this grass. Also, I forgot that I can't have Pokeballs yet. Type calculator. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot <laughs> the word of calculator. Yeah, I don't have the Pokemon calc up. What? The the Pokemon type calc. Yeah, what's he saying? Oh, sorry, Jacob. Um, chat, you you probably know because it's slang, but you know, calc stands for for it's short for calculator. <laughs> the way Jaden fucking hates that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really... Look, I can tolerate like one here <coughs> here and there. But sometimes, like, Jacob and I will watch reels together, and and their feed is just like... If that guy posts a reel, we see it, and it's just too I think it's hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's like... Oh no, wait. What type is Chikorita, Jaden? Oh, you're right! I forgot again. Grass bean! <laughs> He's a little grass bean. Water's gotta be so bad against Chikorita. I mean, how, how do beans handle water? They, they absorb it, don't they? Yeah, I guess so. I, I look. I just look stupid. <laughs> I think I lose the fight now. <laughs> Come on, yippee. Do you have a potion, maybe? I do have the, the free potion. <laughs> okay, we win these. Battle. It was a close battle of tiny little, tiny little things, little creatures just punching each other. Yippee did not For die. Like... Yippee never dies. A silly little guy. You're not too shabby. Also, I don't know if you want to, how you want to play with the candies, but you do have the infinite rare candy in your bag. Mmm. I'll probably do it. I'll use the candy like right before a gym later. Probably. Yeah, that's fair. Off we go. I'm- I'm coming! Oh my god! Just to really remind the kids what direction they need to go in. <laughs> the direction you're already going, just keep doing it. Don't- don't falter. Hi. I- I- as a kid, I thought that, uh, Professor Birch had, like, angry eyebrows. Oh my Do god, it's it? his hair. I thought that until like, this exact moment. Yeah, <laughs> I like, I flip-flop between seeing it and not seeing it because I it's naturally, just... I just thought, I didn't think it was that he had eyebrows, I just thought his eyes went downward. Yeah. Like, like angled. He just has, like, or like, eyeliner or something. Yeah. He, no, his just hair is just, like, whenever I see him as just like the little dot eyes, he's so much kinder looking. Same, he looks very kind now that I am only focusing on the eyes. <laughs> I've I've definitely processed many of these sprites incorrectly as a kid. Now you got to you got to get your crab. I gotta get a crab. Or are you like your little normal fluffy guy? <laughs> I like normal fluffy, but Centret is a little boring. Oh, they've got the R button for Pokeball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm coughing so much. Yeah, you're having a full tantrum over there. <laughs> I think, like, it probably would have been gone if we didn't go to Worlds and I was just trying to not cough around people. Yeah, you're really So I still have to in. get it out of my system. Oh, there's Let a whole a subreddit to, uh, dedicated to misunderstood pixel art. That's really funny. Oh, really? I should see... I should... Well, this guy! Where Little are the crabs? Guy. I don't need you. I'm trying to think of, like, what types could be good... <coughs> Where do they go? You kill all the crabs. They're scared. <laughs> Can you randomize too many types? Uh, not easily, but in theory, there yeah. There he is. A little, a cute little female crab. Tiny little crab. And it's got bubble already, it's so smart. Hey, 
Hey, Kobe, uh, what level does Crab get the move at? I'm pretty sure it's pre Brawly, right? I think it's like 17, 18. Pre Brawly is a, a big crab move. Yeah. It, it is a. Yeah, yeah, it's a big crab move. I got her! Yay! The crab comes home. What do I even name? I feel like Krabby is already such a perfect name for crab type. For the crab type? <laughs> yeah. How are we mm. feeling? <clears throat> crab type's the most iconic type in the game. I, I do agree. I think it took on a life of its own, but, but to be fair... <laughs> muted myself for spoilers. You literally made it a crab I think crab it's going to stay crabby. Like, you forced it. You, we, of course it is. Even after evolution, it's going to be crabby. Oh, it's crabby forever. It's crabby forever. The eternal crabby. I got to go heal her up. Eugene Krabs probably would not fit Jet. <laughs> and also, if you want to... Uh... The, it's not like the cap candy that we use in like the draft lock. It's just like infinite amounts of rare candies. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. I'm so draft lock pilled. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Panic. Thank you for the tier two gift to <laughs> Krabby. Whoa, she's here. Vice grip. Is it spelled differently? Yeah. What's in this grass? I guess, like, I guess I'll I find out because I need to walk through it. Hello, Ted! It's just your normal guy. This has got to be water... Water silly, maybe? Grass vibe. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, not every Pokemon is silly, unfortunately. I think just so many of the little guys are so silly, though. It's funny how much more appealing of a catch a lot of these are, just knowing what their types are. Yeah, I want to have all of them, but I, I can't. I can't. What's like the highest and the lowest damage roll? Yeah, I mean, he did growl me. Oh, okay. I didn't. I missed that one. That changes things. I wonder, like, in the. Like collective. Oh, she's got a snom. That's a little friend. Oh, it's ice an ice bean. bean. D duh. <laughs> so cute. Die. <laughs> um, I wonder, like, in the collective of everyone in the entire world's games, how many this one trainer has has been beaten because th he's like the first mandatory trainer. Yeah. How many? How many of his zigzagoons and snoms have fallen? <laughs> Uh, millions. What is really interesting about too many types, I don't think I ever really talked about this too much in my video, but how the the game is actually kind of randomized because the modders didn't want to take the time to make teams for every single trainer. Mm -hmm. So there's actually a randomizer in the game already with trainer Pokemon who aren't major battles. Oh, and interesting. They just take like the rough BST of like Zigzagoon that he would normally have and it cycles mm, of the Pokemon in the decks around the that. BST. That's so cool. Yeah, so and what's it shows, this guy have? So everyone gets like a, you know, <laughs> roughly different experience whenever they play too many types. Is this, this is song type. Whoa, and it's good on crab. Of course, I mean, you have to, it's, you get it, you get it. I do get it. Mm, let's see, let's bring Krabby out. <laughs> Every copy of Too Many Types is personalized. Exactly. Weasel. Yeah, Crab is weak to the rave. They are a, a mere victim of the rave. <laughs> they just can't help it. Oh, Crab is not good on Fluffy type. Okay. I, I can see that. I can see that. God damn it. Crabby, you got this. Crabby, break through. Yes. Oh, huge Crabby play. Crabby is locked the fuck in. What is uh, weasel it. type? Is it water fluffy? Uh, water fluffy, yeah. One more time. 
Robbie hits those. Broke out immediately. <laughs> it wanted to kill that weasel. Bug catcher Rick. What if you encounter a Torchic? Uh, I, I, I don't think I can. I, I'll bet money she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet money she doesn't. <laughs> now I wanna. Ooh, Impidimp. Is this. Is this evil. I evil little guy? Dark Gamer Uno! Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Well, there are three types <laughs> in the game. Like, Pokemon right. can have three types. Okay, Dark Gamer Reverse. Uno Reverse. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm just gonna throw song type. Is this at a it. wild Pokemon or a trainer? A trainer. Okay. I was like, I didn't know Impidimp was out this early. Okay, okay. Let's see what Gamer has to say against water type. Take a shower. What? It's got what? So, so no. here's the logic you got to think about. Not only is it a gamer type. It is an Uno Reverse gamer type. Oh, oh. Yeah, of course. Oh, he's a mischievous guy. He goes okay. against the grain of gamers. Okay, okay, I got that. But you were right. You were right. Hmm. Water is normally uh, super effective on gamers. <laughs> the gamer type. <laughs> Porygon. What type is Porygon, Jaden? Uh, he's got to be Shapes type. Prime game. Oh my god, he's got a team of gamers out here. <laughs> oh wait, but water. <laughs> the prime gamer falls to Krabby. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and wow, this... Chad's suddenly checking out who has Prime on Twitter. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> it's funny because like I feel like the modders really threw a bone to not just me, but all the streamers all who played the streamers. this. Because <laughs> I've watched other people play this, and everyone makes the exact same joke when Prime type comes on screen. Yeah. And it works! I'm not Thank streaming, you. so I didn't have the brain for it. Of course, yeah. It's just a little reminder, because a lot of people have it who don't even realize it. Thank you for the subs. <laughs> you might want to just check. What a crazy, what a crazy team that guy's building. Mono gamer type. Thank you to everyone who's joining the, the Discord to download too many types. Because Discord just gave me a terrifying notification I've never seen before that says oh. unusual join activity detected. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> yeah, so I just had to mark it as it's okay, but. I just, I've never seen a warning on my Discord before. Yeah, if Discord is letting you know about something, that something can never Something's be bad. good. Something's <laughs> bad. Song type. Um, how about Crab? Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't have Crabby out here. No! Okay. Oh, it's just Pound. Doesn't know any songs <laughs> yet. He doesn't know that my Crabby falls to the hands of singing. Do you play this on Switch? Uh... No. <laughs> no, it's on Game Boy. Oh, pretty so ponyta. Friend Magic Gender. <laughs> this is like the MLP Pokemon. This is so cute. <laughs> Eat crab. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to think of like, is there an acronym to match MLP with the pipes? So cute. Chat, I just want to say, wow, I the one, one joke I, I made about horse. Twitch Prime has gone so far. Uh, Onwards, it feels further good than to... it normally goes. Thank you for um, all the Prime subs. Fight all the trainers. That's a lot. Once. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, what joke, right? Yeah. What joke? What joke of the... I just said the Prime Gaming joke worked very well, and I was just thanking the people for that. <laughs> Let's see here. Maybe I should have checked what other Pokemon are in this grass. 
It's another fluffy guy. Okay. It is another fluffy guy. Ain't nothing wrong with another fluffy guy. Nothing ever wrong with little fluffy guy. Chat, my love for Furret has exponentially grown. Um, because <laughs> we, I have, of course, like all my plushes in my office. And I put Furret against like, there's like a big window. I assume I don't have to go to the gym. Oh, come on. Oh, let go of me. <laughs> Unhand me. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's me tell my story. If I can focus. Um, I just have like all my giant Pokemon plushes in the corner of my room and the room has like a window that goes down to the floor. Uh-huh. Uh, and Tostada has decided that she loves to sleep on Furret. Because it's like safe and behind everything. Well, like my like Fraser loves sleeping on like the big Arcanine, and there's a yeah, tiny fur next to it. And Tostada likes to be like the other cats. She loves Fraser. So when F Fraser's actually he's sleeping on it right now. He's on my giant Arcanine. <laughs> I have a little I need to picture see of what Tostada this guy right is. here of her just curled up in a ball. <laughs> Sleeping on, on fur, fur it. <laughs> so cute. I also have another so. funny picture of her just kind of staring off into space. But she just she just does that a lot. <laughs> she does. <laughs> it looks like a it looks like a ID photo. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> Creature spelled C R E E C H E R. <laughs> what? That's crazy creature she is a creature though she is i've just never thought to spell it like that <coughs> i kind of like it but it's Yay. also unsettling wally caught a roll only took you a million years idiot <laughs> creature kevin Creature Kevin. Creature with the K. We got real into spelling things with the K the other day on stream. In name For of what? comic book Kevin. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, what were you streaming yesterday? Of course, of course. My clothes aren't dirty, therefore I'm not uh, an elite trainer. Hmm. I'll go down and fight these guys. Excuse me, excuse me. Hi, Mari. Uh, they're not Mari. new types. They're just, it's the too many types of ROM from before. But Jaden, uh, she plays things years after she attempts to. So here <laughs> we do. are. Fighting stinky type? Gross. I, he's disgusting. a gym bro. I think a fight stinky. Works. I know exactly what you need, buddy. Uh, just a few bubbles. Exactly what I thought, <laughs> except this Krabby is not very good at special deck. You'll get more <laughs> uh, crab moves. It's also funny you lose out on your stab on Bubble now. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah. I completely forgot about that. Hit him with the crab. Well, crab also works. Crab also does very crab good work here. On f does crab work on fighting? See, that's the hard part now, right? Like, now you have to figure out which is, <laughs> is it, correct. Is crab good on fighting or is it good on stinky? <laughs> you Chingling. really have to think about it. Hmm. I'm going to test out. I'm going to keep testing out, researching the crab type. Chingling. Now I understand, like, Pokemon professors. Oh, crab is not good. What type is uh, strong here? Song type. How did the Pokemon professors even process that Pokemon have types? Like, I understand, don't think about it. But yeah, you know? I mean, I get, I can see it for, like, you know, the water, fire, electric. Yeah. But then when you see, like, psychic type, you're like, how do you know? Yeah, I feel like whenever the Pokemon professors were like, oh, we have water type and ice type, some chemistry professors were like, okay, <laughs> I, come on now. Or, like, <laughs> rock and ground. 
Oh, I feel like they just mm -hmm. made Fairy up eventually. I mean, for sure. I think they were just like, something weird is happening on some of these interactions between Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Maybe we missed something. Oh my god, come on. Yeah, like, what is a fighting type Pokemon, truly? Aren't they all? Can't we all be fighting type Pokemon if we really try hard enough? Yippee! Like, there's 18 different tangible crystallized in Okay, that is true, I guess. But then why did it take us so long to find the last three? Who knows if even more are afoot. I need yeah. to heal up. I really do like that Pokemon has kind of like put their foot down and been like, yeah, we did need to add fairy, but we're good since then. <laughs> yeah. I need to... I'm going to assign my, my, my GBA speed up button because... I miss it. Where's my stuff? Also, I should actually save. Not diss on my fairy babies. The fairies are great. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying they just came so late. <laughs> it's, I think fairy was very good for the type chart all around. Because I think its weaknesses are steel and poison, of course. And I think those are two types that have never been, like, super offensively relevant. Of course, like, they are super effective against different types, but, like, Steel before was super effective against Rock and Ice, which are types that already have a lot of common weaknesses. And Poison, it's just... Well, Grass... And what else is Poison super there effective against? Am, am what was that? Blanking? Sorry, was... I was not listening. It's not bug. It's not super effective on bug. Is it? Oh, engine one. Oh, oh, engine one. I didn't know about what that. Does, so it's why? Just grass I didn't know that. And when, and when did they fairy. realize that bug eats the grass? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. So poison. Yeah. Wow. Poison was awful <laughs> from gens two to five. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it was mainly used as, like, a defensive type, so I guess, but it's yeah. that's no excuse, also. Psychic? No. Psychic Ancient. is strong against uh, poison. Because poison doesn't exist, you just, you just think it away. What? <laughs> yeah, it's only a secondary type. That's fair. I think the fairy... Being super effective against fairy is so good because, like, it just gave mm -hmm. two kind of irrelevant offensively type very good utility. Because, I mean, steel is yeah. still, like, so defensive, whereas, like, steel could be super effective against nothing and it's still a good type. Yeah, because it has how many resistances? Like, 14 or something? Uh, out of the 18 types, I think it peaked at 12 and then they removed uh, ghost and psychic. Mm. No, no, it was Ghost... What was it? What type? Ghost in Dark, right? I think those are oh. the moves they removed. Yeah. <gasps> P-Dov! Poison beats fighting hey. type. That's not true. Boring flying, no! <laughs> He's just a bird! This is, this is P-Dov slander. Vice grip. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Krabby grows stronger every day. I think one big part about growing up with Pokemon is like, it, it's kind of like you reach, it's a thought you realize as an adult when you can process how strong normal type actually is. Because mm -hmm. I feel like as a kid, you just think it's really bad because it's not super effective on anything. Yeah, it's sus fluffy. I want one of these guys. You want a little sus fluffy guy? I want a little sus fluffy Zorua. There you go. Okay, crab type can handle dark type. Whoa, Krabby's getting a little strong out here. I think it's so <laughs> funny. What? When did... You know, I haven't been paying... Oh. Water is good on Fluffy. Yeah, because it like... That makes sense. Flat, yeah, it kind of ruins the whole fluffiness of it. It is. You're right, you're right. You guys are geniuses. I want the thing. 
Normal kind of mid defensively, but it's actually surprisingly decent defensively. Yeah, just say yeah. That's that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> so you agree? <laughs> Cricket tot. Song? I knew. It. Oh, I like his little <laughs> dance. I knew he was gonna be Bug Song. Mm -hmm. Oopsie. Oh, I forgot. I moved to the moves. Eat mud. I think Stellar type is a really bide. crazy addition because no one really cared. No, I. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that. I think we've reached a point in society where people don't really care about things anymore. I think Krabby's dead. Well, yeah, Jaden and I decided that we wanted to watch through, like, all the Marvel films up to, like, Infinity or, like, Endgame. Just to kind of, like, see if nostalgia is correct or, like, are the new movies bad or is it, were these actually good? Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, in Captain America the First Adventure, you have, like, uh, Mr. Howard Stark, who's like showing off, like these are the fly floating cars you can fly in the future. <laughs> yeah. And it's like people nowadays don't give a fuck about flying cars. Like we as a society were were gagged at the idea of flying cars. I think a and lot of cartoons like, <laughs> and everything. No one gives a shit anymore. What was that? Yeah, cartoons and everything really portrayed flying cars as like the peak of the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, air traffic sounds awful. Exactly. It's just like so many just worse realize... things happen if cars can fly. Imagine like a car accident, but instead of hitting the car, you also have to fall six feet onto the floor. Oh, yeah, it's awful. <laughs> so few people survive car accidents from that moment forward. It's just like it's crazy that just we as a society just dropped it like we were also gagged at the idea of aliens, and the government literally said, like, what was it, like, six months, a year ago, like, by the way, they do exist, and we're like, we're busy. Yeah. We've got other things <laughs> to worry about. Just saw a response, it was like, I'm sorry, I just got a lot going on right now. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I liked the, the silly Inky. 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 Stunky. This has got to be a, a stinky guy. It has to be stinky. It what else can it be, be though? It's probably not just mono stinky. Stinky rat? I don't know. Nope, it's mono stinky. Oh, it's mono stinky. Well, you there know what should to do be a here. rat type, actually. So it is fighting type. Fighting type is weak against crab. I think the logic. Wait, actually, no. I was going to say, remember when Ash fought a crabby that one time? But I guess he <laughs> won, so it wouldn't work. I don't know. So, wait. I'm not sure. Space. I guess you just can't punch a crab. Yeah, that is space. <laughs> yeah, they're exoskeleton. There's, their bones are on the outside. Sing. Maybe that doesn't. Oh, I was wondering if it wasn't going to be effective because you can't like audio doesn't travel in space, right? Is that how space works? Well, I don't think you could sing in space. No, I don't think so. Space should be a lot stronger, I think. I think space would be the one type oh, I've been open to adding in Pokemon mentally. Or is mm -hmm. like but I feel like so much of it it you'd have to retcon a lot of Pokemon. It's just like the weird alien guys become space type. It's like, doesn't that turn all of the Ultra Beasts into space type? Yeah, you have that, you have your Deoxys, you probably have Clefairy as well. Yeah. Uh, you, and then it's like, not normal anymore. Behem, LGM. Clefairy's not normal anymore. It's only, it's Mono Fairy? Yeah. I didn't know that. Is this Electric Rat? Little Electric Baby! <laughs> I mean, just think about it. <laughs> it is a little, I like how the little text is little. <laughs> He is a little electric baby. Little electric baby. Eat crab. Crab has got to be super effective on baby. I fucking knew it. <laughs> Baby's got nothing on crab type. That... That is true. That is one of the types that's super effective against baby. <laughs> I... If I had a baby, I would not let it near crabs. 
they would take it into the ocean and, and I just never see it again. Also, Kobe, uh, I have a question. Uh, if you have two, let's say Grim Snarls, two re Una Reverse cards fighting against each other, does. Well, I guess you wouldn't be using an Uno Reverse type move offensively, so it. it, it okay, got it. Never mind. I've answered my own question. <laughs> I love Snover. I love Snover so much. What type Snow do you warning. think he is? Um, I think he's Snow type. Oh, oh! <laughs> Why? Grass, ice, left. <laughs> Why? Like, that's okay, but why? He's a little Democrat. <laughs> He's a little Democrat. What does he evolve into, Jaden? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you're so right! <laughs> Politics don't start when you're- when you've- you've turned into a- you're adult. It begins at any point of your life. Yeah, oh, it's, I keep doing this. They know what you're meant to be. <laughs> Your destiny is sealed, Snover. Hail continues to fall. Mm. Damn. Yeah, the, the, I was like, well, who resists the crabs? Do the Democrats resist crabs? <laughs> Do the crabs fall at the hands of the, 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 the political types? What is the extreme left doing to the crabs? Let's let's go over here. Let's go to to Yippee. Oh wait, actually, phenomenal comment. Someone says, "Will Kamala, Shit. the Pokemon, be added <laughs> in the next game oh as left?" Oh my god! Didn't even think about that one. You no. have to now. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> god damn it, oh Krabby's god. all I have. Uh, I. Why is Lear ugly you type? Give him an ugly little look. <laughs> I think I might wipe to this guy because Boplio got crit. Oh no. Oh, it's so over. The left grass ice guy is too strong for my crabs. <laughs> the free no! Obama wipe. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> to lose to <a> Snover. <laughs> I gotta run all the way back. Ah, oh, shit. I knew I was gonna do that. Cricketot. A little song guy. I just had to go see him. Song bug. Okay. Oh, people are saying it's... Instead of saying it's Snover, we're saying it's Jover. So, like, yeah, it's a full line of Democrats right there. Holy shit, you're right. It goes That's so much deeper crazy. than you would have thought. <coughs> Art <laughs> imitates life yet again. I. I super effective against crab. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. That's kind of how you have to... I think yeah. most of the interactions do make sense on some level. Even if some are stretches, it usually makes sense. Oh, now he's got a sand true. Okay, thank God. I was scared. Oh, I didn't realize it's randomized every time you go into it. Uh, what type is he? He's ground friend. Do crabs beat up... Uh, I guess I don't have crab out right now. I'll just use water, because water's good on ground. That's that's what I know. Yeah, that's a good guess. <laughs> I love Sandshrew. Sandshrew always finds a way to make it into this mod, because, like, Kobe, one of the modders who make all the stuff, uh, that's their favorite Pokemon. So, Aww. Yeah, uh, Sandshrew always finds a way in these games. <laughs> that's so cute. I love Sandshrew. People don't pay enough attention to Sandshrew. It's a really peak design so early on in the in the Pokemon history. <clears throat> Kanto did have some bangers. Like, some really good designs in Kanto. Mm-hmm. What do you think is, like, the best Kanto design, in your opinion? Uh, you want to hear kind of a... 
best. Is it a hot take? Design. I don't think it's a hot take. Hello, tiny thing. A lowland sand truth? That that I don't. That I don't think that's objectively what we're... not the answer to the question I'm asking. Best design. I think my heart genuinely wants to go to like Gengar, if I can be honest. Mm, I think Gengar yeah. is a design that has held the test of time and is overwhelmingly simple. You know, it's very easy to depict Gengar. He's like, doesn't even have multiple colors, but it still stands out. I think Charizard is unironically a very good design. It is. It's, <laughs> you know, I'm, oh, wait, crab type. I mean, do I really have to sit here and say Pikachu is like probably one of the best designs in Kanto? It's, it's, I was thinking about that. It's hard to tell with Pikachu yeah. because I feel like Pikachu has been like, everyone's been brainwashed into thinking that it's a good design. So we can't, everyone is too biased to actually give an answer. Well, I think if you see like a, let's just say an image that's a yellow square and I put two red circles on it, you, you're locked in. Yeah. I think that's the good design. The silhouette stands out. There's like the cool pattern on the tail and the I think the ears are super iconic too. Cause they could have just agree. been yellow ears, but it's the little black tips. <coughs> Unironically, I think Pikachu's a, might be the best design in Kanto. But I think I could be like marketed to say that. <laughs> yeah, I'm I don't know. I don't think I'm I'm ready to admit Pikachu being the best design in Kanto. I feel I, like it's yeah, the most iconic. I drew a lot iconic. of Pikachu's as a kid. I don't know. This is <laughs> you're right. <laughs> is this lazy, lazy, fluffy, boring, stinky? I was I was completely off the mark. I think you it think makes sense. Stinky? No. Boring is, is a pretty strong type. Would you? But you don't want a stinky guy on your side. I don't want a stinky guy. Slackoth is a little bit of a liability. I like this comment that says Torkoal is slept on, but he might not be Kanto. We just <laughs> can't close. know these things for sure. <laughs> You're very close. Thank you for your opinion. Aerodactyl is a good design. I don't know. Yeah. I think I think Aerodactyl <laughs> is a great design, but I don't think it's the the best slash most iconic. Okay, low key, really great design, <laughs> uh, Arbok. I do like Arbok. I people people do not pay attention to Arbok. I think it'd be very easy to obviously it's just a cobra, but I think they also did Seal in the same generation and Ekans, which is quite literally a snake. And I think mm -hmm. you can make them just the Pokemon that they're like the real life animal they're based off of. Like I think even Arcanine kind of like gets a little close to that. But I think Arbok just with like the evil face on like the chest, the the silhouette. I think it's really good. Mhm. Mm I agree. I mean all of them are cool. But I I would agree. I think Gengar is is unironically very good. Yeah. Just because like sure it's over like we're so used to seeing this has got to be a little bean i'm never right <laughs> welcome to the game baby. you you will never be right <laughs> crab type i, I think articuno's very pretty i like articuno mm -hmm. the I really trio is good i think that the evs are still very iconic I think, like, for... This is before any established Pokemon anything to where, like, you know, now we usually get, like, this legendary trio outside of the box legendaries and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But I think with going in with nothing, like, we really only had Mewtwo and the three birds in Gen 1. And the three birds are just a really good trio. Like, I would say yeah. st still to this day one of the best. I like how their names are also, you know, Uno so Dos Trays. Yeah. And that you start, I, I, there's a lot of cute things. Like you start in Pallet Stop. Town, and then all the names are Little colors puppy. in Pokemon. I think that's really cute too. Mm-hmm. I think that is very cute. Early Pokemon was just very, very smart. And cool. Someone says, how did I not realize that? Yeah, it's <laughs> all the cities. I mean, you go, it's, they're not like 
blue town, right? Purple town. <laughs> like it's it's Cerulean, yeah. it's fuchsia, it's pewter. Yeah, like it's a lot of uncommon colors. And I guess the characters' mm -hmm. names are like red, blue, green. You know. Yeah, and that's like also the whole shtick of the versions, right? Yeah, they're just colors. Baby space fairy. Normal fluffy. <laughs> Baby space. F okay. Uh, let's see here. This requires lots of thinking. But I can just crab the baby and then water gun the fluffy. Eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Yes. I'm space baby fairy. Yeah, what is your too many types types? Me? I'm I don't even know them anyone. all. Yeah. I still like just posting your image with silly friends. <laughs> I am silly friend. <laughs> Someone says crab fire gamer. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how that works. Like, it's adding fire into the, the, to the middle of it is so funny. Yeah, just forget the pronouns. Just what are your three too many types? <laughs> Yeah, we're we dropping our our types now. <laughs> what types would you like to be referred to as? Stinky gamer bug. <laughs> Gender friend silly. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's a cute one. Very magic little. Oh, that's so cute. I feel like, unironically, I know more about these people because of the type. <laughs> Boring, ugly rock. Oh, <laughs> no. rock. <laughs> It's so self-deprecating, and then it's just, but I love rocks. <laughs> but I love rocks. Um, oh, wait, what's this guy? Angie Ball. <laughs> crab. Holy shit, what is... Is crab good on Angie, or is it the ball that, that brings it down? I mean, with their pinchers, they probably, like, pop the ball, you know? You're right. I always think about, like, bouncy balls, though. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Tiny, this has got to be a uh, fire friend. Puppy? Is there puppy puppy type? Yeah, what was I knew it! <laughs> I knew I called it! <coughs> Way back when, when you first said you were going to do it, I remember we had a version of a change where they just replaced the ball type with balls type. Balls. <laughs> That's just. I love that. <laughs> Balls. That it, adding the S just changes the entire thing. Yeah. Yo, people are still giving us their their type pronoun. I think uh, fairy gender ghost. I think it says a lot. I see most mostly gender in the chat. Mm -hmm. I think that happens. Okay, well, there's like three types this guy is, and I don't know how to... Someone says no beans in chat. <laughs> no fellow beans. No beans at all. Fighting gender gun. Wow. Holy shit. Scary. <coughs> Powerful. Someone just says bee eater. Someone was Art like, if I'm those. trans, can I do gender uno reverse card? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's so much funnier than just gender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like the first time. I feel like I'm playing Pokemon for the first time again. Genuinely, you know? too many types is like very special to me because one, I it performed well, it was a fun stream, blah blah blah. Like all optic YouTuber stuff out of the way, it genuinely, <laughs> I just loved playing it, and it gives you that sensation of experiencing Pokemon for the first time ever. You just want to explore everything. Like yeah, nowadays, wanna... I play Emerald. I'm like, I'm just doing the bare minimum. Like, oh, I have to fight a a trainer. God damn it, I don't want to. But I'm like going out of my way and fighting all the trainers. Yeah, you just want to see the guys. I do. I do want to see the guys. 
Who's gonna be my... my HM user? I need, maybe... <laughs> maybe I find my... Uh, a slacking slack off. Mm -hmm. Just have the HM user be... boring stinky. Well, there's the grass uh, in the top right also. Okay, mm -hmm. so Ma's saying there aren't HMs, you don't need them. Oh, okay. Yippee! <laughs> Let's see if there's anything worth taking to the gym. Probably good to get an, uh, another guy at least. Oh, your Buddy, grass poison. Little B. Little? Oh is he yeah. Little or is he baby? I think he's baby. <laughs> You're right, he's baby. <coughs> I don't want a baby. Me listening to Sabrina Carpenter, I can't. <laughs> Girl made me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've thought about Juno a lot since our little listening stream, and I just, I can't. I can't. No. <laughs> it's, like, I was listening in the stream, uh -huh. and I was like, whoa, this is, this is, like, an emotion I have never felt before, and I, I don't think I ever will. It's intense. I'll take this. Yeah, no, like, I do think it's a good song. Like, if I was not paying attention to the lyrics, I'd be like, this this is a bop. Mari but... says, I did not notice it was about pregnancy before you mentioned it. Oh, sorry to rain well, on your parade, Mari. The song Juno. <laughs> I'm trying, like, I get it. Oh, this was days ago. Oh, okay. Tatani. Um, this Juno. thing is bulky. Juno, Lyric, Sabrina. Fair, a crab is good. Crab resists fairy, which is good to know. Unless that was not fairy type. Yeah, I guess she never explicitly says the word pregnant in it. I guess you. It helps I'm looking at the lyrics to let me know. She um, does say that she's so fucking I'm horny, I'm so fucking though. horny, word for word, yeah. I think Bed Kim did uh, grow on me a little bit. I just think the, where art thou, why not uponeth me? I think the line, <laughs> it's, it's just funny. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> she's good at being funny girl failure. For sure. Oh, wait, I forgot to look at this type. No! No. <laughs> now I'll never know. That was so horny Shakespeare of her. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> but, but like, yeah, that's, that's, the, yeah, that's the joke. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, Alpha, you know how guy. mobile version of Twitch turned into TikTok? Yes, and it looks awful. It's very bad. Oh, hello, sir. My Pokemon rule! <laughs> sure, buddy. Impidimp. Okay, um, I'll just use this. Flatter, stupid ass move. <coughs> Dumb move. If I were to give a typing to Blaziken, it would be Angie Chicken Fire. That's what I would go Angry with. Chicken Fire? Or no, Blaziken is. Oh. Oh, what the fuck even? Okay. I'm Junior. Silly little baby. Gross. <laughs> Killing every baby in sight. <laughs> I just don't like them. I'll say it. I'll be the first to admit it. People are asking if Jane's streaming. No, she <coughs> just... Jane... I think it's funny that a lot of her avenues for streaming is kind of just using me as like a conduit for it. Um, she <laughs> yeah. wants to stream without the pressure of people looking at her specifically. It's it's easier to stream when the chat isn't connected to me specifically, Angie. So I think it's pretty easy for us to get some a lot of featuring Jane streams when it's mainly something she would want to do, just because I get to be part of it too. Maybe there's of, no guys in here for me. A lot me. of babies. There's a lot of babies in this grass. Someone come pick up these babies. 
I'm surprised be. Whismer isn't baby. I think the babies are meant for like the not like first stage evolutions, like the pre-evolutions. Yeah, I would take a Budu to be fair, because I do like Budu. Yeah, I like but... Roserade a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I like Roselia was such a mid Pokemon until we got cute little Budu and awesome little Ro Roserade. I'll use one bubble and one ball on it, and if it doesn't catch, then it's not meant to be. <laughs> Thank you for the the hard earned crit, Krabby. So uh, I will inform you of a little trade secret that uh, Baby is weak to nearly every type in the game. That makes sense. <laughs> Would you like to guess? No, it's okay, no. There, there are some types that have unique interactions with babies. We can leave it at that. Mm. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Vulpix! I can finally use my knowledge. Fire Fluffy! I'll take a Vulpix for now. Are Don't there, shit talk uh, Roselia. Stones? I love Roselia. I just got hit with the you hate... You love waffles, you hate pancakes <laughs> argument. I love Roserade. I like Roselia. I just really like Rosa Roserade. No, you've 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 <laughs> decided that you you hate Roselia. I've dug my grave. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we have Vulpix. Are there stones available in this or is it level up? Um that's not a me question, I don't know. You got your little Vulpix. I did. I would guess it's stone, I just don't know where they would be. I can't I'll believe name it. Jacob H. Delta. That's one of the, the biggest myths ever created. I don't know how it happened. That, uh, doggy. <laughs> doggy. <laughs> I know it's a fox, but I like it just being a dog. It's um... also funnier if it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how it happened. I just play I didn't even play Deltarune on Alpha Red Deluxe with Dash and Joe. <laughs> they just talked about how they didn't like Deltarune, and I was just in the room, and then it got spread all across the internet that Alpha Red <laughs> specifically hates Deltarune, and I never <laughs> said that. I never said that. That's so funny. I think Rock Ruff. It spread very far, though, is the thing of why it's so confusing. What the fuck is this Rattata slander? You didn't not say it? I'm saying it now that I like Deltarune! <laughs> How do I switch to the other Pokemon? You can't. Oh. Yeah, it's a... It's a... Yeah, we do what we can. I'll kill the rat first, then. Oh, the little bastard. Yeah, I did the cover of Big Earth. Shot with Family Jewels, and all the comments were like, funny that Alpharad's doing this even though he hates Deltarune. <laughs> people just say thing, and then more people say thing. It's so crazy. It's, I think a lot it's... of the things on the internet, I can usually be like, okay, that comment's a little misinformed. I get where it's coming from, though. But it, it just is blatant misinformation. <laughs> I think it is unironically so wild that someone can say anything on the internet and if people believe it it just inherently becomes true and true even if it isn't yeah <laughs> so you hate waffles okay uh where do we stand i'm running a poll i want to know mm. on pancakes or waffles important i'm gonna say oh, pancakes waffles both neither <laughs> i'll give you others. I'm just curious. I'm curious. I know both is probably like a safe, boring answer, but if you think you significantly like one more than the other, please go with that one. Be honest, guys. Because <laughs> for me, like, I would eat pancakes, but I'm definitely pro-waffles. Like, I am mm -hmm. waffles all the way. You have pockets for the syrup. It's incredible. And it's crunchy. It's more of a texture thing. Yeah. <gasps> a stinky guy in here. Oh, you want the There's stinky, a stinky guy? stinky guy. Yeah. I love stinky. Oh, um. Crab type. No. Oh, perfect. <gasps> Huge. 
That is Crab definitely. Clutch. I gotta check. That has to be one HP. Yeah. It's so hard to name them because I just want to name them their own types. I say go for it then. He can be stinky, no. the stinky type. I'll name him Rat. Okay, that's no. good too. I like Rat. I'm gonna. What about Stinky Rat? Can you do Stinky Rat? Yeah, you can. With the space and everything. <laughs> stinky Rat. Yeah, I gotta check this. It's literally one. Yeah, HP. that was perfect hit. <laughs> Insane move from Krabby. I'm just a huge connoisseur of breakfast food, like all around the clock. I don't you think there's ever a time where I'm not in the mood for breakfast food, because like above all else, milk drinker and proud. I love milk with uh, most foods, but especially breakfast. Teddy of course. Tumble. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't drink milk anymore. Yeah. But when I was younger, I, I was a huge milk drinker too. I would have milk with ice. So he hates <laughs> chocolate milk. Yeah, you, yeah, you heard it. <laughs> I mean, I don't really like chocolate. Actually, I don't really eat too many sweets at all. So I would say, like, I'm not. I, I no, I'm not a fan of chocolate milk. But I wouldn't say I hate it. But I, I do like everything. Two percent though. That's my shit. I was a skim family, so like the first time that I ever tasted milk with like any fat in it, mm -hmm. I was like, what the fuck is going on? This isn't milk. I think I actually, for as Can much you? as I love breakfast foods, I think I like having orange juice with the breakfast foods more, unless syrup is involved, of course. What the fuck are these moves? They're stinky moves. <laughs> I'm just so unfamiliar with the stinky type. Most of them are usually like other moves that are just yeah. been renamed or have new animations. <laughs> hmm. Let's go beat up Roxanne. I think she's. Is she even 15. a rock type anymore? 15? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll go up to 15 after I beat all these gym leaders or trainers. Oh, they say talk to the gym guy at the front. Oh, okay. Boring, ugly rock. Hey, it's that guy! It's the, the guy from chat is in here. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. I he, thought you were being said... really mean for a second. No! I forgot someone else said yeah, that. Yeah, it's fire. He fires yeah, 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 yeah. You're boring, right. You're right. He's a Geo dude. <laughs> Come on, fire. Back me up. You said that. <laughs> I just. It, it felt so rude when you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a Geo dude. <laughs> Youngster Josh. There's so much conviction in how you brought it up. <laughs> I was excited. <coughs> um Okay, yes. Rock and ancient type. Oh, okay. It can't stand monkey and sharp types. Okay. Duh. Gotcha. I don't think I have any of those. I know. I know Stunky, uh, Stinky Rat has a monkey type, but I think it's a non damaging move. Yeah, maybe. Guys, the Discord sub anorith. only. So the Discord is. It's not that it's sub only, it's just that people can't talk in it. It's really just a newsletter. And I do plan on doing like more modded Pokemon stuff and I'll put all of that in the save file and whatnot. So you can attempt it too. Sturdy. <coughs> Bonsley, what do you stand for? What what are you what are you doing this? You know he's like for? a little rock baby though. He is. I just don't like the baby Pokemon. Then kill them. I have been. Simple as that. <laughs> it's very... Oh, uh, uh. Jaden, the entire line of Silly's movesets is inspired 
by uh, the squirt gag track in Toontown. <gasps> oh. Yep. I see it now. Uh-huh. Okay, well, we can get rid of Water Gun for oh, this. Oh, there's some throwing lure in there. Okay, okay, so it's just gags in Toontown. Good. Toontown. Oh, so it's like wacky Looney Tune shit. Yeah. He's silly. It is silly. Bubble squirt flower. What's also cool is how many of these have, like, uh, new animations. Yeah, it's it looks really good. Like I noticed the fairy wind mm -hmm. earlier; it looked really good. He just like pelted by fairy clouds. Is it safe to download this game? Yeah, it's safe. <laughs> you will get a virus, guaranteed. Uh, okay, no, I still can't check because it's just Geo Dude still. Dang it. Um. Maybe crab. I think it's like ancient space song. rock or something. <coughs> oh, that would make sense. I forgot I'm in the gym, so it does have to follow. <laughs> Yippee! Hang in there! Is there one more? There is. I love Bow. Rock Rough. That's a small guy. Yippee lived on one HP. That's crazy. Uh, okay, we'll use bubble. We'll go to, to Stinky some Rat. Stinky Rat XP in there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Rock Rough is tough. It's kind of crazy how, you know, of course there is power scaling in mm -hmm. Pokemon, but it's not as bad as you would think it is. I agree. No, I, I definitely agree. I mean, you still see, like, a lot of competitive usage from Pokemon, like Arcanine, or... Mm -hmm. uh, I think Arcanine is definitely, like, the one that gets them... Especially in Gen 9, who is still swinging at the beginning of, like, Regulation A. Um, who else gets a lot of... I mean, we even saw, like, some... The normal Terra East beat Dragonite. Mm -hmm. uh, Gyarados, of course, is probably <laughs> the best example of it because uh, he comes and goes. Uh, I mean, yeah, now with really Terra Blast, Gyarados can get like a, a big, strong uh, physical flying move, which uh, he normally doesn't get. Arcanine without Incin goes crazy. Yeah, he's pretty much the replacement Incin. And then we get Hisuian Arcanine, <laughs> and he's still replacing Incin. <laughs> and then, woo, usage drops when Incin comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Arcanine must hate that stupid cat. I think that's well, Fable right. is insane in comp singles. I, look, I know n nothing about singles. Singles f sounds like an actual battlefield. Yeah, it's <laughs> a different like the game. Trenches. I mean, Clefairy actually still gets a lot of usage in uh, competitive doubles of VGC because, like, it gets Friend Guard, which defends its opponent, gets Eviolite, follow me. Like, Clefairy is actually a very good Pokemon uh, can, that can ball with, like, even the legendaries. Yeah, like, as long as Eviolite's around, then Clefairy just fucking rocks it. Yeah, follow me, friend guard, Eviolite. Just such a combination of it. How much does Tinkaton get used uh, in like VGC? I want to say like never. Tinkaton yeah, actually has. Yeah, it's kind of just like in the games kind of Pokemon. Tinkaton has a really fun gimmick. Uh, a really good typing, but it just doesn't have the stats to really back it up on anything. <laughs> Tinkaton is a no, great sorry. design, don't get me wrong, but it's a little a little lackluster in a lot of areas. Mm hmm Give it we'll leave. give it huge power. <laughs> give Tink huge power. I stand by it. It's uh, yippee time. Oh, is this Roxanne? Remember the types. Yeah. Oh, you're just going in. I am. Um Susgrass Ancient. I should have. Yeah, I still don't know if Crab is good on sus type. Ain't that the question? <laughs> oh, wait, I got rid of my. Oh. 
I got rid of my water type. <laughs> I mis misunderstood. This says Tinkaton not having a reliable coverage move for Corviknight pains me as a Pokedex reader. As a Pokedex reader. <laughs> yeah, how does Tinkaton bully Corviknight when there's like no way they don't just get walled by it? I th like, can't they just fly away? Like, isn't it one of those things of like, just block them? I feel like Tinkaton might annoy the fuck out of Corviknight, but they are not like predator and prey. Mm. I see where they just I'm yeah they just bass. knock them out of the sky Gosh, with their shit. hammers. Okay, just some <laughs> hater shit. It's just annoying. Like some Captain America throw shields. Well, stuff. they should get Smackdown. They should yeah they should get something. Yeah, or like gravity. I don't know. Yeah, some hater moves. <laughs> oh, my team is not ready for the ancient type. We prevail though. Uh, yeah, let's just keep doing this. God yeah, one thing it. that I, I'm really happy with what we did here <laughs> was I never wanted to add... Uh, I, I think, like, with randomizers, it's really only fun when you randomize the Pokemon because if you change the moves or the types or the stats, it becomes, like, incoherent. I'm looking at you, Kaizo Ironmon. Um, <laughs> and I think with this, I really only wanted to keep, like, you know, like an experiment, you have to have your control variable and stuff. So I think I wanted the abilities and, and like the actual Pokemon themselves to be consistent, but it's just, we changed the types and some moves, but most of the moves are the same. But I thought if we just changed too much, like I know we even threw out abilities at a some point, but I think once there's too much information that you have to memorize, it's like not fun. The gimmick can go away. Yeah. I think this is a great balance so far. Also, I didn't know that Scratch was sharp type. I should have just used that. Fossilize. Oh no, stinky rat! No, not the stinky rat. No, what happened to sharp type? P.U. Oh no. Is this your last guy? No, I got, I got doggy, but doggy isn't gonna do too much here. Yeah. I'm wiping to Roxanne. Eat shit. <laughs> You did go a, a little Stinky in under leveled. <laughs> oh, I forgot to level up. Whoops, yeah. my bad. I forgot. Oh, Alpha, does subbing up with Prime have any benefits? Teddy Tumble. <laughs> yes. Uh, first off, you get emotes. First. Subs if you want to spam some emotes. Okay. Uh, Teddy you Tumble. You get to support a streamer you like, hopefully, maybe me. And it costs God nothing to it. you, technically. And you get to take we money from Amazon, because no! otherwise the money just sits in Amazon's pocket. And well. last but not least, uh, whenever I do stuff like okay, the sub, I'm gonna heal up. egg lock <laughs> and stuff like that, or, Let's you know, see. I do a lot of different stuff. Yeah, I should go to 15. With subs, I need to find more ways Probably. to incorporate you that guys in content that been more. So much of, that and I'm working on that, a but that's a whenever I do that, it's usually limited um. to subs. <laughs> which I would like to say happens at least once a month. Lear. I'm going to work on that in the future. We'll see. This we'll one. see. Aqua Jet, oh my god. So here I you just, can beg for I a gifted sub? Completely... Yeah, that's also true. You're oh, allowed to beg here. I thought Song was water type. I was not paying attention. Oh, yeah, they are both the same color of blue, I see. Yeah, I was just looking at the colors and not really reading. But yeah, I'm, like, all these good moves, and I subs. just was not... <laughs> they were right there. Puff up. Cute. Uh, I don't need it though. Doggy. Doggy. <laughs> uh, I'll get rid of Confuse right for Fire Spin. Sure. White Bread's still not on the emote command. It is for me. I can't <laughs> believe White Bread. I just stealth put it in the emote rotation one night. And for like the past five streams, it has been the most used emote in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> white bread. I can't it's believe... It's also like you streamed that so long ago. <laughs> yeah, I just can't believe so many people get the reference to white bread because it feels like it was not even like a big stream. Mm -hmm. I guess the, the Alpha Red live videos of it actually did very well. So yeah, maybe it's just that. I mean, I was there at the stream and it was one of the funniest ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the white bread moment was on Rival. It's just, it's not even me, you know? It's just, it's just the KD <laughs> mode. I hope he gets a... I'd love to see the Ouija the God stream just so we can raid him with the white bread emote. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, you got this. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> we should do another Tamadachi stream with everyone. Yeah, I've been I've been playing Tamadachi Life on my own, mm -hmm. and it's it's so fun. Roxanne, I'm here again. I don't remember the last time I've wiped to oh. a Roxanne. Omari, oh, we played it before you were in the server. Now you get to be added to our island. It, it's also very dated that our island's name is just Ohio. Like it's, it very <laughs> dates the stream. That was a chat voted name, by the way. That was not an us thing. Chat thought Ohio was so funny. Mm -hmm. You can rename we'll it. Leap. Oh, can you? I didn't know you could. Um, we'll leap. Oh, we should use sharp type. <laughs> White bread. It was just such a good moment. <laughs> I that was like the hardest I've laughed in a while. There was so much build up for it too. We were giving the white it bread was. to everyone. Akade <laughs> was like the last one added, right? Yeah, he was like one of the end of the stream. This bitch is gonna heal up her stupid plant again. No. There you go. Ball toy. Ah, uh, that was ancient something. I'll use Yippee again. I forgot what this was. Did I even check? Uh, ancient, ancient psychic. psychic. Mm. You'd be silly. Silly's... Oh, is Silly good on Psychic? It does mental damage, perhaps. Oh, no. You're too strong mentally you, to you be Silly to me. No. How does Aqua, Aqua Jet do? Okay. okay. I'll just try Disarming Voice. You I really just gotta try it all. It all. No! Hang in there, Yippee! Well, Sing I guess you got one more Aqua Jet in you. Oh, Song... Song is... Stupid Barry. Oh, but you learned it song just too late. Song is good on... On Psychic, I imagine. Yeah. Aqua Jet, there's nothing you can do about this. Oh, but That's good damage, it's a though. Crit. It might heal, but it's good damage. Yeah. Oh, he got the crit. Yo, Gwyer, thank you for the five gift. Oh, Gwyer, you've been like on a on a hot streak lately. Okay. <laughs> Someone says, or is ancient, uh, is silly good on ancient because old people hate fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where is this coming from? <laughs> also, I I always say, <laughs> I feel like once people gift enough, I feel too bad. Gwyer, uh, you can have VIPs. You can buy it. There's not a set amount, but once I feel like you've invested too much with too little in return, I feel like you gotta have it. You gotta have it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, I don't? Okay, I'll take it away. Oh. <laughs> ah. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Roxanne. <laughs> All the hard days work. There you go. Yay! Yay, one First badge. First is down. This is huge. Anyway. Anyway. Did not need to hear her blab. Get out of the way. <coughs> Man, it's like... I didn't realize how much the draft lock is kind of like the only Pokemon I've been playing recently. Like maybe for the past year because I haven't make, been making any Pokemon videos. Mm -hmm. So like whenever the the grunt uh, team cutscenes happen, I'm yep. like, oh, I forgot <laughs> this happens. I'll save. Whoa. Whoa, he's freaking. Ah, shit. <laughs> Someone asked. This is Duffelvich. Said I would do a heads or tails to have VIP. So. Oh. Um. No. 
I, look. Well, okay, they were saying like 50% chance I get what I want. I just, okay. <laughs> How would do you I entertain? <laughs> I will give you Um let's say VIP or ban. Well sure, VIP or ban. But what <laughs> about three? The star the, the the stats are or the odds are against you. But if you can get three correct coin flips in a row, uh sure you can have VIP. But any of them wrong and you're banned. Fair? Ooh. Fair? The odds are stacked. Fair. Oh, they said fair. Okay. Oh? Okay, drop your head. Give me heads, tails, head, heads, heads, head, tails, head, tails. Give me mm, your three. Give me your now. three here. Oh, I'm waiting to see. We gotta... This is huge. How long is the ban? We'll see. <laughs> you can appeal it, and I'll let the mods let you back in whenever they they feel like it's right. Oh, they're thinking about this. Oh, they said tails, tails, heads. Oh. Okay, let me let me pull Le up. Uh, Leading eight. double tails is crazy. Someone um, said all wrong equals permanent ban. <laughs> <laughs> we flip all three and they could all just be incorrect. <laughs> Here, uh, let me grab this. Um, okay, let me flip this coin while Jaden does this battle. Pico! I love Wingle mm -hmm. and I hate Pelipper. It is so tragic what they do to Wingle. Okay, let me flip a coin. So oh, the, this is my is Tails, arch nemesis Tails screen. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Well. A clink. Okay, your I'm gonna say your ban varies on how many you get right. <laughs> so that is one wrong. You said Tails, Tails, head. Okay, okay, you got one. Not a permanent ban. Tails, Tails. Okay, you just got the first one wrong. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's like that's like the best you could ask for besides winning. You got close. You got close. <laughs> I fought Clink and he was prime steel guys. Someone else just said if I I'm scrolling up to find them and they said if he goes down, I go down with him. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone else had to participate. Definitely said, I'll see you on the other side, chat. Oh, sevens. How about... Look, I don't even really want to do it. You put up a good fight. Just, uh... Just sit on the sidelines for, like, an episode of any cartoon. You're gone for 30. You'll be back. <laughs> Very tame. You can still watch. You're, ju you're just a little silenced. <laughs> Also, I like how Cut is now an axe. Uh, first time uh, chatter great. says, mind if I get timed out for an hour? Uh, sure. Be our guest. Old guy yapping. What do they get if they win? Uh, you see, they won't, though. Yes, they did not win, so... Thus, that question is void. Ah, this guy making me do shit. Also, uh, we got a gift sub from King Kong's Big Schlong, who gifted a sub to 500 subs. Holy not, shit. Not 500 gifted subs, but one <laughs> gifted sub to the user 500 subs. That guy must be, have so many random subs. <laughs> I wonder how many people have seen it and popped off on accident. <laughs> yeah, it does farm Wait, clips. Thank you for the five. You, you've done enough. <laughs> you've done enough. You've done all you need to. You got the reward at the end. I'll buy some things. You'll buy some things. I like to have my medicines. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, David, I'll thank take you a for the five Whoa, gifted as well. Thank free? you, everyone, for the gifted, including King Why? Kong's Big Shalom. Oh. Much appreciated. Oh, Couldn't okay. do it without take... you all. That's, that's pretty cool. Oh, my God. And Sonic Pan, thank you for the five gifted. And the, and the one from Gwareth, just petty at oh. that point, but thank you. Oh, yeah, we should... Oh, okay. Oh, we're just doing oh. this one for fun. Oh, well, look this at is Meryl. a blue-ass Meryl. It's so blue. That's a blue Meryl. I like it. It's very blue. It's This one reminds me of, like... I don't know why, but the way they have this colored reminds me of, like, Kirby Amazing Mirror sprite work. I see it. It's a good blue. It is. Crab. Yeah, I, I thought so. Well, what type I is I just had Meryl? to be sure. Oh, you're right. This has got to be... Uh... Ball friend. Water gender. Oh, but you see you see where I'm Yeah, I thought from. it was gonna be I thought it was ball gender. I thought it was mm. in there. What is good against is I'll I'll try stinky or something. Oh no. No! Stinky Rat! I forgot water is good on Stinky. Well, Sharp can pop... Wait, no, it's not a ball. It's not ball. Yeah, that's right. Uh-oh, the rollout started. Rock is fine. Um... Okay, PU is the, the damaging one. I'll try... Oh, wait, but this is also... Stink Bomb. <laughs> the sound effect. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Whoa! <coughs> wait, so Stinky is good on... <laughs> Gender? Maybe. Maybe. <coughs> okay, you never so really know. Oh, you're dying so trying water... to process it. Water is good on Stinky, but Stinky is good on gender. And water doesn't resist Stinky. Yes. Chikorita. Yes. This has got to be... This has got to be Grass Bean, right? That's what it was? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, because I already checked. Uh, no way. S Stinky has got to be good against grass. <laughs> it's just such an unfortunate sound. God damn it. Sip coffee. No. He drank his own his that, own that's bean such water. That's a strong move. I forgot it's a plus <laughs> B too. What do we do okay, about so. sip coffee? So. If we've got grass bean, <coughs> I'm sorry. Then maybe, then maybe crab is good <laughs> against against something here. I like how he, how he just scuttles. You idiot! That's just normal poison powder. My crab. No. Okay. <laughs> Vice grip. What the fuck is Llama Lash? I don't even know what those words are. Crab is not effective against either grass or bean. But it was pretty good. I imagine water is like quad resisted. Yeah, Chikorita. I think water's the bad play. I don't I think okay, so let's bring out Doggy. I haven't I haven't used Doggy. Doggy has to be good. Oh Pinto Power. Oh, this Chikorita's setting up on you. This thing's kind of crazy. Okay. <laughs> Normal ass ember. Okay, That's good. It. Pinto power. Oh, you it's getting greedy, greedy. little thing. Gr your greed will be your downfall. Ember. Damn, Chikorita almost did something. <laughs> she she was a little high with power. Crab rave. Jane, you will fuck? not believe what this move is. <coughs> no way. <coughs> I gotta mute. <coughs> oh, sorry. She's dying in the other room. Give her a second. How long will the stream be? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like until Jane gets tired. I'm down to just sit back and do whatever. No way they give you dragon dance at level, what is this, 14, 15, 16? And, it, it, yeah, it's just crab dragon dance. 
That's insane. I need to drink my water. Mm. First time well, you've ever... Well, good job, doggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty hmm. good, he says. What? Oh! <laughs> I thought it was just... <laughs> I thought it was just kind of going crazy. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay. Someone comes in the chat. Highlight a message. I have an offer for you. If you gift me a sub, I'll gift you five. Okay. So, what's the downside? I guess. I guess, I guess it's, they get. Do emotes. you believe them? Well, I think they go first. <coughs> well, I, oh, okay. I was going to, but I got beat to it. David, thank you for the gift for inboardman. I'll take the risk. Fair. To me, uh, it sounds like infinite money glitch. Yeah. I think everyone in chat should offer that. <laughs> I mean, what that are the odds someone's lying on the emotes. internet? <gasps> cottony! There is a little cottony. It's a fluffy guy. I'll just have him in my pocket. Yeah, oh, wait, we I cannot love touch cottony. a thing. Oh, and Boardman did get five. Wow, they did not lie on the internet. Why did you make that deal? <laughs> just one of the 15 minutes of fame. I get it. Just, uh, thank you. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> it starts. Jayden. It started. Jayden. I'm okay. Jacob! <laughs> uh, fire spin? Doggy, come on. No! Yeah, you're 10 levels over. You definitely melt the fluffy thing. <laughs> no. Oh, I forgot. F Fire's gotta be good on fluffy. Just think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was just thinking fire spin is weak. Oh, wait. I need to talk to that girl for the thing I wanted. God what damn thing? it. The miracle seed. Why am I in here? For what grass Pokemon? For the one I'm gonna have eventually. I would put money down Cottony. that you're unlikely to even have a grass type by the end of the game. Like, they're all going to be fucking bean, D's nuts, tie. It's going <laughs> to, yeah. like, you don't know. <laughs> you're right. But I like collecting it because I like my little trinkets. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, I'm so used to leaving the forest and just making eye contact with her and starting a yes, battle. Yes, you pause as if it happened anyways. <laughs> Pico! So true. <laughs> as a kid, right, did you play with the hidden bases much? I love the hidden bases. I love the hidden bases. I wish... Honestly, they could make like a 99 cent game that's just hidden bases that you can meet up with other people and I think people would play it. Yeah. They but, need to just make like a Pokemon mini games collector play with your friends game. They could even just say it's just the hidden bases and it's just like an idle game you play with your friends. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, called Animal Crossing, but what if it was Pokemon? <laughs> I know there are several Pokemon other games like that. Animal Crossing. But it's also very different, I think. Like, I'm saying, imagine Animal Crossing, but you just build the homes. That's actually a different Animal Crossing game. <laughs> that is. That is actually a different game. <laughs> they have already invented that one. <laughs> uh... Oh, Yippee can evolve soon. You're right. I should prioritize Yippee. Hey, guy. Love disc. Uh. Eat silly. Eat. <laughs> I just feel like I don't even think I dislike love disc. I just feel bad for it. It's such a nothing Pokemon. I would kick it if it was real. Aww. I do not like this thing. I'm neutral on. I just I pity it. I think the least they could have done is let it evolve into Al Alamomola, and they didn't. No, that's like the worst part. It's like, did they actually forget they already made that Pokemon? 
Yeah, what type is it? I guess we can investigate. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Ugly friend. <laughs> no. Don't touch me. Does will it there be a, a Mungy Monday this upcoming week? Yes, there will be. It's This should be the off week, but I'm going out of town the following week, so, you know, but... It's going to be a special day. We downloaded a new mod pack, which I'm going to try and help everyone set up because it was kind of tricky. And a couple so... roles got modified. I know Detective got buffed. Uh, Mayor got reworked into Politician, which is tragic oh. for Joe. Um, I don't know if we're going to play on it every week, but... Um, yeah, I haven't seen any of the mods or the changes. Yeah, everything else is pretty similar. But I'd say the <coughs> Why biggest... Why did they change Mayor? Because uh, I think Mayor doesn't do anything outside of meetings, so they gave it more of an involved role. Oh. Um, I think it, it added a lot. Anyway. No, you can... So I think Politician is like, before you reveal Mayor, you have to rally crewmates up as the Politician by, like press the button on it. I think it is pretty different. I, I like it. I like mm. the changes. For what it's worth, it'll make sense when we get there. Okay. I don't even know if I can play in Mungu this coming week, though. Yeah. I've got too many things to do. I, that's where you and I both are at before our trip. But I gotta see what this looks like. He's just bouncing. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I, I think I thought, like... I'm too animation pilled. I was like, oh, what are they going to do this time? We put the whole ROM together in like three weeks, so I think. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not, it's not a slight on you guys. I was just like, oh, yeah, I forgot that mm -hmm. animation takes a long ass time. <laughs> Does a not too many types have Annihilate? No, this was pre Gen 9. Well, pre Gen 9 being added to this, so. Um, otherwise, probably would have, yeah. What other changes to uh, Mungi are there? Oh, I don't uh, really know any of them. They have like a whole modded map section where people can upload maps and you can download the maps inside the client. And then if me, the host, oh. clicks it, it automatically downloads it to everybody in the room. Whoa, wait, that's crazy. Yeah, it's actually really cool. So <coughs> I can do a lot of the work. Um, I booted up last night with three friends to kind of test all of the stages. I mean, we don't know if they're good for, like, actual Among Us, but make sure that we only... We try to narrow it down to maps that look good, right? Mm -hmm. First and foremost. We don't know if the maps themselves are good to play on, but That's I think we narrowed different. it down to three maps that we think are actually good. And then there's a couple reskins. I know someone made Skelled, but it's a rave, and it's, it's... Sure, it's fun. That's cute. Um... Clink! Prime little guys! No, Prime steel guys! Yeah, they are. Like, I like Prime little guys. It could have been. I I want them. Those are some guys right there. Uh, They could probably take a disarming voice. Give me. Yeah, any primers? So, do you know what determines the Prime type in this game? Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, this is a riddle. Because it feels pretty random, right? Will you look at their... So, will you press L again on them? Uh, it's that number in the top left. 71? Yep. It's stupid. It's stupid. The prime type is exclusively determined by the prime numbers. Oh my god. <laughs> it's dumb, but it's, that's how it works. <laughs> that's crazy. So I was so confused so why some dumb. Pokemon would lose their prime typing, and that's why. Wow. <laughs> I did not even process that. I don't know how you were supposed to. I definitely didn't. Damn. How many, how many Pokeballs do I have? Oh. Premier Ball. Yeah, they just wanted something fancy. Does that mean Charmander's prime type? So this is an original Dex. It's like we took 400 Pokemon and threw them in here. Or maybe 300. I don't remember. Hmm. I just, What's the, they I, could I've be never the had guys. a Clink. 
They could be the boys. The boys, you're right. The boys. Oh. We love the boys. We do love the boys. What is the most... Okay, wait, which direction am I just going? Which, what's like a Homelander Pokemon? What is the Homelander Pokemon? Fucking gumshoes, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think Ho-Oh gives off real American energy, if I can be honest. Gamer. <laughs> oh, Jane, you gotta get a Sableye. I do. With he loses. this. What she two, loses. What adjective and noun would you use to describe Sableye? Stinky gamer. No. Sus gamer. One has to be a color. Purple. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I gotta have her. <laughs> Purple Goral. Purple Goral. <laughs> oh, she you got the you ball. got there. <laughs> What? Come on. Oh my god, they're Girl. wasting it all. There we go. She's just a little greedy. Purple Goral. Oh, Icy Wind. Icy Wind. Interesting. I mean... Uh... I don't even know. Poplio is only really special attack, right? Yeah, but Aqua Jet doesn't hurt just for the priority. I was just thinking for Pound. Yeah, I'd get rid of Pound. I have this silk scarf on him, but... Yeah. <coughs> People saying name her Vanessa. Oh, Jane's not a Vanny fan. I'm not. You are, though. And I think that's... <laughs> yeah, Jane hates Vanny. <laughs> Purple. Can I even fit this... You it can, can only it. be purple guy. G or L. <coughs> no, it has to be guy. It's meant to be. Okay, it can be purple guy girl. <coughs> well, you look at their moves. Suddenly I have such a, a pocket full of guys. So many guys. They uh Guys move. <laughs> uh See? every move that Sableye learns can be related to Five Nights at Freddy's. Really? Like, even these ones? Yeah. Who does Fury Swipes? The puppet? I was just say, like, I think Foxy would be capable of it. Mm, you're right. Does does purple guy get extreme speed? <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> Also hi Hannah, how are you doing? Yeah, we got some FNAF lore here. Oh, hi Mikey. Oh, that's an Angie monkey right there. Can't forget You're that right. one. Hmm, I like Mankey. Uh but I kind of have mm, do I need an Angie or monkey type? I think uh, it's kind of full right now. Mm -hmm. I'll throw a ball. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> that was like one frame of dead monkey. All right, try again. Okay. I'll try again. It it was a higher level. No, not you. Oh my God! Wait, Jaden. Steven, Will you open what? the move set for Sableye again? Someone just pointed something out. You what? can. Okay, will you trade? <gasps> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Will you move? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> you see the acronym right there. <laughs> oh my god. That's that is insane. a purple guy. <laughs> I think it was already in this formation. It was just like this, maybe. Yeah, and you changed it? I changed it. I can't change it anymore. I was yeah, like, it spells out for nav. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. FNAF. Oh, how iconic. Hello, Steven. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, Bye. for the live channel, I gotta make a short out of the L plus ratio unknown. That, nothing oh, beat yeah. that. Yeah, someone just mentioned it. That was so genius. Okay, so I feel like 
Krabby is the one that's just gonna sweep. Yeah, Krabby does oh. do that here. When Brayden and I try to do like a soul link of too many types, we kind of boiled it down to you can't beat Brawly Deathless without Krabby. Okay, let's just put it at the front. Oh wait, uh, what level is this? Do you know? 19. 19. You're so good at remembering things. Yeah, I, th I think it's fucked, actually. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> think it's cool. I just know all the vanilla Emerald caps because it. we just play Emerald so much for all the mods. Yeah. Oh, Brioni! Brioni! Brioni. 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 Brion. I accidentally sped up through that one. That's My bad. Okay. Wait, I like how in the bag it just says Axe. <laughs> it's for you. Encore. No, I'm okay. Doggy. Doggy learned payback. Uh, I'll get rid of fire spin. Stinky rat. Acid spray. All these moves are so gross as a, a skunk. Yeah, I think, and now it's stinky. I said spray is pretty good. Yeah. It's minus two. I'm just, I'm just, defense. my brain gets so like discombobulated when I see three stinky types and I don't know what any of them actually are. I'll get rid of this one. The boys! I just can't believe Stabilize learns that it's Five Nights at Freddy's. That's like, a prime sub? Now. Wait, what? We're learning prime sub? Throws Amazon's coins at foe. A sub is recovered after. Yeah, so you <laughs> Wait, see. Power 65. Yeah, you're not allowed luck. to use it unless there's a prime, so that's the hard part, yeah. Oh. Well, I'll take it just in case. I'll get rid of charge. Detect. Oh, but it'll ruin my beautiful moveset. <laughs> I mean, they just dropped Falap. Falap, so who knows? Maybe you're gonna predict the future here. Maybe it's maybe it'll, they'll drop dozen nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> Denaf. Denaf. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it very easily could have been five days at Freddy's, <laughs> but yeah, dozen nights works too. <laughs> I wanted to get rid of foresight. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, Wombo Combo. That is the gamer move. Oh. Others can join too. Dozen Nights with Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Any more? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, what about Shadow Seek? Oh, that is good. Doesn't I don't need detect. Several nights. This <laughs> is so many. It's it could be seven. Nights. It could be six. There are six nights. Six nights with the Freddy. I like several. <laughs> several nights with the Freddy's. <laughs> so what's this day shift with Freddy? That's just. <laughs> it sounds like we Google translated it like a million times. <laughs> Oh, what does even faint attack do? I it's like 60 forget. power can't miss. Oh, I see. Well, this doesn't change anything. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's still <laughs> several <laughs> days with Freddy. <laughs> oh, I probably I forgot you're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I just can't stupid, believe that we joke. even had a... Uh, we got five laps at Freddy's, and boy, is that Flap. technically a video game. <laughs> is it? It It's out, right? The demo is. Mm. Oh, hi, Totot. Totata. Ooga Booga. Nothing that Crab can't handle. Oh, it's Vice Grip City now. To prepare to be slaughtered. It's over. It's over for you fighting types. 
Oh, I forgot to uh, listen to the guy at the beginning. Is this only fighting type, or is it like fighting monkey? Give me a or guess. <coughs> fighting, fighting monkey, maybe. I don't know. Sock isn't a monkey though. He's just a guy. Yeah, if only had a way to check it. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Right after this cutscene, I'm about to get so much knowledge. Oh my god! <laughs> like, why wouldn't it be? I wish I forgot forever. <laughs> Double kick! No! My crab! No, not your crab. How are you Stupid. not faster than Sock? I don't know. Orpal guy. Prepare for several days with Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Just does Jazzy. not roll off the tongue here. <laughs> no, it's just, just a completely different thing. Ah, oh, come on. Oh shit. Yeah, what is a wombo combo? I'll do that. Super potion. Oh dear. Toastad is just sitting in front of my monitor. <laughs> he doesn't care. I heard like the, the keyboard. This, it's like... specifically the GameCube clacker. It's a, it's a melee thing. Oh. It's a gamer thing, you know. You know. Ah, I see, I see. Tostada is in front of the thing I can't see. Oh, I just realized Save Light does not have any immunities. <laughs> no, they took them away. This is pathetic! Yeah, you need the crab. I need the crab. Well, I'm just gonna... I'll Nightshade. Well, I'll die first. Yeah, Sock's kind of a unit. Maybe it was the double mm. crab rave needed. Who knows? Maybe. I should have set up more. I'll try Yippee. <laughs> Yippee can do maybe, something here. Maybe uh, Gamer... May, no, maybe fighting these nuts, it... Maybe um, song is good. Gross! I see wind to like weaken him is good. It just slows him down, right? Yeah. yeah. But it's good for the rest of the team. Yeah, you're right. If you think he's about to sweep, I would pop one or two. I mean, this he keeps getting crits, but this isn't doing too much. He's gonna poison me. I think though. he just sees the super effective move, perhaps. Yeah, dumb robot. Oh shit! Oh. Wait. Oh, I guess you can is... freeze these nuts. That would be bad. <laughs> I. It sounds. It sounds painful. Yeah. Yeah. It can get. It does get cold sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I see. Because because. <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a youch in chat from me. <laughs> youch. <laughs> <laughs> Not so big, tough guy, are you now? God damn it. Yes, so many. But I guess you just keep freezing these nuts, and it sounds it sounds good. Ah oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Well, the okay. boys! The boys. What do we got? We got Prime Cell. Well, you... <laughs> Anyways. Oh, God. Oh, that would have been is... super effective if not for his <laughs> guys type, maybe. Well, isn't Crab good here? Oh, you're right. I do have Vice Grip Crab. Oh, we got the prime sub. Thank you, Jaden. Oh, we found All according it. We to plan. found it. Ah, oh, God. Anything, anything for you. I'm just dying over here. Teddy Tumble. Oh, nice. You got through sock. I did. Just one little machop. Fluffy's got to be good on fighting type. Fighting stinky? No. Oh, I thought that Fluffy would be good against fighting because they can't get through the fluff. I also Ember. thought that. That's how I visualized it, too. Oh, but... What is this? Fire is Stinky? good on Stinky? Okay, maybe certain fumes are flammable. Maybe. Hi, Volpixie. Oh, Pixie, hi. You you bring out Doggy and, and Pixie is summoned. 
Yeah, Pixie played through too many types. Pixie, it's my first, my first playthrough. I love watching Ooh, people play I can through see. this game. It's fun. I'm having a great time. We just gotta start. I don't know if Kobe or Cans are still in chat. I still want to finish or start even more types. Whenever we, one day we'll get the clear on that. Okay, so he was a a fighting stinky trainer. Yeah, Gross. with the side of these nuts. <laughs> Oh, and this is like all the stench in the gym, isn't it? Gross, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> is it? it I, that's the vibe I got. Kill my mons, please! My animals. <laughs> so now we got Slateport. Mm. Oh. What I also do appreciate is that, like, I don't think the teams are crazy, crazy strong. But it's definitely a little harder than, like, base Pokemon, right? Yeah, just... for sure. I'm not just sweeping through and Aaron says, fart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all my friends here, hello. We have Pixie, Aaron, Mari. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Everyone wants to see the guys. Everyone loves guys. Um, okay, let's, let's... I don't think... I don't think Orpal Guy got to shine as much as she should have. I should save soon. Algium. Oh, Duffovich, thanks for the five gifted. They're back from their 30 minute timeout from the Heads or Tails. <laughs> what a. They came back with confetti. Thank you. <laughs> Space type. Uh... What is it? Several nights with Freddy still? Yeah, it is. Several nights with Freddy's. <laughs> this gamers deal in space. Yeah, neutral. That's fair. Strong, though. Yeah, big damage. Mm. Elgium and his big old paws. Oh, he's got some paws. Oh, shit. What is that? Ghost doesn't affect space? Interesting. What is that? And now I can't heal. What does that mean? What? Dark doesn't affect space. Dark and ghost doesn't affect space? What a crazy defensive type. I guess I just got a wombo combo. Well, to be it. fair, that is two types out of, like... 64. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's 50 extra types and not just the ones I know. Yeah, I think it's actually... Uh, I think we lied a little bit. I think it's like no. actually like 44 types plus the original 18. Mm. I think that's what gets it over 50 types. Is this baby... Baby Space Fairy. Okay. Crab. It's a baby, it, it dies. <laughs> How? Yeah, I guess. Pixie, you're so tempted to do a Nuzlocke now. It's. Oh. I would. I think this game is genuinely very hard to Nuzlocke, and I think you, you have to actually study. This isn't a Nuzlocke I think you can win without planning. Like, if you want to just send it for a Nuzlocke, I don't think you can do it. You gotta, like, actually, like, plan out route encounters and shit. This is. Not a simple one. If you want to watch, I do know like a couple big Nuzlockers. I, I think Squirk's video is my favorite on it. Of uh, he did a uh, just a Nuzlocke through the game, but there's a lot of planning. They ultimately wiped on the final fight, but it was because they played it in a specific patch where he fixed and then unfixed an issue. So, mm. oh no, when we fix an issue, yeah. I I I doubt Pixie's power. Uh. Yeah. Well, it's more of a warning, I think. <laughs> I think it's just a very hard it, Nuzlocke if you, if you send hard. it. I mean, I, I also saw Pixie like boot up with Hayden, who is not someone who knows a lot about Pokemon <laughs> either, and they were like, we're going to do a Soul Link Little Lock. And I was like, girl, I don't... Like, little Lock is hard for, like, everyone. Yeah, I saw that. I, like, messaged. I was like, respectfully, I don't mean to be mean, but I want you to know what you're signing up for. <laughs> I was like, I, <laughs> Little Locks are hard without a friend. And and y'all were wiping before Brock, which is before the Little Lock becomes hard. <laughs> yeah, that's you're right. Yeah, what is, oh, what is a Little Lock? It's... You beat the entire game with fully unevolved Pokemon. So. Are they allowed to evolve at all? No. Mm. It's base form. 
Uh, it's definitely like, I think Frieza is the most notable person who's done it. And if you want to see very interesting videos of someone doing that challenge, Frieza is the challenge. You can't use Lapras. Yeah, yeah there's no like evolution for it. Like you could use Onyx because it still gets an evolution later. But yeah, yeah, it's very hard. Frieza did do it through a lot of the Pokemon based games. It's a very interesting challenge. But goddamn, is it hard? Eviolite goes hard. Uh, not in most gins, it doesn't. <laughs> like, in most gins, uh, I mean, that was Gen 5 when Eviolite came out. So before then, you really just had to outplay. As a kid, this guy, I just did not know I had to talk to him. It's so not I got clear. Stuck in I got stuck in Slateport so much as a kid. Little Lock would be easy to let's go Pikachu Eevee. Uh, then I mean, sure, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> your Eevee's really strong. I don't think P I think Pichu actually doesn't count in the Little Lock because of Pichu now. Uh, Sonic Man, thank you for the five gift. A lot of five, yeah, thank you. Mm, I want to see what's in this grass over here. Oh yeah, get some new ones. See, it's ex it's just exciting to explore. Stuffle! stuffle! A fluffy guy! This is a fluffy friend. Definitely it's gotta a fluffy be. guy. Little fluffy! Oh, and then it turns into... Big fluffy. <laughs> uh, Wombo combo. I think Gamer is not good against fluffy, right? It's neutral. Oh, that's good damage, though. Damn, crit right out the gate? It's mine! Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> it gets angry and it flails its arms. Hmm. I don't know if I want Stuffle right in the party they immediately. They said name it Freddy. <laughs> Freddy. Freddy. Good old Fred. Fred Bear. Fred Bear. Bear. Freddy. Freddy. What Fred else is Bear. In here? Freddy Fredbear. Gulpin! Okay, this has got to be a D's Nuts. Yeah, no, it's definitely D's Nuts. <laughs> it's like not even a question. The pure D's yeah, Nuts. Yeah, mono D's Nuts. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> oh. I don't talk to losers. Damn. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy avoiding the D's nuts in the grass. Yeah, who else we got in here? They don't want to show up right now. Oh, I angered them. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, they're back in swarms. <laughs> Leave me alone. <gasps> Sandrew! A little friend. Oh, he know he's ground friend. It is ground friend. Does it evolve into sharp friend? Wait, is I Freddy's full true. name Fredbear Fazbear? I I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just a MatPat thing. Uh, I like Fredbear Fazbear. Fredbear Fazbear. The full government. Yeah, Nightshade's good here. You're mine! Someone said no, it's not. How can we know for sure? We'll have to see Freddy's ID. And I don't think we have a screenshot of that. Sand true. Uh, are there shinies in this game? I I don't see why there wouldn't be. I can't say I found one in here, but I would I would assume that it's just normal odds to emerald. It might be like four thousand ninety six just because of the all the modifications to it. Let's see. Has anyone shiny hunted in too many types here? Also, who here has played too many types on their own? I am curious. I've never really asked. That is colon three right there. Colon three. Did I spell it right? It looks weird. Yeah, you did. Oh, a lot of people have. Um, because whenever too many types came out, Please I don't. lurked in a lot of streams. I just kept searching on Twitch too many types, and I would watch a lot of people play it. And it, it was really fun. I, it was a really interesting experience where it's like, I know I didn't necessarily work on the game, but it was kind of like 
I directed it, I guess, but I still wanted to be blind enough. Like, I kind of knew a lot of it, so it was, uh, it was really cool to kind of, like, put this together and then watch other people experience it. I think probably people who make, like, actual, like, <laughs> video games get a similar sensation to watching people play. I mean, even back in Smash Bros, like, when I watched people play on, like, my custom stages and stuff like that, I got, like, the same, same fun out of it. Space type. Ooh. You're the executive producer? Well, sure, but I also directed the the whole project outside of, like, like, I didn't do everything, but it was kind of like, I did see the types, and I was like, I, I get to approve or deny of all of them. Like, it was, it was all the idea I threw, but it was, you know. It was hard because I wanted to make sure it would be, like, something I wanted to play. But I also didn't want to spoil everything, you know. Didn't I win a fan Pokemon award? Yeah, there was a, like a fan-made Pokemon YouTube community like award show. I, I thought it was pretty pretty strange though. I saw a lot of people get upset that I won, and if and then they thought it was annoying that I won. It was like I'm not the one who fucking voted. But like <laughs> I I mean it's not your fault that you won something that is voter based. <laughs> yeah, I think uh the thing was, it was like best Pokemon challenge video of the year it went to too many types, and mm. I I get it. Like they're like the the challenge is adding the 50 types, and but like I don't know. I I personally think I shouldn't have won that award either. I don't get why people are upset at me though. <laughs> but yeah, that's just like a, a setting up thing. Yeah, I I don't think. I, yeah, people voted. I mean, people did vote, but I disagree with them as well. I just don't think it was a challenge video. I think, like, I've done challenge videos, but I think this was really just like a fun little mod idea. I think if there was like a, a best modded, I guess you don't want to do that because like you get attention. But, like you could probably use some creative wording, right? A best fan you project even just or something say, like, like that. Yeah, like just even, what the fuck? Even just like best mod or something. Yeah, I think like, it just felt a little, I don't, I, I love watching Pokemon challenge videos. So I think like, I saw a lot of really good videos get, I, in my opinion, kind of snubbed by this own, my own video. And I, I like, even when they told me I wanted, they want to record a speech. I was like, I don't even think this is like a, a challenge video, <laughs> but I didn't want to, yeah. Oh, thank you. But you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it just became one of those things of like, Sure, like popularity, but also people really liked the mod, so they wanted to vote for it when they could. Yeah, I know? think like the mod is really like I do think the mod is really great. Oh my I th god! I think it was just like not a challenge video in my eyes because I feel like I've done so many others where it was like I don't know. I just thought this was fun and silly. Yeah. Is crab good against monkey? How do crabs and monkeys interact? Neutrally. I guess it's neutral. Yeah, that's fair. Oh well, yeah, for anyone who <laughs> did vote for that, thank you for voting. The, the the effort means a lot. I just thought it was like a... I guess what are the defined parameters of what is a challenge video, I guess. For me, it's like bare minimum permadeath for me, I think. Which that, I guess not every challenge video is a Nuzlocke, but... I knew it. Friendship beats anger. <laughs> I think maybe, like, the parameters in my mind would have to be, like, a self-implemented rule that makes it difficult. Even if it's, like, a monotype run or, like, a solo Pokemon run or a, like, a Nuzlocke with permadeath or something. But I think I just, I made a silly mod and just sent it. Water gun? Oh, no! It is a water gun. Think about it. The, the gun type scares me, but it is a water gun. That makes sense. Yeah. Also, I was not paying attention. I accidentally put Doggy out against Horsey. Well, I mean, you have fluffy Teddy moves. Tumble. Yeah, but water is like quad to, to Doggy. But Fluffy is good against gun? Uh-oh, Doggy dies. The water gun Pokemon used water gun. <laughs> a speed but it dies anyway. I, I don't... I don't think so. I think that's I just a so. different thing. 
That's more of like a like a skill based thing. I think it's just you just have a speedrun category. Yeah. Oh my god, the fairy latte cameo. Fairy! You wanna see some little guys, fairy? <laughs> fairy, you just missed the water gun type. Okay, that's a lot of talking. Yeah, we've read it before. <laughs> Nothing new. You want the ocean to be everything, okay. Leave me alone! Oh yeah, I saw a lot of people asking if I'm gonna make a world video. Well, if I can be so honest, I don't think a lot of stuff happened at Worlds. I had a lot of fun, but not a lot of like interesting stuff happened to make like a video out of it. But mm. I am going to Japan again, haha, uh, <laughs> in uh, about a week. So I kind of think maybe I could combine Worlds and that trip into the same video. And then I think, because I don't think I have, like, enough to talk about on either trip, but I think if I combine them, I can get a video out of it. So I think that's what my plan is. Japan without Jaden? Uh, oh, I'm coming. Yeah, I was like, well, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Again? What the fuck? I'm jealous? Okay, so here it is. Okay, I know. I know. <laughs> we I know. We've been to, to Japan we three to. times in the past year. <laughs> Let me explain why. Um... We went, when we went last year, we found out that they have a, well, first off, Magical Mirai, right? Like, the big Hatsune Miku expo, concert, whatever. Uh, it's huge, and it's at the end of, se the weekend overlapping the end of August and September. And also, there's a Sailor Moon Museum that I want to go to in and, and Japan. And it's only open for a limited time. They also have a limited time. Remember when I went to Japan last time and they had like a uh, One Piece collab and everything? Well, they're doing another collab with One Piece, but it's exclusively with uh, current One Piece. So it's like a lot of a, fucking, yeah, it's, it's a lot of Gear 5. I can say it at this point. I don't care. I was like, how, how coy do I be about it? <laughs> so it's It's been like over a year. Yeah, so it's like a lot of... I don't think I would go to Japan for any one of those things, but when all of them lined up in a, like, all of them take place, like, three days in a row, where I'm like, yeah, we can go. And then yeah. we roped in uh, Emily and Ditus, or Emmy Richu and Ditus to it, and uh, so that should also be fun, because now we're just kind of mm -hmm. going to the four of us. I'm glad they're Yay. going to USJ with us, yeah. Me too. Also, yes, someone did say the, the Chikawa restaurant. That also true. That was a bonus. That was a cherry on top. <laughs> I don't know if we can get in, though. I think... Wait, I don't know what Scraggy is. Also, this Beldum is annoying. Silly. But yeah. I know there is a Chikawa restaurant. I don't... I think there's a very good chance we can't get in, though. Mm hmm why do I think USJ was from my here? Oh my god, wait, what's that? <laughs> I feel so so knowledgeless when I can't check all of these they all the types. The coolest part about getting the your favorite any series you like getting a USJ collab is that you just get a whole lot of randomly shockingly high quality merch. <laughs> Look yeah. At this zip hoodie. Why do they all have orange berries? It looks good. It does. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd wear it out, but it is genuinely just a very nice hoodie. It has Universal it Studios on it, and like honestly, I've I've never looked at my sofa and get. It doesn't reek anime weed when it's unzipped, but it's really just when it is zipped is when you really see it. <laughs> I don't know, ice? Oh. No, what is good against space stat slash steel? Those just sound like two defensive typings. Yeah. Well, Krabby took care of it, though. This fight is taking forever. Magmi. Oh, this thing dies. <laughs> they, like, all had orange berries. Yeah. 
Oh, that's annoying. They're dead, though. Fairy says you have to figure out your quirk power. Jane, if you could have a superpower. Hmm. Okay, well, I've got, like, a boring answer, and I've got a simple, like, a basic answer. Yeah. Okay. So, I feel like the absolute best superpower you could have in, like, reality mm -hmm. is the ability to uh, communicate with your own body, you know? Because then you can be like, hey, body, I'm going to eat this extra cake slice. You can just get rid of it. Don't absorb it, you know? And then it'll be like, hey, uh, looks like we have a headache. Uh, can you drink some water? And then I'll, I'll turn off the pain receptors, you know? Isn't it cool? Like, that is the best use of, like, reality powers you could ever do. Like, say, like... You, something hurts in in your stomach and, and it's like you could detect so many like illnesses but just by being like hey i i have um we're we're developing diabetes please go to the doctor yeah i really thought you're gonna just say like flying or something but... yeah that was my boring answer i'd like wings <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think it's like on a day-to-day -day basis, you definitely can't like save the world with that power. But and I don't want to save the world. No, either, I picked up on thing. that. <laughs> but I think you could like it definitely it's like if you're developing any disease yeah. in your lifetime, you will know about it at the very beginning, I think. And also just being able to say like, hey, can you turn off the pain receptors? I get it. You know? Think, that's huge. I think that's terrifying. No, but it, it's like you know that it's going on like okay say you break your arm right or i guess like you could also like if you're getting a tattoo right yeah exactly see it's like pain receptors are only to notify you that pain is happening but it's like <laughs> once you're notified i don't need the reminder yeah that's how i just I feel like if you keep them off you just die <laughs> well i mean that's just abuse of the power and being stupid i think that's oh a i see issue. In chat, people are com talking about the combination of that power and period cramps. <gasps> You're and labor? Oh my god, it would save Wait, labor women is everywhere. crazy, actually. You just <laughs> pop that fucker out. Imagine the money you save. <laughs> like, you don't even have to go to the hospital if you have, like, um, mm -hmm. what are the, 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 for, the lady near, near who, what, what's her name? What? The lady that helps, uh, uh, midwife, midwife. If you have like a midwife to help, oh, okay. then you don't even need to go to the hospital. Wait, what was that? Vibe friend fighting, fr fighting vibe friend. Cute. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think I would choose flight. Yeah, that's a cool one. Thanks. Specifically with the board wings. I th I think actually the power, I I think. Specifically out of all the superheroes, because I think it's boring to be like, Superman who gets the power of fucking everything, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I think uh, it's a little everything. Specifically, I think Danny Phantom powers are the coolest mm, to me. Because it's yeah. not necessarily power. It's a lot of, like, cool movement. And I think, like, invisibility and flight are both really cool as, like, base powers that's like usually like a sub power of a lot of superheroes yeah but i yeah. think those combined with like all like the ghost shit i think is really cool yeah, i think just being able to like go wins. through walls motherfucker mm. you in a comic <laughs> yeah it's cool time control has to be the best though okay so i've thought about this know. i'm sure any smash player or any competitor has thought about this of like if I could enter in like a Smash tournament and just slow down the game for me only, I feel like uh. I'm I'm broken. I'm cracked at the game. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's like any like if you want to be the top of an esport, you're you got it. Or if I had like a power <laughs> to like save state, you know, mm. same thing happens. Yeah, I think like a a realistic drawback would be like your body still ages in all like the save states you put down you know oh so like you a, lose minutes one. or hours of your life or whatever but like 
Whenever people say, like, time travel, I always think about Click from Adam Sandler, and that guy did not have a very good time. <laughs> yeah, I... Specifically, not the Adam Sandler kind of time traveling, please. <laughs> Normal Fluffy. Um, if I had to get a little more creative... I'm trying to think. Because those are all, like... Like, I'm going off of what someone else has done with it. But if I were to have to take, like, a random power... Okay, I'm going to do it. Let me... Give me a random superpower. Let me... Mm. Superpower random generator. Okay. Oh. I found one. My controller. Okay, so it has assigned me... Uh, Superhuman durability and endurance alongside reality warping. So that Whoa, that's a crazy combo. I'm pretty strong. Uh, would you like yours? Yeah, what of me? What is me? <laughs> Jaden, I think we both just got the two powers we just described. Uh, subconscious manipulation. Oh. <laughs> Ability yeah, that's to crazy. and manipulate own subconscious and organic constructs, the power to create constructs from organic material. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds cool. powerful. You did, you did great. How about picking a stand, though? How do... Okay, I don't really understand stands. Like, <laughs> are they guys? Okay, so... Um... Stands... Are, like, the manifestation of, of, of your soul, kind of. Uh... They can be, but another way is sometimes you just get a guy because you got stabbed by a golden arrow. Oh, but it's like, how do you, do you control the stand? Or yes. does he kind of just do your, it, that just sounds really difficult to be like controlling your body and the stand body. Also, I need to restart because my controller is being weird. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you don't really fight with. Like, the stand... I feel like if the stand's fighting, you're not. It's kind of like the whole point of it. Mm. Unless it's more like a support stand. I think, like, sex pistols or something, where it's just just a dude with a revolver. There's also Whole Horse, whose stand is that he has a gun. <laughs> um... Okay. We're still back. See, it's like the controller. I don't even know, think it's a control. I don't even know what is the problem here. Mm -hmm. Brandon. Yeah, the stand and you are like the same yet separate. Yeah, well, so I'm trying to explain it in words other than that because it just sounds confusing. And I know it's correct. <laughs> Grass, water, vibe. Oh, I did know about that already. Yeah, I, honestly, I do like. Um, yeah, water bending. I yeah. think even if it's just like any bending from Avatar, I would be down for. Yeah, I think. Uh, we've talked about it before, and I'm sure it's like everyone has this conversation, but what is like. Uh, air is just like the most broken bending, right? Yeah, you can suffocate people. Yeah, but it's like. Besides, besides air, would just water be. I feel like it's just. Water and air both clear. Yeah, I think blood bending definitely evolves water bending to be like mm -hmm. you just kind of win. Yeah. And it, it is one of those. I don't know if the the show ever does goes into this, but there is really you know the frozen thing of like air and water in the air. Yeah. When I was a kid, I wanted to be Violet so bad. From The Incredibles? Yeah. Because, okay, like... It was the shy little nerdy girl who could go invisible kinda, when she I gets embarrassed. I kind of kinned with, with Violet a little bit, you know? Yeah. The Violet <laughs> But Penny. it's also like, my family was also fit the Incredibles family. It's like mom, dad, younger brother, older daughter. Yeah. So I was like, it's us! It's us for real, for real. Uh, I need to... Water, grass, vibe is such a defensive typing. Yeah. 
Can water benders control hot steam? Well, I think... I, I've never really seen them do anything with temperature. But they can send... Why can they turn water into, like, ice, like, projectiles, like shurikens? Because that mm -hmm. means they can definitely make it colder. Can they just not make it hotter? They can freeze Maybe it. Maybe there's, okay. like, a threshold that turn... That's, like... Once you cross a threshold, maybe it turns into, like, that's, like, fire territory. Oh, Korra maybe. did? Okay, got it. Mm. But Korra's also the Avatar, so I don't... God damn it. <coughs> this fight is going on way too long. There we go. Colon three! I love the little guy's type. Jaden is secretly the goth pilot. I think it's really weird how people call you goth. People, it, I'm not goth. Just because I wear wear black and have tattoos doesn't mean I'm goth. Isn't goth like the kind of like music you listen to? Isn't like a music culture? I mean, there was definitely goth music, but like. I thought it was more of like, you know, like a lifestyle than a, a fashion choice. Like, there are, like, fashion choice goths, but I thought, like... I think a lot of, like, goth music is typically classified as, like, emo music, right? But mm. there's definitely, like, a, there is, like, a lot of stuff with that. Cause, what like, is this? I think when you think of, like, goth music, yeah. it can range from, like, like, fucking, like, Black Veil Brides to, like, The Cure. You know, like, musically, those artists are very different. But I mm -hmm. think it can still... Um, like, fashion definitely comes into it, but, you know, like, I know you wear all black, but to me, a lot of goth is, like, uh, clunky boots, fishnets, ripped jeans, you know, yeah, like, like, a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, like, black lipstick, intense makeup. You're, Jaden, you're too optimistic to be goth. That's not the point, either. <laughs> I don't think people know what it's like to actually, like, the no know the actual definition of goth. Yeah, it's just, it's just, uh... I think, like most things, it's a spectrum, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah it's a the little bit of, of all of it. Oopsie, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Bay leaf? Oh, God. Oh, I got doggy now. Either way, I'm not goth. I, <laughs> I don't think I'm anything. I think I'm just a person. <laughs> As that a exists. punk nerd, I'm mauling over this whole chat. Well, that's cool. <gasps> Huge burn. <laughs> Pinto power. Oh, God. Oh, that's not the healing one. Okay. I really don't think that, like, besides the tattoos. Mm hmm. Wearing black just is not an emo thing. Like, I think I always attribute, like, being goth, besides, like, the music um, yeah. aspect, it's, like, really intense, like, gothic makeup. And I really don't wear that much makeup. No. I think it's, like, for you, it's just a lot of your... It's just streetwear, manly. And I think it's, like, all yeah. black streetwear. But I feel like most, especially Asian streetwear, is, like typically darker colors with like accents of bright colors mm -hmm. yeah above all else black is, is easy to wear <laughs> it is i should go back and heal the guys nah it's fine i've got i've got potions My guys, my friends. Hmm. I like Sandshrew, but it's it's so hard to use them. None of the Boizel. None yeah, of I mean, the types I are really. Wear, like all black. I do have a lot of color in my wardrobe, but I mean, I commonly wear all black, and I I don't think people accuse me of being goth or emo. You know, like I don't think. No, I also, also I think, think I have a different just... vibe in general. But... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can pull off black and lots of really fun colors. I think it's the main thing is just like 
Because we do have... <gasps> Show us! We both have tattoos and can wear, like, all black, but I think it's like I have dark hair and you have light hair, and that might be the only difference for yeah. pe some people. I do agree. Five magic. It, is a, it is a lifestyle more so than a, a fashion statement. Yeah, that's always been my understanding of it. Mm -hmm. Uh... Friend. Oh. Song is good on both of them? If only I could <laughs> tell what type was the other one. Whoa, they're both super effective. <coughs> it's such an overwhelming amount of uh, <laughs> knowledge right away. What? Just like learning the types because I'm like, friend type was good against Hatina, but was that the vibe or was that the magic? Yeah, I don't think you'll ever fully feel confident in the chart. <laughs> I think <coughs> after beating the game and everything, if I had to fill in the type chart, I think I would fail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like... I agree, like, the... The white hair doesn't have to make you not goth. I think that's just how people perceive it when they don't really understand... Yeah. ...the culture. I think above all else, it's really just a vibe. It is just a vibe. This guy normally has Whalmer. And I also think... The cool part about it, of it being like this label, is that if a person says they're not goth, they're probably not goth. <laughs> yeah. It's a hard thing to accidentally fall into, I feel. No one called me goth until I just got tattoos, and then they're like, oh my god, goth girl! Yeah, I it's think like... a lot of people <laughs> who think they are goth are just correct. <laughs> yeah. Prime fight crab. Gamer move. Have a lot of ton of gossip right here. Oh yeah, like yeah. But I think it's fair to say it's commonly dark. I think that's all Jade was trying to say. Yeah, I wasn't saying that's what I believe. I think that's just how the general public perceives goth. You know, mm -hmm. like person wearing all black with tattoos, goth. When that's not right. Bonsley, bringing out the crab. It's always, like, so unfortunate when some, uh, like, a community gets, like, super into the, the light of, like, the general public. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like it just gets super, super watered down. Yeah, I think that happens like, anywhere. I think especially yeah. with, like, social media being what is it. It's so accessible, so easy to find. Yeah. Like, it's always, like, you know, good and bad. It's nice that... Uh, cool community gets a lot of eyes on it, but the it's just so easy to turn something into the most simple forms mm -hmm. of it. Da boys. Stantler, what's this guy? What do you think he is? Um. Is there a Santa type? No, not a Santa type. No! Not boring ugly! I knew he'd be boring, but I didn't <laughs> think he'd be ugly. He's not that ugly. How does he do against the prime? Someone says, the quote, prime. I love goth girls, and it's just women in funeral clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Santler could not hang with the prime type. What is magic art? Oh, you're right. I forgot to check. You're not great so at this. Is this like water boring? Oh. I guess we'll never know. I think I think it was boring because the prime. Maybe prime is good against boring. I don't know. I don't know, understand that one. Normal boring. No, that can't be right. Oopsie. Water silly, maybe? Oh, maybe Prime is... I don't know.
Hmm. No, oh, we can go see what guys are over here. I'll fight the twins. Oopsie. Uh... I just... Krabby is just so dependable. Oh. As a kid, I wanted to be in, in the Pokemon daycare so bad. Oh, I, I was like, there has there. to be a way, because I just want to <laughs> interact with the guys. Yeah. I want to know what Scraggy is. He's got to be a, a sus gamer or something. He's definitely, definitely a little off for sure. It's just all the sound effects for him. <laughs> Crab yeah. pulls through yet again. It, it's just good. I can depend on Krabby for anything. When I'm lost, I can depend on my crab. When do you get Kingler? I don't know, is it, I think it's level 30, if I remember correctly, or something like that. I'm gonna search it, but I know someone's beans. already typed in chat before I can get here. Oh, and would you look at that? The backseaters are sleeping today. Yeah, I know. I really thought, like, it would just come up. It's level 28, by the way. Mmm. I was close. What did Magikarp I think of the is taste water ugly. Video? Uh, I liked it. I think it's it does suffer a bit, I think, of, of straight girls kissing. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think uh it's a fun video though. Wait, I ran past where I wanted to be. I forgot. Hone edge? What is this? Sharp steel? Sharp ghost. Sharp I'm ghost getting closer. Yeah, you got it there. Big girls can kiss if they wanna. Well, like. I mean, everyone can kiss if they wanna. Yeah. I think, uh. I think you just have to be a little careful when you're, uh, in a public position. I, I'd like to introduce, like, I love Sabrina Carpenter. Do not get me wrong. She is, she is my main pop girly right now, but, uh, uh. A lot of pop girls do so from a little a little thing we like to call uh, a little queer baiting, you know, where it's just like, oh, it's iconic for two girls to kiss. And, you know, I don't make such a big stink about it because, I mean, I think a lot of people did that with Billie Eilish and kind of forced her out of the closet, right? But, oh, I didn't know people did that. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, know. I mean... Who, she, who did she kiss? She didn't kiss anyone. She just said, like, a lot of, like, homo... I don't want to say like erotic, just like a lot of homosexual ish. Like girl love stuff. things. Yeah, a lot of girl loving girl stuff. And I think a lot of people mistook it as queer baiting when, you know, she was just in fact gay. Yeah. So. But. She made a song about eating someone out. Well, that was. That was after wait, she was. That was after. <laughs> <laughs> I think we would just would have known at that point. That I don't would, think that'd she... be a crazy thing to dis put out before you say you're gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So could you, Im could you imagine if like a person that you would assume you like that is perceived as like a straight man puts out a song on like just blowing a guy? That'd be crazy. How can literally? How does one even queer bait? I think, I don't think it's like the end of the world. Like, it's not like I'm sitting, hey, to Sabrina, I love the music video. I love all of her stuff. And I, I said it in like, uh, I think Slim Pickens, where it's just like the same thing. It's like, I think it's just slightly whack when uh, it's kind of like trying, like rainbow capitalism in a way, where it's like, you see Target running all these ads for like, hey, we're selling rainbow stuff. Want to buy it? Support the gays that support our profits. It's just, I think, just pandering to, like, a community you aren't necessarily a part of by acting as if you are. I think that's just really what it is. Mm. And I think that's why people think queer baiting is a little whack. I don't think Sabrina Carpenter made any ill will or anything like that, but, you know, you know I think it's just a little... But, like, you never know if she is or not. Like, that's the thing. That's why I don't care to make a it's huge hard. deal about it. Because you never really know how people feel about this stuff. Because I think... Some people 
I do think some people queer bait. Not not saying this is right, but like saying I think a lot of people uh, will might say something like Billy or anyone else who like is very gay because they're still kind of working through it. You know. Yeah, I think also a lot of like LGBT slang is very popular right now too. Yeah. Like mother and cunty and Careful. oh, am I allowed to say? I'm not no. allowed to say that. I forgot I'm on Twitch. Well, there goes my vod. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you're right. <laughs> No, I said it under my breath. I didn't say it. I didn't. I. I meant. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it is like also like. Yeah, it's uh, African American vernacular. But it's just. Mm. It all gets, you know, tossed around. Yeah, slay. Yeah, she said country. That's right. I did say country. Let's heal. I want to see the guys. Ah, I'm going to fight him. I'm just going <gasps> to... Zangoose, this is sharp, fluffy. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I see this one. Yeah, I guess who's right-leaning. <laughs> Why? What is... What What gives these... I <laughs> I understand why they're... They're political opposites of each other. Mm -hmm. I just... I am not able to piece together... Um, the the reasonings between between why superior is right and Zangoose is left. Okay, gamer isn't very good against anything. Dark. What? This has also got to be water gun. I knew it. I'm learning. Mm -hmm. Uh, bring out the boys. I <laughs> like. As a Brit, it feels weird to see Americans use the C word in the way they do, because I use it so often the British way and not the gay way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Aust Australia had such a chokehold over that word. And then, and then people turned it into a completely different word. I think just describing it as the gay way is so funny. <laughs> no! Okay, we live. Jaden, why aren't you streaming? Also, why do you have for Jirachi? What? What? I don't have Jirachi. I don't get the and reference. Is it a reference? I thought they were confused. I should. They could just be. I keep not paying attention to the next Pokemon coming out. Zangus. Yeah, I think, like, with all the, the crew big stuff, like, I think it's just something I roll my eyes at when it happens, especially when it's not, like, a... When it's a corporation, it's definitely, like, less... It's harder to give it the benefit of the doubt. But I think mm -hmm. when it's just, like, a singer, especially someone who's, like, into art and everything like that... Yeah. Like, I just think everyone, like, let's... I'm gonna turn a blind eye and let them work out whatever they need to work out. And if it's something, <laughs> it could be. If it's not, it's not, so... But I do always yeah. feel bad for how people treated Billy whenever she came out, because I know she definitely talked about how she felt, like, forced out. But Oh, I didn't know that. That's, yeah. a, that's sad. Yeah. Where it's, like, she just got a lot of, like, queerbaiting allegations when she was, like, flirting with the idea of it. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to be figuring yourself out and also a public figure. Mm-hmm. I think that's the thing people uh, 
don't realize the most when you're in front of um, an audience. Mm -hmm. It's it's very one. hard to take things back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, especially that. I see. Space asking, fairy. Have either of you been to a pride parade? I think like, like, for me, I have been once, and I just don't even like parades. Period. <laughs> I don't like large social <laughs> gatherings of people I don't the know. Pride par the pride part is great, but the parade, oh, didn't. Yeah, I don't like even it. like that. So, like, I went <laughs> once, and I was like, this is just not my vibe. Yeah. I went once with friends because friends were going. Yeah. Uh, and I, don't, I just don't really remember it. I, I think it was just like we were there and then we left. Introvert vibes? I relate. I, I don't even think mine's introvert vibes. I just don't like parades specifically. I, don't, <laughs> I <laughs> yeah. like going out. I love being social and seeing people and stuff like that. I think it's just, I, I don't know, parades just hanging out outside doesn't sound just kind of <laughs> waiting for shit to happen yeah you're a very social person i think I i'm just think saying i don't parade. like parades <laughs> or, yeah 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 <laughs> i like how ella kid went off the map for his little thing i didn't i wasn't paying attention magnitude 10 sand uh colon three also does not like babies Yeah, I think it's also weird because I at times I do feel very introverted, but I think the reality of it is I work from home. Yeah. And you know, I think it's just very easy for me to stay home because realistically everything I have is home. But I do like going, I mean, when I stay home, you still see all of my friends do like group things on stream. And <laughs> I'm, I'm the one who organizes that. Like I'm the one who pulls people together and posts stuff. So I think I definitely do have extrovert even if I am extroverted from the comfort of my bedroom, you know? Mm. I think it's just like there's a lot of downtime to not be social so yeah. when you are social it's just easier. But I am like as introverted as you can get. There's a term called ambivert say. which is a mix of both. And I I'm aware. I am aware but I think like what I'm describing isn't that either. It's, I'm saying it's just like, I think I feel more introverted than I am because I'm inside my, my room a lot, but I think I'm inside my room a lot simply because I work from home and I spend a lot of time working and then I play games with people online, but I don't, I think I'm, I think you could be extroverted without having that mean I love talking to random people. I don't really like talking to people I don't know, if I can be honest, but I love meeting people which is like the hard conundrum right but once you cross <laughs> that line i'm very open to spend time with people that's definitely an introvert i don't think so <laughs> i think that you are what you feel like you are <laughs> yeah uh, yeah i think this isn't me like bashing on the term or anything but what is, like, the purpose of the term ambivert, or I whatever it is? ambivert, it's just saying that, like, it depends on, like, the environment, you know? Yeah. Where it's, like, and I think if you really want to get into Oh, wait, you can still have several nights with Freddy. <laughs> with Do I get rid of faint attack? I feel like Shadow Snake is so bad, though. Uh, we could but... have five nights with Freddy. <laughs> 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 I guess that is what it's... <laughs> Closer. We're going back. Five nights with Freddy's. <laughs> yeah, introverts, extroverts, more about energy recharging. Oh, yeah. I forgot that's kind of what it is. It's like, do you yeah. get your energy from being with people or do you, from being alone? Which I think, by that definition, is definitely an introvert. And I think... Uh, uh, Dream. Me, I think I get a lot of energy from, from being with people. I think I feel like myself when I'm going out and doing things. Yeah, I I just don't like any sort of socialization if it isn't with my closest friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is such a snorfer. <laughs> what a snorfer! <laughs> I can't say he's not. 
<laughs> no, I know exactly what they're talking about. Yeah, I guess he is. <laughs> I think the famous YouTuber just doesn't like getting sniped in public. I think that is what I'm trying to say, yeah. Also, I don't know if you feel this same way, Jaden. I think you do. I hate it in fan interactions when people call me famous. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think... Oh, no, like... no, no, not that they call me famous. It's that people will say, like, to warm up to asking if I'm Alpha, they're like, hey, are you famous? And I oh, feel like yeah, an yeah. asshole if I say it yes. Makes... It makes you say, say that you're famous. Yeah, people, that's a pretty common thing people will say, I feel. Because, like, they see me and they're like, oh, I think that's a YouTube creator. So I'll, I'll ask in this way. I think it's like, I've turned it into a joke where um, people will ask, oh, hey, are you famous? Or like, oh, I've met someone famous. I joke, I was like, oh, it's the internet kind, so it doesn't count. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's always what I say, because I think it can yeah. make it into a joke without sounding vain. But I, I had to uh, I had to develop an answer because I always just felt comfortable because I was like, no, 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 I'm not. I felt weird also saying that because I, I don't want to like downplay it at the same time, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't gotten too many interactions of people being like hey are you famous it's only the only times it's really been when a lot of people recognize me all at once and then someone is like what's the deal who are you yeah. kind of thing oh and you also don't want to make them think you have the wrong person too by saying no because like you know what they're asking when they say that so it's just i think it's just uncomfortable but for what it's worth i don't mind i would say i even like fan interactions i love meeting fans no matter where it is and i at Pokemon mm -hmm. Worlds, I say I talked to like probably the most fans I've ever talked to. It was a lot of fun. And I think as long as people come into it, I think the only like bad fan interactions I'd say I've had are like when people say <laughs> jokes, quote jokes, to get like a reaction out of you. And I mm -hmm. think that's always really strange. Like this one is pretty innocent. But at Pokemon World, some kid came up to me and said, like, Hey, Alfred, you're, like, in my top three favorite YouTubers. And, you know, I kind of, like, whatever. Like, I'm not going to make a big deal about that. I'm just going to be like, oh, mm, thank you, you know. Top three is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, happy to make the top three. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, but my number one is Ludwig. And I go, yeah, okay, yeah, Ludwig makes some great stuff. And he goes, oh, damn, I just want to see how you reacted to that. And I was like, fucking, I don't, dog, like, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Like, okay. And, you know, it's just like an... I just roll my eyes because it's... I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It, it it's just... kind of like... You just... It's really... I think it, for me, I interpret that as like, oh, I'm not... I'm yeah. just like... Not person. That's to... a kid immature thing to say. I mean, I say kid. This person was probably like 19, 20, 21. Like younger than me, but still like old enough to have not done that per se. Yeah. Like I know that like if you're a content creator on the internet, people, it is just really difficult for people to perceive you as like yeah. a normal person. You're telling but the story right now that's... as a delayed reaction. You're right. If they're watching, they got me. But I still, like, <laughs> using it as an example to just, like, how not to interact with a person. I just think it's strange. Because it's not that I care about being, like, top three to, like, Ludwig, who I think is, like, one of the best creators that we have right now. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I think it's just, you know, if you want to... I think the best interactions are just when people come up and be like, Hey, big fan, can I get a picture? And I go, yeah. And then we take the picture and we maybe say one more thing and then that's it. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes people will like, they, I'll have people who like want to say hi, they want to meet me and they'll like linger, but they don't have anything to say. And I think I understand it's, it's scary to maybe if you, if you are a fan, if you watch that, if you watch for a long time, it can be surreal and anxiety inducing to meet a person you watch. Yeah. But I think for me, I just struggle because I also don't know what to fucking say. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like, do we assume this person, like, if they have asked if they know us, like, mm -hmm. do we assume that they know us or is something else going on? Like, yeah. 
I will say that Jacob and I have very good <laughs> receptors for if we are being recognized by someone or not. Yeah. It is like I could take one look mm -hmm. and be like, I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think it's bad. Like for what it's worth, no. those shy, awkward interactions. I don't hate them. They're like the most they're fine. I I don't want to sound too negative. It's just when the person is coming up to me to talk to me and doesn't know what to say, it's hard for me because I also just don't know what to say. <laughs> so yeah. it's just we're at a standstill. Also, there's not a negative. Uh, I'm not saying like I know who you are as like a negative thing. We just have a very good sense of. Can we try to develop like a, a way sense. to respond to people who are struggling to start a conversation? I, I hear you, but I no because. If they come up and talk to me, I'm talking about once the interaction has started. If the interaction hasn't started, how am I supposed to know it's supposed it started, right? Like, or that yeah. I should go out of the way or something. But I think uh, if people come up and talk to me, I do my best to keep the conversation flowing. But sometimes people will come up and be very shy and not really respond at all. And then I, I don't know what to do at that point. And that's when things become hard for me. Mm -hmm. I would say, like, you know, we are able to, like, work around pretty much anything. Like, yeah. as long as you're not being blatantly a dick to us, then it's fine. It's really fine. We get it. Fake out the diny baby. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Fake out killed the baby, huh? <laughs> oh, from oh, the dead. <laughs> the child retaliates the purple guy. I'm cursed from killing that tiny Pichu. I saw everything. <laughs> uh, I keep for not checking the Pokemon. Crab type. When in doubt, There's a little type. electric baby. We know that one. No, the next one coming oh. out. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Pikachu. This has got to be... Electric friend. Oh. <laughs> I am mistaken. It's Don't you feel Pikachu foolish type. now? <laughs> I feel so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> Will you look at its moves? Can I do that? I didn't know I could do that. Oh, oh, Pikachu gets signature Pikachu moves later in the game. Never mind. Ah, maybe I should find me a Pikachu then. <laughs> Sounds strong. I well, now I don't first. know the type of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Is Pikachu weak to crab? No, no, it's neutral. neutral. Oh, damn, this oh my god, it runs in the hitting. family. I just cannot touch these things. Yeah, long story short, because I don't want the takeaway of this to be like that either of us are like yeah. burdened by fan interaction, because I genuinely Not do love all. it. I think it was just more like the anecdotal talking about the past few, Shit. where I think 95% of fan <laughs> interactions are perfect, 4.9% are good, but 0.1% are, are bad. And I think it's nice. I don't know. No one's, like, come up to me and just said some unhinged shit. Like, I've talked about the one guy who was like, you suck, I Crash Bandicoot, and I just go, okay. But at <laughs> least that was, like, this dude just saying I suck at a video game, not just, like, a random person saying, hey, Alpha Rad, and then calling me slurs, you know? Yeah. So, I think it could definitely be worse. I've had one, the worst fan reaction I've ever had was, I've talked about this several times, was just a dude who grabbed me by the shoulders and shook me to tell me something, and I just fucking left after that. But, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, but that's just once. Like, that was the worst interaction by far. One time at SmashCon, someone saw me in a bathroom and was like, yo, Alfred, can I get a picture? I was like, probably not here. <laughs> but, not like, right now. If you want to walk outside, sure. <laughs> I don't yeah. think they thought about it, you know? But Yeah, it's just you forget your surroundings. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, YouTuber where I watch. Do people call you I'd by your like... first name? Or what were you saying? Oh, no, you can go. I think, like, yeah, people call me by my first name. I think people say, hey, Alpharad, just because, like, I, I don't know, it feels formal. There's, like, a professor where you would call <laughs> them by the name that they present as. But mm -hmm. I, I think over the years, I've definitely, like, identified with Alpharad as a name less and less. Because that's why I've kind of, like, put in the name Jacob Alpharad over time. Yeah. Just because I think, like, Alpharad is a username. Like, objectively, Alpharad is a username I came up with when I was 18 years old. And <laughs> I am now 28. And I think if, you know, if 
my YouTube channel didn't take off, I think I would have like long abandoned the name Alpharad and come up with something else. But I think since it is so big and attached to me, I cut. haven't. But yeah, I like Jacob Alpharad is fine. Trend. Ah, uh, he prime subbed me. No. He what? He 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 prime subbed. That's I guess crazy. I just have to, to prime sub back. I guess so. <laughs> I mean, you got to do what With you got to do. With the prime subs. And a fake out. If we meet, yeah. do you want to call you Jacob or Alpharad? Uh, I think I'm good with either. But I think if I hear someone trying to get my attention, uh. I think I respond to Alpharad more just because, like, I think that lets me know <laughs> it's like a fan interaction, not like... So, like, sometimes... A fan would be like, hey, Jacob, and I'll look over and I'm like, do I know that guy? You know, because I think that's like what a friend would do. But mm -hmm. to answer the question, I'm good with either. One will confuse me more than the other, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Fluffy, fluffy prime, I think it was. Fluffy yeah, it's gamer. prime rollout. Prime sub is. So it's getting stronger. Oh. Fluffy Prime. Okay, well, I'll just use what I know. Hype Train! Oh, we're what? getting Hype trained. Wait, what? No, that's... No, that's Prime Rollout. That's what I was thinking of. That's my bad. It didn't... The Ember didn't even do anything. I forgot it about the Hype it. Train. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I'm in trouble. We need to burn this thing. Oh, no. The oh, the Hype dies. Trains are coming. The <laughs> bits dies. are here. Oh, no. <laughs> My doggy, we have to bring out the crab. Also, I forgot to level up <laughs> again. I'm level 20. We have to do it now. No, Krabby, take it. Oh, I know the bits that's high so training getting so no! big. Oh, and it's super effective. Of course it is. Oh, no. Swimsicott is pretty fast. Oh, I guess no. you're also not leveled. Yeah, I'm not. I forgot. No, he hasn't missed a single one. The boys! Not the boys. Yeah, that's a My wipe. boys. Yeah, we Good job, Whimsicott. Well played. <laughs> Didn't miss a single hype train hit. I got hit by five trains. Aqua Jet. What if I yell the full government? Like, I think Jaden's the same, where none of uh, neither of our last names are really, God like, damn. private. But no. I obviously don't publicize them because I don't like it when people use, like, the full government on me. So that's kind of why we yeah. threw first name Jacob, last name Alpharad. I think I think it's weird when when other people use it, you know. I don't so. like when people use my last name because it was never intentionally supposed to be out there. I just mm -hmm. my school fucking doxed me when I was in high school. Punishment. Oh my god. Didn't you have it as your Twitter handle before? As like my display name, but that was like to get verified you had to do that. If you want to get verified on Twitter back in the day, you had to put first name, last name. But you had to submit, like, an ID and stuff. But I've also, like, withdrawn that. Like, exactly what Jaden was saying. Like, it's hard to undo stuff as a public figure where... I don't know. Metal Claw. Did Jacob Alpharad come before or after Sans Undertale? Sans Undertale definitely paved the way. But... The first creator I ever saw to do, like, first name, username was probably, like, Charlie Slimesickle. I think that was the first one I actually saw do that. So I think I, mm -hmm. I took the Jacob Alfred kind of inspiration from him, if I can say. If I had to point it to something. Faint attack. Doggy. Snug strike. Cute. Whoa, 80... 80 attack, damn. No more if it's Teddy Jacob Tumble. Alfred, wouldn't it also be Jaden Jaden animations? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> First name Jaden, last name Jaden animations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I when I was making my I've never really had like a username when I was when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. I kind of just like had a bunch of random ones. Ooh, do I want 
bubble beam instead of uh, instead of icy wind. Maybe. Yeah. Um. So when I was making like a YouTube channel name, I was just like, I could make like a username, but I I don't want people in my life to. I was like, I didn't want to get embarrassed yeah. <laughs> from like. Not the idea of like having a cringy username. It was just dap me up. It's the guys. It's a guys type. Oh. It's okay. also a B, but. It's a B. No, no nothing. This is a. Uh, <laughs> it's the failing signature move. It's no retreat. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I know oh. it's helping hand. No, that's helping hand. There's a different guys move later. Oh, yeah, gotcha. That's just helping hand. That's cute. Oopsie. One extra level. Oh! That's okay. Oh, but you yeah, get I more boys just, now. Like, use my... More guy! More boys! More bros! Big bro. Giant bro. I thought it was dab for so long. It is. It's a typo. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> The boys. But yeah, I was kind of just like, I'll just use my name because that's what I'm used to. People calling me, yeah. and it's just easier. <gasps> Another guy! Another uh, friend. This is a friend, though. Yay! Sand slash. A big colon three friend. Giant colon three. Crush claw. Yes. Hmm. Oh, it's a crab type. Uh, we can get rid of Fury Cutter. All signs <laughs> point to crab in this game. Crab is just so reliable. Lantern. Oh. I it's see. Just, you get the HM in form of key items. Yeah. I guess I just, like, Flash is for some reason like a TM in this, so I just assume that mm -hmm. I just never have it. I also forgot to check what type this is. At least you leveled. Uh, I just know this is a prime guy. It might just be a prime guy. I think this is, yeah. Wait, isn't this sus? Or prime gamer. Prime gamer, yeah. Gamer is good against sus, I suppose. I mean, gamer is good against prime. Big damage. <laughs> If I'm reading this correctly. So this is a purple guy sweep. Yeah, Watson is a uh, prime and Pikachu trainer. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> Those are the two types he has. Uh. Ooh, you can take a prime sub. You got this. He doesn't hit his hard back, though. That's a thing. Because this is a fluffy thing. This is a fluffy prime. Maybe Swap House can get a fake out later? No. Yeah. Mm, I thought Doggy would do more, but uh -huh. maybe this is a... Maybe this is a yippee moment. I don't know why. No, it's it's just another reliable Pokemon. fairly difficult. Brayden and Jacob tried it. To be fair, we did try it as a Soul Link, so I think we tried it on a much harder format. But mm. I, the, it is hard, don't get me wrong. But I think it's pretty simple simple with planning you just have to know the type chart like you you can't wing it you have to have documentation for this uh, it's like i didn't even do anything yeah kobe i've also seen a few of the hardcore nuzlocke videos i every time i see one i watch it i'd like to think i've watched every hardcore too many types video if not it's eluding me We've got a prime move on this yeah. guy. At least if the hype train starts getting out of hand, you can fake it out to stop it. Yeah, you're right. Oh, we take that, though. The boys take it. Ah, uh, this is a heal, though. I don't think... I think they're locked in a hype train. You think so? I... Oh, you're right. I forgot that's how it worked. Yeah. But we die. die. Yeah. <laughs> A purple guy comes back out. Uh, I don't know if this kills. 
I don't think eh. so, yeah. Did Peach Hell ever do too many types? No, he didn't. I don't think it's his kind of game. Funny, you know. <laughs> uh, I should have kept my sh uh, uh, sneaky shade. Thank you Punishment. for all the prime stuff. So I don't know why everyone's prime stuffing all of a sudden. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Everyone's just being a, a funny guy with the prime subs. <laughs> the prime sub directly uh, helps my my gamers, my gamer types. So the more, oh, how is how is my whole team weak against? Hype it's a train? hard, it's a hard one. Fluffy prime. This whimsicott has killed many a runs before. Ah. Uh... It's the ace, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm. Oh, honestly, leading with the Crush Claw is really good. So think if you could have lowered his defenses twice. True. And then your fake out <laughs> does more, or your gamer, your wombo combo definitely does a lot more. It definitely does. It's just... I need to slow it down because it's just so fast. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that would have killed in the other situation. Yeah, lowering the defense is huge. <coughs> yeah, that kills. I think I die again. I wipe again. Maybe, maybe the, I need to bring out some other guys because. I didn't I, realize that Prime was good against my whole team. I think you can do it with this team. I think the real difference is swap in a Sand Slash, get two Crush Claws, and then hit Limsica with the Wombo Combo. Yeah. I think oh. you just kill it if you do that. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, it's dead now. Krabby. Rotom. Ooh. What do I have left? I got Doggy. doggy. Uh, he's got two more guys. Okay, Snug what is this? Strike. Prime. Just a prime oh, guy. No. Hmm. Okay, free turn. Uh, imagine if I got a crab rave off right there. Oh, that would have been a huge crab rave. If only. Maybe he just keeps charging, though. You never know. Damn it. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I could get a burn. <coughs> get some white breads in chat in case you're curious. No, doggy. No, not doggy. <laughs> hmm. I'll get another snug strike. I think Third the snug strike was working. And also, doggy yeah. cannot hurt you all that much. I mean, this could mm. compound soon, very soon. But I think if you break out of confusion here, they're just going to confuse Ray you again. So I think you're in a good spot. Yeah. Their turn, how much they have to do to hit you once requires three turns. <laughs> yeah. Doggy, come on. What? It's one. No! Doggy is just so confused. Oh, that's a clutch miss right there. <laughs> How long pathetic. are you confused for? Oh my Buddy, god. Buddy! Doggy! Come on! Jesus. This thing is setting up on you. This has been such an awful turn for everybody involved. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Good dog. Good dog. <laughs> Pikachu. You know what? Good mm. question. What is the dog doing? What is doggy doing? What is the dog doing? We'll never know. Oh, I forgot Pikachu. What does Pikachu attack look like? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. <laughs> It's just normal attack, but with Pikachu cry at the end. That's it's so, so funny. funny. <laughs> just normal slam.
quick attack, probably. I'll get a good, yeah. Oh, you oh. out quick attacked me. My doggy. Hmm. Do you have an healing item? I do. I could, I might as well use it. Yeah, escape from here. What's Pikachu doing? Oh, Pikachu attack. <laughs> Pikachu. It's so Oopsie. funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess I could. I'll just vice grip it because. Okay. Yeah, I think you go That's crab fine. mode. Huge. Oh, nice. Huge. Vice grip is just the goat move. Crab is just the goat type. That's all it really is. You're right. Four levels until bigger crabby. Yeah, what? I think Flannery's 20, 29. So I think you I think you get it before Flannery. Nice. That would be perfect. Oh, I wonder what type she has. Does she have like what, like, D's Nuts and Fire or something? No, we already got our D's Nuts joke out of the way. Mm. Where are you going? To smash the rock. Do I have to, I have to do that, and right? keep to telling get you you don't have to do the HMs. Oh, I, I thought that was part of a story beat, though. I mean, you come back through here to go to like Norman, but I don't think it's, that's how you get strength. Yeah. Oh my God. Do I just get the HMs directly from the, the gym gyms. leaders? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's where you got your ax to use cut. That's where you got your lantern for flash, etc. I thought I got the, the other ones from just normal talking to the guys. I guess I just have not been paying attention. Could also be that. I don't know. Because I went out of my way to talk to them. No no ugly little rock there. Well, I Fighter. mean, you can prove that right now by checking your, your inventory. Just seeing if you have the rock smash item. Well, I went and talked to uh, the rock smash guy, too. But you haven't taught it, is what I'm saying. Purple guy. Purple. Oh, I forgot. God damn. <laughs> I could have used Wombo Combo. Yeah, gym leaders give you the HM items. If you want the moves to use the moves, then you get the HMs. Oh, boring poison flying. No, oh, I like Zubat. Okay, I got it. I thought I still needed to get the HMs, but to use them, no. I had to unlock the gym. Got it. No VOD for this one. Where did I. What? I'll upload the VOD. The VOD is in progress. <laughs> <laughs> I saw people asking, is Pokemon Worlds worth it? I think every single year, it kind of looks like Pokemon World is turning more and more into like Pokemon Con. Yeah. And I think that's a good thing. I don't know how like competitors feel about it, but me as a not competitor, obviously it gives more for me to do. But uh, Kobe, can't believe we're getting Worlds Cali twice in a row. I think it's a reference to, because like, they did it back to back in 2015, 2016, in the exact same location, so I think it's kind of like the 10 year anniversary of both, I guess. Mm hmm. But. I've been liking it. Oh shit, this guy gets it every time. <laughs> um, I think there's not like a crazy amount of things to do if you aren't watching, like, if you don't want to watch. You matches. go with friends, right? It's just like yeah. any other convention where it's only as fun as the friends you bring. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or um, like if you enjoy the location it's at and have other stuff to do outside of the convention nearby. Uh, sure. Would I ever compete in Worlds? Well, Worlds isn't an open bracket. You have to qualify for it. So uh, I would probably never compete because I would never qualify. I think if I really wanted to, it's not impossible, but I don't really care to uh, travel and compete. It sounds stressful. Yeah, yeah, and qualifying for Worlds in 2025 is even harder this next year, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's only 75 people from NA? Oh, is it 150 total? 
I didn't realize <gasps> its regions shit. are capped. That's insane. Why are they making it harder? I think simply because it got too big. Because I was yeah. talking to Wolfie about it. <gasps> Macby. And he was saying that, like, back in the day, they were in, like, hotel ballrooms with, like, 80 people at Worlds. And now it's a whole room of, like, uh, 800 people competing for Worlds. Because everyone can qualify because the point system was pretty generous for people who just either won or showed up to events. Yeah. And it's also very hard to make, a like, a Worlds competition with, like... A th like a thousand people. Yeah. That's such a small pool, though. Um, How many people do you think should be... If we're going to allow qualifiers and you have to qualify to world, how many people do you think should be able to qualify to world? Because, like, I, I honestly think my answer is even more conservative with what they did. I think having worlds be like, I guess I'm like too Smashville maybe because like I don't really like Swiss all, all that much. But I think even if you limit it to like 128 people, I think that's fair to have like a bracket. I know they do Swiss, so it wouldn't really work. But I think like that kind of anyways, 50 per region. <laughs> Fucking how many regions are you are you including in it? Yeah, like I, I think like. If this is for to find the best person in the world at mm -hmm. one specific game, I think it makes sense to bring like a smaller group of the top people because like it, unless I'm un misunderstanding like um there's no benefit to bring a big pool of people when they can just have the top people and not uh, it just sounds hard to set up. With yeah, a I lot think of if you want to have a world tournament, also it's a circuit. It's not like loose tournaments that are unrelated to each other. Every regional, local, national, everything you go to is feeds into worlds, and you qualify through points. So it's good because it also gives incentive for your placing to where. The difference of placing 25th and 33rd is very significant on like points and it adds up over all your tournaments so if it was just like open bracket you just show up to worlds if you want to why go to the other events if worlds is the only title that matters it's a yeah. circuit for a reason you know? yeah it does suck for people who can't travel a lot i hear that argument in like pretty much every esport but I think that is just the reality of it. I don't think there really is a solution. Mm-hmm. Stomp. <coughs> yeah. I think they would need to revamp the whole format because otherwise the people who have the money go to tournaments will most likely be the ones who qualify. Dog, I don't... Yeah, I agree. That is that is present in the system, but I don't know the solution. That I think the people who travel probably take the game seriously. And if you place well, you get the points. You can go to every event and not qualify for worlds. It's unlikely, but I don't <laughs> like I I don't think the point system is a is bad in, inherently. Is ground good against Bean, or is Bean good against ground? Uh huh. That's what I thought. Just wanted to make sure. Oh no! It's nice when it makes sense. Yeah, every competition requires money. It's just true. There are greater Shit. economic systems that fall beyond the Pokemon Company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, there are online Pokemon tournaments. You just you can get points from. Slowpoke. A newcomer. A new guy. What type do you think he is? Is he... Is he... Boring silly? Water vibe. Oh, it of is course, a water that vibe. Makes sense. It's funny that whenever you're guessing the type, you kind of forget about the real types. Yeah. Oh, damn. 
I really wish I could get into BGC, but I don't have the money to travel to places like London every year. Well, that's not required. It, like, you don't have to go to every tournament. There's probably a tournament within, if you're in America at least, within like a couple state radius from you. But... How many online uh, competitions do they have? Do you uh, know? Good amount. I couldn't tell you the exact number. But yeah. I know people qualified two worlds with just online events. Yeah, oh, I they have them once a month already... for the 2025 season. Mm, I think that's like the best you could ask for, honestly. Oh, wait, I'm what am I doing? Real. Riptide has Splatoon bracket with 400 players strong. It's a massive three-day event. Yeah, I don't think people realize how long tournaments actually take take because also Swiss format you kind of have to wait for every round to end and every pool like I mean smash tournaments you can host I guess what's nice about that is you can really send everyone on your own way but especially with something like Splatoon where you need uh, eight setups to run one game oh yeah like that's just think about the space like you are limited to how many games you can run at the same time by simply how much space you have in your venue. <laughs> yeah. Snom and Clink. Oh, I think they would be friends. No way Snom isn't quad weak to fire. Mm. I'll do crab on this guy. Someone says eight setups. Yeah, I mean, you have four people per team, so you need not only eight setups, but eight monitors and eight chairs, eight docks, eight switches. Like, yeah, that's crazy. That's a lot. Whereas with BGC, you just bring your fucking switch, asshole, sit down at the table. <laughs> Personally, though, I am really excited for Regulation H. That sounds really exciting. Um, removing all Legendaries and Paradox Pokemon. Pretty crazy decision. They did ramp up to Legendary super fast, but I'm still surprised. Um, that is interesting, yeah. I think... Steel is good against these nuts. <laughs> Who's... I know Rillaboom and Cineroar are also, like, crazy. <laughs> But I feel like I've heard a lot of people talk about Arcludon. Because what, that dude's uh, 600 BST and hits hard as book? Yeah, I think, like... It's going to be so interesting to see, like, what Pokemon just come out of nowhere, seemingly, you know? Mm -hmm. I haven't <laughs> watched too, too much of, like, Regulation H stuff yet. But I just assume that, like, Arcludon Pelipper is going to go stupid crazy. Am I, am I wrong or am I... Am I right or am I right? Yeah. Because I think that with like wide guard, as always. Yeah, uh... I'm right. It's popping off. Yeah. Arcludon is 600 BST. I know. <laughs> I know. Arch Archeladon, whatever. Archeladon is like. No, no, no. Um, no. <laughs> Magby. What were you what saying? What was I saying? <laughs> um, he didn't have the, like, he was introduced, and then he didn't have, like, any room to be used to, like, you know, debut. Yeah. And people just forgot about him. Yeah, but when you remove all the legendaries, the fact that he is, like, has the stats of, like, a pseudo-legendary, which also, they're now, Pokemon is changing that term, a uh, uh, powerhouse Pokemon is the term that they're using now. Oh, interesting. Which, it's kind of like, just rebranding the 600 club so like Arcludon is chilling in there with like the powerhouse Pokemon because mm. never using that that's stupid well I think they're trying to find a word that encompasses all 600 BST that's not because like Arcludon is not a pseudo legendary and yeah yeah also pseudo was never an official term it's kind of like in Smash they have hits done shuffling also known as SDI but um <laughs> Or what, what is it, a smooth landing versus L cancel? You know, official terms versus make-believe terms. They could just call them 600 Pokemon. I love the 600, 600 Club. 600 Pokemon. I think 600 Pokemon is a bad term. 
I think the 600 <laughs> Club is fine, but I don't mind the term powerhouse Pokemon. Like, <laughs> no, I think it gives the point across. I think we're just not used to it yet. Yeah, it's different, bad because new. Yeah, oh, I think pseudo legendary sounds cool. Uh huh. But I I agree it it like limits the entire category of Pokemon. Yeah. Also, Pokemon would never acknowledge the existence of BST. That's also true. And oh yeah, first partner Pokemon. That's a name I cannot get behind. First partner Pokemon. What? That's what they're calling starters now. No way. Yeah. Why? Since when? Uh, yeah, that one is crazy. It's a more recent change. When did they announce that? I think they just referred to, like, Gen 9 starters as, uh... like, first Pokemon. No. It's, starters was such a fine term, and it made sense. I think, I think it's like a Twitter versus X moment with that one. I don't... I can see people adopting Powerhouse. I cannot imagine people saying first starter or first Pokemon. First partner Pokemon. Yeah. For sure. I don't think they ever officially called them starters. Have they not? I feel like they have. But I could be wrong. I think they... I feel like they have. But maybe not. Maybe that's like a... A mind game. Um, okay, I just went on Twitter typing from Pokemon Starter. Yeah, they've definitely used the term Starter several Yeah, times. okay. <laughs> People just be saying shit. <gasps> Doduo! I want Doduo! Normal flying guys! But aren't they, though? <laughs> they are. I knew it in my mind before, before I, I scrolled no, to No, those it. are some guys for sure. Fire. I, for one, do welcome powerhouse Pokemon. I think it's a cool term. Yeah, I think it's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think people are just like, prefer pseudo-legendary right now yeah. because it's 10 years of saying that thing. I guess here's the, another thing is like, I understand Arcudon makes powerhouse Pokemon, but not pseudo-legendary. Uh, when we're talking about Pokemon with like 600 BST and above, are we including like, Palafin and uh, Slacking, like, are those powerhouse Pokemon too? Um, I would assume, like, why would Slacking not be a powerhouse Pokemon? Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, if we're surely going off BST, let me see. Let me see any non-legendary Pokemon that has 600 plus. Like, I understand why Palafin might be a weird one, but I yeah. think Slacking just fits the bill. Oh, he's he's aiming his gun at me. What, why does this cool trainer just randomly potion? Whoa! I didn't know Garagrind was that strong. Sand Shrew. Okay, that is like sharp friend. Slacking ha BST has to be divided by two for Truant. It has to? It has to be. <laughs> that, that, that's funny. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't make the cut. Give him something. <laughs> I think that is the tricky part because I think the two other exceptions to that would literally be Palafin and Slacking, but both have like pretty big asterisks on him. Yeah. What is the stats on Wishy Washy? That's what I was just about to look up. <laughs> uh, schooling form, yeah, it's 620. With thir mm. wow, 30 speed and 45 HP, that's crazy. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> super front loaded. Yeah, Wishy Washy. <laughs> Actually, I, now that, okay, if we're opening up the term powerhouse Pokemon, it was slacking a Palafin, I was willing to like kind of like invite them in. But if I, by that metric, had to invite Wishy Washy in, I don't know. <gasps> Scummery. This has got to be sharp flying. Bad sharp flying. <laughs> I gotta have me a Skarmory. You want a bad sharp flying guy? <laughs> I love the, the sunglasses on him. I think the Pokemon <laughs> we know as pseudo-legendaries are explicitly Pokemon that evolved twice and have 600 BSN. 
I mean, yeah, I it's also like you... legendary was just like one per gen. Uh, Hoenn had two. Yeah, that's why I was always so confused. Yeah, it's weird that Hoenn had had twice as many. It's usually all. It's usually dragons, but what but we have Tyranitar and Metagross as the only yeah. examples or exceptions. Holy shit, buddy! No! Oh my god! <laughs> you can catch another one. <laughs> also, Agron. Bad, bad doggy. No, Agron's not. <laughs> No, he's not no, in that. Agron is not I really said, don't anything. forget Agron. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you had to find out this way. <laughs> Agron is not a powerhouse. I'm sorry. Sharp Ghost. Ooh, maybe I want to hone it. I love Aegislash. Slash. I do. I never get to use him. I'll use him now. Oh, wait. Gen this isn't going to work. Gen 8 technically oh, has two with his Suyan Gudra. I'll, yeah, I'll count it. Uh, I love his Suyan Gudra, though. Let me... Mm. Ah, shit. I want him now. You want him now? <laughs> Let me... Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. I, I used to love running around in the, this grass. Oh, I thought it was so cool. I it, love Route 113. While Jaden does this, it's time for another episode of Jacob Has Opinions. Pulling out a <laughs> tier list maker. Ooh. All right. Pseudo <coughs> legendary. Let's think about this. I know my goats. Um, I'm going to do only <laughs> final evolutions. That's first. fair. Uh, low key, Dragapult, kind of the goat. Dragapult is so good. Ooh, S tier. I think, I think Metagross Garchomp is up here. Metagross has kind of been climbing the list lately. I just think he's sick. Really? Yeah, I think Metagross is really cool. Steeny. Wait, where is I think my top. probably Hisuian Gudra is up here too. What is this Inkay coming from? There's not an Inkay on the battlefield. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know where that one comes from. <laughs> Weird. Um, Salamence is probably probably right here. I like him. I think Dust concludes. Uh, I think Hydragon's right here. I'm really not a fan of like Dragonite Titar. They're the fine. The stream didn't see it, but I I was trying to check on Stainy type and it pulled up um, Inke, and then I hit it, and it was a Zorua. So I don't know what the fuck that oh. was. <laughs> yeah, we have no clue. <laughs> Aren't Roaring Moon and Iron Valiant 600? No, they're 590. They're close. Um, oh, Kobe says Zora can be glitchy, and I imagine even more so in multi-battles. Gotcha. Yeah, there is now an Inke on the field, but I just had to kill... Como in D tier. Okay, guys, I think we're focusing on tier list too much because I think if I literally do this, people go, oh, I agree. <laughs> I think if you just, like, delete the letters, then people are kinder. Yeah, I'm just organizing that. I think we're focusing on the letter a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, maybe Metagross. Actually, no, I'm, I'm crazy. Metagross ain't that high, but, like... I've just never heard you talk about Metagross before. Yeah, I think as I... S I like him. I do like him a lot. But I think that's just Hoenn bias. I think my actual yeah. list probably looks something like this. I think these are my favorite pseudos. Dragapult really kind of the guy. I'm, oh, I'm missing normal Gudra. Um, I'm not a fan, honestly, of normal Gudra. I think I could even feel more comfortable doing like this because Titar is cool. Mm, I like Titar. It's just so hard because he's just got such a quad. It's, I, it's hard to use him in single runs. Yeah, I think... Uh, like, Backscalibur could be bigger if it just wasn't... He just looks so bald. Yeah, just give him, like, a head spike or something. I know it's your I opinion, agree. but you're wrong. All right, watch this. <laughs> uh, I do like Metagross, though. I think I like him more than Salamence. I'll put him there. I'm cutting hairs at this point. 
Oh, interesting. I love salamands. Wait, what? People saying Florgus counts? They, there's, there ain't no way. Florgus? They, they have 600 BST. They have 552. What, you, what are we talking about? Someone said something, and then the hive mind was like, Oh, Florgus. <laughs> Chat, even you can get backseated while yeah. not even playing the game. <laughs> What's fun is, like, I feel like people also don't realize that, like, uh... Why is it? Uh, even Pokemon like Ogre Pond are just 550 base stats or something like that. Like, even good Pokemon are kind of in that range normally. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, now let me throw in the, the mid-evolutions. I think Dragonair takes the top here. I just really like Dragonair. Very uh, Jacob co po coded Pokemon. Yeah, honestly, of all the little guys, I think Gumi has kind of grown on me the most. I like Gumi a lot. Um, Dreepy S tier for sure. Your cloak is fine. He is fine. I think I'm, I'm going to move these guys up. I think my opinion changed when we started factoring in others. Um, Dratini is fine. I don't really How care do for Pupitar. I think. Pupitar and Shellgon are kind of like whatever Pokemon for me. I do kind of I like Shellgon more. Um, Bagon I think is a funny little guy with his mullet. I like Bagon. He's sassy. Yeah, I think a lot of the mid evolutions kind of get thrown down here. Uh, like I think Matang just a weird. <laughs> like I I, I kind of like Matang. I don't know. I like, for some reason, I really like Beldum, which I think is weird to now say, but I, I'm a big Beldum guy. I'm kind of a Beldum hater. I like Matang, though. Dratini, not in S tier, is from. I mean, I just think I like Dragonair so much, and Dratini just feels like worse Dragonair. Um, actually, this is the worst one. I hate this little fucker. But I like the mid evolution, yeah. honestly. Uh, yeah, he's it's a fun Arctibac guy. and Frigabax. Like, I like the middle guy, if I can be real. I think my hottest yeah, take is design. probably that I've just never liked Dragonite. I've never been a Dragonite fan. He's a little too much of a, just a guy. <laughs> I just thought he me. was like Orange Barney the Dinosaur as a kid, and I just don't think he ever mm. beat the allegations. <laughs> uh, Gibble, definitely top tier. I don't like him. He's he's with the little guys. He's still S tier. Uh, little Dino, he's down here. I like him more than Hydreigon. Zelius is kind of... Kind He's of a fine. cute guy. Um, his, I think I just like the Gumi line outside of actual uh, Gudra. Because, like, he's just too goopy for me. Mm, yeah. But Sligu and Hisui and Sig Sligu is up here. I like it right here. The Hisui and Sligu is more contained, not yeah. as slimy. Larvitar's. I like Larvitar. He's right here. And then these guys. Uh, yeah, the little, 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 little one did nothing wrong. Yeah, I think just the Jangma O line is just one I'm not a fan of. Uh, yeah, this I is probably like my it, but, my uh... rushed list. It's, you know, I'm not going to double check it or anything, but I think these are the guys I like for the pseudos. I think it's, yeah. Alola no, disrespect. Like hey, I'm a huge Alola fan. I just dislike the one pseudo that they have. I wish I liked it more, but I don't know. It just doesn't really stand out to me. It's also so small. Yeah, he is a little guy. I think my favorite, or like, I think Gen 7 is so weird, because I think Sun and Moon, I don't know how, okay, I don't know if other people can make sense of this or, or even, God forbid, agree with me, but <laughs> I think Sun and Moon are excellent RPGs. Mm -hmm. Okay, Pokemon games. Does yeah, that I make see, sense? I see. The, I see the the argument there. Yeah. They just be talking in that game. I, they do not let you run. <laughs> okay. 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 It seems like that's actually a very cold take. I thought that would be more controversial. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I think when people complain that it doesn't feel like this Pokemon game, or they want to complain about it, I get it because. I'm a huge RPG guy. I love RPGs, but when I play Pokemon, I don't care to play it for the RPG. I care for I care about the guys. But I think Gen 7 is excellent at having good guys <laughs> and a good story. 
But it's not... I don't like replaying RPGs. And by the same logic, I don't like replaying Sun and Moon. But I still think it's an excellent yep. game. Like, I mean, I've... I've... I said Xenoblade is my favorite game for so long, and I've played the game twice. Once when it I first played it, and the second time when the remake came out. I started the 3DS version, but I definitely did not finish it. But, like, you know, Persona 5, I beat the game, then I beat Royal when it came out. Never really gonna beat it again, probably. I just don't think I don't... Like, some people do love our replaying RPGs. I'm not one of them. So I think Jin mm -mm. 7 falls in the same category for me, where it's like, I just don't like replaying that game. I think that's fair. I think, like, games with a linear story are super hard to replay. I don't think. Uh-huh. Nugget. Uh, oh yeah. For a second I was like, why am I here? <laughs> oh, I might be able to find new guys. I'll, also, I got Freddy. I, I got Freddy out. Mm -hmm. What type is he? Fluffy. Fluffy may be big. Actually, I didn't check. Jaden. <laughs> I'm just playing the... Fluffy Gamer! Because <laughs> I think something special with Alolo that they do is that I think the kahunas really make it feel so different than a normal Pokemon game. Yeah. <laughs> I really, really respected how they were switching it up. Yeah. I do think Pokemon is finally trying to switch up their games. It's just taking them a while. Gen 9 <laughs> They're was changing, so like, close. changing like one thing at a time. Gen 9 they is were. such a good game. Minus the parts that make it really bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm happy to see... I'm happy to, you know, let Gen 9 exist for like Gen 10 and 11 to thrive, you know? I really think even just like another month in the oven, Gen 9 would have been incredible. Yeah. I think the peak of Gen 9 of Ooh. like where the main story ends versus the professor, such a good fight. Because I think especially because you're fighting the Paradox Pokemon that you have never encountered before. Well, like, yeah. When was the last time? Essentially a champion battle. And they're pulling up Pokemon you have never seen before. Yeah, and, like, types that are very hard to to guess. Yeah, because you see Iron... I remember Iron Moth being like, oh, it's maybe Iron Steel Bug? And that motherfucker yeah. was like, Fire Poison. <laughs> yeah. Can I just throw this? No. Maybe this? Hey. My biggest issue okay. with Gen 9 is the lack of clothing options. Yeah, it's pretty whack how Gen 8 was really good with customization, and then they just went backwards. Oh, Cynthia with Spirit Tomb is a pretty good example. Yes, yes, I hear you. I agree. But I think the biggest difference is that I see Spirit Tomb, and I go, oh, that's a ghost. Mm -hmm. It's oh. really easy to, like, guess. Yeah. Stunfisk? Is this, what, flat ugly? <laughs> Ground electric sus. Oh. I see it, I see it. Yeah, yeah. They all make sense. They always do. Oh, how did I get onto the mountain? Uh, biggest gripe with Gen 9 is poor school uniform and no shiny noise. I mean, the shiny yeah. noise in Gen... Or, I guess in Legends Arceus... I think, yes, that was so good. They should have added it in Gen 9. But I think the issue was... I say this all the time. The games were in development at the same time, so they just didn't have... They didn't get the chance to learn from each other. Because mm -hmm. they came out the same year, actually. Just in January and, like, December. Or November. Yeah, it was pretty huge. Yeah. I think... That's why I have high hopes for the next Legends game and the next... Uh, mainline Pokemon game like Gen 10 or whatever but like one big example is realize how good it felt to fly around with like the Hisuian Braviary and then how awful it felt to fly around as Maridon <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was so different Stinky Rat get out here I, I missed Stinky Rat 
Yeah, I think if they if they just make a game that's like Arceus and uh, Scarlet Violet, I think that's like the perfect Pokemon game for me. I don't know what it looks like, but I just I enjoyed a lot from both games. So if they somehow combined the vibes of both of them, I'm happy. I just I just really like overworld catching. I yeah. I don't like going back to, like, I guess, Gen 9, where it is this open world, and I see a Pokemon I want to catch, and then I have to go through the whole battle process. I don't know. I just loved overworld catching. Mm hmm Yeah, I'm, I'm so, like, tall grass anti now. Yeah, just the fact that it made it so fast and nice and in the game whose motto is like gotta catch them all and you want to get all the guys they, they sure as hell made it easy to get all the guys yeah oh come on <laughs> hot take overworld catching should stick to legends where you can get hurt I understand the appeal I just think it's much superior I think if Pokemon <laughs> released today for the first time I think like overworld catching would be included just because it's so, it's so obvious. Because gameplay now is like all about how to make it linear, streamlined, and everything. But I don't know. I just think, uh, like Power World, I've actually never played. Jaden and I have talked about it though. Like, we kept, we meant to, and we just never really did. We still can. I'm down to because I know it's like a game we can play together online, right? Yeah. We will eventually, but we're we're kind of busy. <laughs> yeah. Or also, hear me out. What if the format of Legends Arceus just becomes the standard? Like, I have just love that normal Pokemon battles because you know I, all their like quick style and the strong style. That shit was whack. Like, we don't need all that. <laughs> but yeah, it was not meant to be a game you should play against another human being. But, uh, I think. Legends Arceus was genuinely like, outside of the battling, which is a very easy thing to fix, uh, literally everything I would want from a Pokemon game. Yeah, it was it was so fun. I I can't wait for Pokemon to make games that actually look really good because then I am just sad personally. Mm -hmm. If I can just look at the fun game and catch guys, I'm 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 fine. Was the Legends? Like, combat bad no it wasn't bad i actually it was quirky let's say that <laughs> i just don't think competitive pokemon could not exist with the legends Arceus battle system and also oh, you yeah. can't pvp in legends Arceus. so i just mean you literally take modern pokemon battles and put them in legends Arceus, and then that's that's my ideal pokemon game right there yeah i think like this is a hot take maybe but i don't think they need to always make a new region, I would be fine with like combining a bunch of region stuff. Like they've been doing that a lot with like, uh, you know, new variant of Pokemon mm -hmm. and stuff. But I feel like if they just, maybe that's just, I don't know what I'm asking. Oh yeah, Frostbite but... instead of Freeze was also an excellent move. Also Ooh, to have yeah. something that can weaken special attack. Because it's pretty weird how we have burn for physical attack, paralysis for speed, and then all the defenses and special attack go unchecked. So I thought it was very cool how not sleep, but drowsy lowered your defenses, and then frostbite lowered your special attack. Mm -hmm. That was so sick. Yeah. I know, I know Wolf was a huge fan of that and wa really wanted it in competitive. Meteor Falls. Oh, <laughs> the guardian of the Pokeball. <laughs> Corfish. Crits are also <laughs> for defenses too. I mean, I I get what you're saying, but I I still disagree with like the execution of it. I don't think burning someone is the same thing as critting through your defenses because one is very intentional and one just kind of happens. Yeah, I know the biggest complaint about 
freeze, though. It's just that there's no way to do it. And theoretically, you could just be frozen forever. Mm -mm. There's been so many times where freeze just lasts for, like, way longer than any status should. Paralyze should increase crit. Okay, well, calm down Whoa. there, buddy. <laughs> okay. Be and I think lowering speed is down. enough. Okay. <laughs> We're just saying shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So, it's like, so if you're plus four crit, it's a guaranteed crit. If you have, like, uh, if there's a there could be a build where you could just guarantee crit everything. If you had, like, Super Luck, uh, Razor Claw, or whatever it is. And then you just do, like... I guess even one focus energy against someone who's, like, paralyzed. Then every single move is a crit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Special Rend. Yeah. Not Special Rend. Uh, Dragon Cheer. Yeah. I think you only need plus three to guarantee. Pretty sure it's plus four. Scope lens plus focus energy is guaranteed. Maybe it is plus three then. If it's plus three, it's way ah. easier. Stupid Skarmory. It's three? Okay, got it. Oh. Stupid kit in the dirt. Oh yeah, and then you use slash moves. Oh, it's after gen five. Oh, I didn't realize they changed that. Thank you guys, I have understood that it's three now. <laughs> Poison should lower special attack. Look, I think poison is fine, not doing anything, because toxic is so strong, because it compounds over turns. Yeah. Like, I think... If I can be honest, like... I don't really get the... I think it's weird that we have poison and then badly poisoned as two separate things. I think it's visually a little confusing. Yeah, there should be, like... At least, like, make it a different color or something. I think we could just have Toxic and not Poison, if I can be honest. Yeah. Wait, you get one escape rope in the entire game? It's a key item. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit. I should have just been using it the entire time. I've been running back to the Poke Center. <laughs> yeah, because as it stands, Poison's just worse burn. Yeah, I agree. I think Toxic Spikes would be way overpowered, though. Uh, then remove Toxic Spikes. I don't know. I think There's if you want to... There's normal spikes. If I were to balance around it, I would just get rid of Toxic Spikes and replace Poison, because I think it's just confusing. Ooh. Dark Gamer Reverse. Does the Reverse effect... It, it's only affecting him, right? It's... It's defensively. Oh, okay. It's the damage he receives. Mm. Yeah, or you could also just lower the rate toxic compounds. That's also very true. It does get very out of hand very quickly. What would Glamora do? Oh, look! I just said one thing as like a passing hypothetical. I don't. I don't have. <laughs> I don't have a whole deck for the presentation made yet. Oh my god! What is this type? Oh, is, is it fairy? Bulbasaur getting toxic at level ten would be insane. Look, there's balancing you would have to do to make a drastic change. <laughs> you would have to rework Check. a lot. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> That's so funny. I feel like I've said a Jack lot of things in passing, but we really latched onto that one. <laughs> I think people like thinking of one thing that trumps your your logic, mm -hmm. and they go, mm, I'm smarter. <laughs> Skarmory, we're so back. My crab! Huge. I don't think I'm going to use this, but I just want mm. it. Hmm. What's yeah, a good but... nickname for Skarmory? What do we think? 
I like his sprite. That's a bird, they said. Yo, that is a bird. <coughs> Bliss Harmony? Where is this coming yeah, from? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bad bird. Oh, it is a bad bird. So it's Ari. I caught a Swablu and that was Tofu. I, I know saw, this one's yeah. a female, but we got that, Ari and Tofu. That does sum them up. Except Ari would be stinky ball type. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's got like a, a, a toupee. <laughs> he does have a little hair. <laughs> Let me sleep at Grandma's house again. Yeah, also, we could just have more statuses. What I, would more look... I mean... Like... What do you think about love or if infatuation? Wait, I fought them already. <laughs> as I'm, a, I mean, as more a like, status. In a lot of other, like, tactic-based games, like, you're... Um, there are tons of statuses aren't uncommon. Like, I know I haven't put, like, nearly as much hours in it, but I know, like, Slay the Spire has, like, a ton of, like, ailments yeah. and stuff. Or, yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, whereas, like, I saw someone who, for, like, ghosts, you could have, like, feared, right? Where, like, someone is just, mm. it could operate as a paralysis, it could be a truant, it could be something else. I think there should, there are it, it would be also pretty cool to have, like, status ailments that affect how you take damage, in, like, more over than, like, um, just lowering stats, you know? Yeah, actually, good idea. So, let me... Let me look in Persona, because they have a lot of status changes in that game, actually. Um... Yeah, they have burn, they have freeze, they have shock, which is all very similar. They have dizzy, just... which is, we could say, is confused. Uh, they have forget. Because I'm thinking, like, there's the only thing you can do to, like, make a Pokemon take more damage is, is a crit. You know? Yeah. Persona has forget, they have sleep, they have confused. And fear is just a high chance of ignoring commands, which I guess is, like, mm. similar. It's, it's confusion. But with no self-damage. Yeah. Uh, then there's despair, which, you know, despair could even be, it says unable to take actions, SP will decrease by 5%. Uh, and they will get down. For, it's essentially a pair. Actually, despair is just pair song. I think rage is also something that should... I think Rage would be a good status to add in Pokemon, where it's just... I agree. It You just make them do a random move. The trainer just loses agency over the Pokemon. Oh. So like, it would just do some... You know, so now they kind of have the choice. Everyone's taking a gamble. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that taunt? N no. 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 <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm... I mean, Pokemon does have that, but it's when a Pokemon is too over leveled for your your gym level. Yeah, it's like when you but, click to do a, a move and your Pokemon just chooses a random one. Force yeah, Metronome? But it's not no! I am Guys, saying. Guys, oh my god, what oh, is going you, on? Okay, I use the, the, the rage move on someone's Pokemon. They have four moves. They now get the choice to do a random move of the four or switch out. Yes, like Sleep Talk. I guess. Yeah. Wait, but the metronome status is hilarious. That's crazy, yeah. I would love a metronome status. I would hate it in, in like, practicality. Yeah, but... the, I thought, like, one or two people were misunderstanding, <laughs> but, like, all of them were. That was crazy. It's <laughs> Maybe I explained it poorly, but it's... Uh, you just your Pokemon is now going to choose a move on their own of what they want to use. So it's the you are taking the gamble, they are taking the gamble. We don't, especially in VGC, you don't even know who they're targeting. It'd be crazy if you could self like target the ally while being raged. You know, 
Yeah, berserk, sure, we can say that. <laughs> I think it, it also just, like, makes it more exciting and hype other than, like, like, oh, my attack is halved. That, I know that for sure, you know? I don't think they could swap out on random. That's... You, the trainer, get to say, I will take the gamble of these four moves or swap out your Pokemon as a way to get it <laughs> off the field. Not that it... <laughs> Swaps Guys, Pokemon. have we been streaming too long? What's going on here? <laughs> okay. New status effect rabies. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> okay. New status idea. Something happens. We'll see. Uh. Um, okay. We have... Then we have brainwash, which it just... <laughs> uh, could, yeah, just use a random item or something. Hunger, which... Oh, you know what I think would be a cool one? What? Is If, like, every turn, you randomly don't have access to one of your moves. Oh, like a forget. Yeah, that would be good. I think that'd be so cool. Because it's not, you know, the end of the world, but sometimes it, it would absolutely devastate some Fucking turns. Someone goes, that's disabled. No, it's not! <laughs> guys, guys. Okay, please. okay, so now let me let me explain. <laughs> let me translate what Jaden said real quick. <laughs> what if there was a status like Will O Wisp, where you inflict it on a Pokemon and then every turn they have a random move disabled, which is like disabled, but it is not disabled. Thank <laughs> you, Rudix, for the 10 community gifted subs. <laughs> you know what, let's count to 10. Oh yeah, <laughs> using that on like a choice span user gives them like a 25% chance of struggling. Opposite Wait, of metronome? That? Okay, you're fucking with me at this point. <laughs> Diglett. Hi. What's up with him being the smash type? <laughs> uh, Markiplier. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wait, so if the Smash type is on every Pokemon Markiplier would smash? Yeah. That's insane. This would never happen. This would never happen in Pokemon. But one thing that is in Persona, because there's also like a physical special split in Persona, and they have some abilities that repel, like essentially reflect damage. You have to predict if it's physical or uh, like magical, but Pokemon would never do that. But wouldn't it be fucking crazy if you could just use like, what if reflect instead of increasing your physical defense, it just, if someone hit you with a match, like a physical move, it just repelled, it just reflected it. Like you could not Ooh. fucking do that. Wobbuffet, That's it's, crazy. it's Wobbuffet if he didn't take damage. Yeah. Mirror Coat, it's Mirror Coat if they didn't take damage. Mirror Coat Encounter, it's like that, but if they didn't take damage. It's you... like Protect, guys. But there we go. You your... <laughs> there we you go. You hit yourself. <laughs> Cuddle is... Wait, Fluffy is good against... Gun? What else would be crazy from Persona if they added... Um. <laughs> oh, I need to go. Uh, I kind of want to. I think it could be cool for them to have like. I know they have stat buff moves that are like really good. What? I think this is how they power creep. I think eventually. Obviously, like you have your nasty plot, right? It's your plus two. Mm -hmm. But in Persona, they essentially have moves that are like. They make you plus three for a couple turns. Oh. But like, kind of I like think a, Pokemon a that power be like up. really strong. Like, like charge if it wasn't bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a time tail glow. <laughs> it would break mm. VGC. Yeah, that's why this is a fun hypothetical. I think even just doing it for like one or two turns would be enough to be yeah. crazy, but not insane. Like, oh, Tail Glow Mechie. if it wasn't good. I think it would still be good, but it's like, it could be Tail Glow with a larger distribution, because 
the reason you don't see Tail Glow much is because the distribution is very limited. Not a lot of Pokemon have that move. Yeah. Master Ball Mighty Anna. Did I see that correctly? Yeah, he's got Master he Ball. Love, he loves this dog. Angie. <laughs> well, how about... I know song type. Oh, RB21 oh, Green, you thank you for the five good. Oh, it's a hype train. Oh, and Come we're in the wrong gym for that. Yippee. But thank you. That you makes sense why people were gifting. Yay! Thank you, everybody. The power of friendship. It's been nice streaming again oh, lately, I, even I, though I I'm about to leave again. I think Silly. tomorrow we're streaming It Takes Two. And Jaden wants to stream more of oh, no. this if we are... If... Uh, what was I going to say? She wants to stream more of this tomorrow if we oh, finish I early, so we'll see. it was Silly. Silly is good on Angie. And then I'm streaming Among Us on Monday night, and then I'm gone for... I get back on the 5th. <laughs> Where is that? I'm gone Wednesday. Oh, wait. I'm gone for a week. Why did I think I was gone for way less? Oh, tr duh. Time zones. Travel time. Because I, I get there. Zoo bad. Yeah, it's a week. I'm gone for this a week. This is a That's boring fine. flying poison. Crab. Oh, charge slash concentrate, that's 2.5 times? Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, cool, thank you. Yeah, just, because I think charge and, like, all those other moves in concept, it's not enough in, of an increase to make oh. sense of why you would do it. But I think it also is interesting, because if you did that kind of move, you alert to your opponent, hey, I'm about to attack. Yeah. So I think there is definitely counterplay, because you could also just double protect against it if you really wanted to. My cargo is ball these nuts. The cargo, I, th I think he's fire these nuts. Fire these nuts. That's my guess. I don't remember what was good against these nuts. I know steel is. Maybe I should have brought stinky rat out. Would you like to check what he is? You're right. I just wanted to do a liquid these nuts. Oh, okay. Duh. I just wanted to get a fake out real quick. I think gamer's good. No, I remember oh, completely and it was a crit. the wrong way. <laughs> Double crit wow. turn. My God. Mm. Sure, I don't know. God damn it. Purple guy, come on. Purple guy does not do well here. No, uh, the defense. <laughs> this is actually a crazy message. Would I be okay if Jin Tin was the end of Pokemon? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want it to be, and I don't think Pokemon wants it to be I, either. Respectfully, there ain't no way. <laughs> they make what the fuck? They make way too many bazillion dollars to just be like, ah. We had a good run. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when it's a growing exponential. But I in guess the, the question is would I be okay with it? I guess no. I like that new Pokemon games have always been a constant in my life since I was literally bored. I think I would I would be sad if Pokemon ended, especially like in a couple of years. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god, Guayer, thank you for Pokemon the, the other now. five How gifted. I said it before. I, you're do fine. I have a team weak to fire? What's huh? going on here? Because like oh thank you everything everyone this guy and thank you for all the primes even though we don't have any funny prime okay, moves Maxie. on the field yet. Hi Maxi, I'm caught off guard. Okay, that's enough talking. I want to play Pokemon Unite. I saw people talking about it. I really want to. I want to get back into Unite. Yeah. I've just never really played any of that style of MOBA. game. So it is so it is so beyond it's my a understanding. Massive online battle arena is MOBA. Mm. I'm just not good at like knowing what game genre is game. And that's why you have me. It's great because you get to just tell me everything and I go, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then I forget. Yeah, and then you <laughs> ask again. <laughs> <laughs> but you tell me every time. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Oh, I did no. see the new Dragon Ball MOBA. I haven't played it yet. Is it on Steam? Where do I get it? Because I also want to try it. I saw some of my friends playing it. I do like MOBAs, and but I've never really played League, which is which is confusing. 
Hmm. I think I would like to get in the league. I think it just seems like a game I could really like. That's I think a scary sentence. That's Yeah, I know. And that's why I don't <laughs> want to play it. I think people are overly <gasps> critical of League, I think. Water vibe. I think it's really weird. I think that League is like so associated with mental health. <laughs> like, don't get in League. Awful choice, they say. But I, I think it's a fine game. I like watching it. I feel it's I feel like that's mainly just like aimed at the community, right? Yeah, but I think it's every game. online community, I think. I started League recently and I don't get why people complain. That's kind of what I'm saying. I think it's just I don't I don't know. I just don't like the same people say that about me playing Overwatch. I like Overwatch, right? Or or uh, even I like Fortnite. Overwatch. I think People just shit on everything, I think. <laughs> and that's why I just kind of ignore all of it. Yeah. I think if game gets too popular, people will not like game. <laughs> Have that, you not seen what Lee's done to is. Kony? Leaks? Kony has played League since before you've ever heard of him. I don't know. Rock friend. I finally know his type. Say what you will. Kony literally paid through his college by doing boosting in League of Legends. Lick a tongue. It's honestly kind of base. Oh no. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> what is going on? I think I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised at how many people I know are depressed because they play League. I think it's facetious. I think it's Ooh. I don't I think very few people are actually real life depressed because of League of Legends. I feel like that's not a league thing. I think that's like a depression thing. Yeah, the depression might have got you there, but I don't <laughs> I don't think league makes you depressed. I think it can aid in the cycle of depression and not like getting the help you need. But yeah, I, don't I think, think it's... League of Legends causes long-term depression. Correlation versus causation, I say. An anger thing. Yeah, I could I would sooner believe that it it helped it like uh is more of like an anger management thing mm -hmm. than a depression thing but that's still not the cause of <laughs> yeah it's it's the are you depressed because you play league of legends or do you play league of legends because you're depressed <laughs> does friend type no i know oh. that addiction is a pretty obvious answer to this question i'm about to ask <laughs> but i don't I find it hard to believe. I think you can get frustrated with an online game you really like, but I don't understand how someone can put that many hours to an online game and not s admit they like it. But yeah, addiction is another answer to that. Mm hmm Love disc. Habit? I mean, there's just so many online games where if I don't like the one I'm playing, I just find something else. Yeah. I'm so bad at picking up new games. I just like the same ones I've always liked for decades. What does this egg turn into? Is it why not again? No, I think it's I think it's actually Ponyta, the Galarian one. Am I oh. right? Because I think why not is like too good in this game. Yeah, I would get I would get a a gay little horse. Wait. Ooh. I forgot he's not. He's just D's nuts now. Yeah, he's he just is. Liquid D's nuts. I don't. I don't know what liquid type. What type Crab. of trainer is Flannery? Can you ask the guy at the beginning? Yeah. Crab is good against it, though. Why are you standing there? <laughs> uh, fire, fire fluffy. fluffy. Water. Oh, water's quad here, then. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's insane. Alright, so it's a crabby run. Can I go up here? 
What's up some here? some Poplio action here. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the up one, I think, right? Yeah, it's the other one. Yeah, I... I'm just... Oopsie. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Okay, now I'm in familiar territory. Stinky rat! Let's double up. Okay, I think Fortnite is also a game where I was... No. Just never really thought I would get into, and then was very surprised when I did. What, what actually got me in, funny enough, was just the custom bullshit, the Roblox aspect of Fortnite, was all the silly mm -hmm. moves. I think Chapter Five, Season One. Uh, I finished that battle pass exclusively through creative. I didn't play a single game of Battle Royale. It wasn't until the Avatar season where I actually got into real Battle Royale. And I remember all my friends were like shocked. They're like, are you playing Battle Royale? Like everyone couldn't believe it. <laughs> I, I think it's fun. I'm kind of just like at this point where I'm just, n I've just never played uh, like shooters in yeah. my entire life. So I have zero skill uh in it and it's pretty intimidating to get into Fortnite because of that but whenever i have played uh the royale the battle royale stuff mm -hmm. it's been fun yeah one thing that is pretty nice about Fortnite is that if your aim's bad and you're not trying to take it too seriously uh you can usually get pretty far with just whatever the mythics are yeah. Like, you like firebending a lot, because you just kind of aim in their general direction. Yeah. it. I think Fortnite is pretty good at making itself very accessible. Look, are you good at Fortnite, or are you just carried by the season's mythics? Who knows? <laughs> I mean, oh. I think, like, it's interesting, because, like, Fortnite does have to make itself accessible to, like, children. Like, yeah. I think having, like, a game that that kids play and also like sweaty 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 streamer and gamers mm -hmm. it's so hard to balance that uh, is that oh i thought that was a shiny yeah people <laughs> ask him saying aim assist aimbot i i guess for the unaware the, the mythics they add are like like the special items which aren't usually guns like right now the mythics are uh some i mean some of them are it's the it's like the jet pack, it's the auto turret, it's the Captain America shield that you throw and it bounces off seven different people. <laughs> I think, still think water bending was my favorite. I think the Avatar season, and also the Greek season, because I love the chain, I love water bending. I think that is probably my favorite season of Fortnite was the five, uh, season, chapter five, season two. That's the most I've played. Yeah. Hi, Oxy. Did you play? Are you a Fortniter? Are you a Fortniter? No, you're bad. Well, you can be bad and play it. Tip does? I. <laughs> I remember grinding to Fortnite Diamond and got bored. Well, I, grinding Fortnite Diamond or like. Ranked in Fortnite is like some Mickey Mouse numbers. Like, that shit is not real. <laughs> you literally play the game and you gain rank. What are the... Are the levels only for the, like, battle pass? Yeah. In... Okay. The rank is something else entirely. Yeah, I always wondered, like, what the... The levels were actually. Yeah, it's just battle pass. Gotcha. That makes sense. Oh. And kind of a loose metric of how much you played. Hmm. I don't hear about oh. Fortnite ranked anymore. It's just made up numbers. Like I don't think there's any real incentive to play ranked outside of the the ego check for it. I can imagine that maybe the tippity top of rank 
is a more curated top player lobby. I could imagine that. But everything before that, like, I think I grinded once. And my friends and I kind of got to, like, high platinum, low diamond. And it wasn't because we were doing well or we, or we got hard stuck. We just got bored. Because if you want to grind ranked, you really just play like a, a slimy little rat. <laughs> yeah, one of those just play to survive kind of things. Yeah. Damn it. We'll get it. I, I just can never remember Flannery's puzzle. Top, it I think top left. Top? Oh. The, the, the top to the left, left I though. see. I bet you Jane would play just because Miku was added. She, to you, Fortnite? She wasn't. But. I don't, yeah, she hasn't been. I would have heard about it. Yeah, I mean, the answer is yes. I think person who plays Fortnite would play Fortnite if the character they like got added. <laughs> I've been saying that for a long time. Yeah. But they just never in, uh, bring in the guys that I want. Who else do you want? Nope. Oh, Freddy, Fazbear, <laughs> of course. I want Freddy, Fazbear, and I want Miku. Maybe One Piece. You want to know a huge tip on how, how these things work? Will you go up, up left real quick? In here? Yeah. So, you see those two holes on the left? On the left? Yeah, here? those two, like... Yeah. Uh, it's a first floor and second floor. Oh. I think when you start looking at it like that, it all makes a little more sense. It does. Yeah, the colors are barely different. I think it was this one because it's closer to her yeah that's right that's right that's it yeah all right but i feel like multiverses were sooner add freddy fazbear i think fortnite would eventually all right they i think just... the cap's 29 by the way oh you're right let me save first Still want, yeah, I guess, Jane, your top three is what? FNAF, Miku, One Piece is what you want to see? Yeah. Oh, what? Krabby learns evolve? <laughs> On the level he evolves? <laughs> wow. I don't think I, I want that. I don't I don't really know what's good against crab. I didn't I realize okay. this was even a move. It's a it's a fun surprise for me too. <laughs> I guess that you know everything does turn into a crab. But I'm okay. I'm not gonna play with that. You must be chosen to be a crab. It'd also Krabby. be funny if you didn't evolve if you didn't have that move. <laughs> I have to make a slot for evolve. It's like Bonsley evolving with Mimic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Krabby! Hey, Alfred, why does Jaden sound depressed? She sounds fine. Guys, that was, that one, that's a, a little parasocial, guys. <laughs> what he really wants to learn of all. I think she's no, I'm laughing. Okay. <laughs> I'm like... I'm, I'm la I've been doing nothing but laugh. You want me to put on YouTuber voice? Oh boy, <laughs> Krabby! Let's let's use our infinite infinite uh, crabs. You can't guys. even do it. Yeah, she's depressed. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Yeah, you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> when does... Oh, it's probably like in the 30s. Sing? Mm, no, I'm okay. Oopsie. Oh. Hmm. I cannot decipher space type at all. Yeah, they're all a little weird. I guess I would keep Slash just because he's more of a physical guy over Swift. Yeah, I've been trying to keep. I'm. I've been trying to do something with Slash or Swift. I just can't. It hasn't done anything for me. Mm -hmm. Purple guy. Knock all right. Off. All right. I mean, you take knockoff here. It's it's good knockoff, right? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Five nights with. 
with five. Who? I kind of want to get rid of punishment. It's not really doing. Okay. What does it mean? The foe is powered up. Oh, uh, if they have like stat buffs. Oh, okay. Five knights with. Oh. Is there anyone in the? In the. That's what I'm trying to think. Um. Five knights with. It's no, not comic book heaven. <laughs> Purple guy? That doesn't start with a K. I'm sorry. <laughs> Five Nights... Candy? That's a knockoff of... Five Nights... With... With Cawthorn. Oh! That's we're, a good We're back. One. It's with a K, though. Like Kevin. <laughs> Sometimes he just spells it with a K. Sometimes. He told me. Five Nights with Killing. Also true. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Shadow Claw's oh, good. Oh, this is good. Five slumbers with <laughs> cock with Gawthorn. <laughs> Five slumbers. Awesome team. And there's Freddy, by the way. Oh, there, if we could have said shifts. <laughs> I like slumbers. You yeah, gotta commit. <laughs> It's been Google translated so much. Yeah, FSWK. <laughs> it's unrecognizable to FNAF now. Uh, who should... I do want to start off with Krabby. We'll start with Krabby. I like Flannery as a, a character. She's fun. Yeah, definitely a fun design, too. What secrets did I get from MatPat? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> they die with me. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I what? think Brayden, Captain, Captain Unite Grinder Kid heard me passively, is just lurking passively <laughs> on stream. I mentioned, yeah, I'd like to boot up Unite soon. Brayden starts new group chat with me and Dylan <laughs> and just says Jacob said they wouldn't play Unite on stream, so let's commit. <laughs> That's so funny. Brayden is a, a lurker and a pouncer. <laughs> That's for sure. I can't believe. That's to start the group chat is crazy with the Cramorant <laughs> profile picture. During the stream is so funny. He acted fast, and he's not even here. He just came in and went. <laughs> yeah, guys, I don't think you understand how much of a grinder Captain Kid is at Unite. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> he's a big Cram so fan. That's true. I wanna. I like the br the guys that Brayden likes. They're all they're all funny guys. Yeah, he became Crustle and uh, Cram and Unite. I really like Meowth's Karata when we played on Wild Card. I want to play. Mm. I want to play some of the new characters. I want to try Serulege. <laughs> I want to learn what all the guys do too, because I kind of know what they all do, but I want to like be confident in it. Yeah, that's like I think the thing that is hardest for me. Ugh. Oh, oh wow. god. Uh, getting into new games is like if I'm not like studying up on it. I am just completely lost and like I I have I'm not very good at like reading comprehension. I think that's what I've decided I'm my god. Oh wow. My crabs. I think like people need to just explain things to me otherwise I won't really understand it. <laughs> that's why I uh watch a lot of like let's plays of games because that's the easiest way for me to like really absorb media, I think. Mm -hmm. I see chat talking about... Buddy! Holy shit! What yeah. is the downside of this mystic fire? Why? Is the sun not out? Is it out? I guess so. It's got drought, probably. You can check. No, it's got flash I mean, You can fire. check if it has a sunny day or something. I didn't know if it was set. I didn't think so. No. I think it's funny that this is supposed to be the Torkoal, so it has a white herb, even though there's no reason <laughs> why it needs one. I'm just so weak to fire. 
And warm hugs. <coughs> Do I have to wipe to every gym? <laughs> it's just, oh, no, magnitude, magnitude five. five. What a stinker. Oh, 10 would have been such a goat. We live this. You survived Snug Strike. Ooh. Try Colon again. Three. Colon three. Colon three. You get you get one more chance. Also, I mentioned this um, from a little bit ago. Oh, but he's dead. I have talked about. I found like one. I mentioned this back in 2014. I hit 500 <laughs> subs on Twitch for the first time, and I promised a 24-hour stream. Uh, nearly eight years later, haven't done it. So. <laughs> I, That's so funny. <laughs> I brought it up. Where is it, Jacob? We're and waiting. chat was saying, like, where is it? We so I it might <laughs> it might be eight years late, but I think I still owe a specific five hundred people a twenty four hour stream. So not no I think when I get back from Japan I'm gonna do the twenty four hour stream and I I'm trying to like section off things I wanna do so I can like fill like a twenty four hour stream. Are you going to sleep on stream, or are you just going to stay up? I can stay up for 24 hours. Yeah. I think I would just start the stream when I wake up, because I think it'd be pretty silly to like, do it later in the day and just waste eight hours of being up or something. Yeah. Uh, I should add interest. Uh, no, it's okay. Sorry, go ahead. I'm struggling over here. No, I hear it. It's okay. Please be my guest. I think I can stay up for 24 hours once. Like, I've definitely pulled all-nighters before, and it probably would just be like, I start at 10 a.m., and then I go to bed at 10 a.m., which is, like, very doable. Yeah. I just have to have in mind, like, prepare what I'm doing and when. I might do a lot of planning in it. Yeah, I mean, I think if you go in with a plan and also, like, play games that you really, really enjoy, time flies so fast. Yeah, I'm going to do... You'd make a lot more money if you straight up did a subathon. Okay. Yeah, I agree. That is also a different topic. <laughs> that, that is a much bigger time <laughs> commitment. Play Xenoblade or something? Well, no. I, like... I don't I don't think the answer to 24 hours streaming is do something that can fill 24 hours. I think I just want to do a lot of different ideas and maybe in the process just set record a lot of fun videos. I'll figure it out. Flannery. She's mean. She just kept warm hugging me. Oh yeah, we'll play Guess Who for sure. Would I do Dress to Impress? It probably makes a time slot, yeah. Hmm. Maybe do some Among Us. I mean, if it's a Monday. Yeah, it could be easy to do it on a Monday. Yeah. Because that's like a free four hours of content. Bad sharp flying. Mm. I'm going to send it again. Yeah, no, yeah, no, do it on the weekend. I guess I should do it on the weekend, actually. Yeah, more people will show up. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a great point. Maybe that's like a Saturday morning to Sunday morning kind of deal. I think I could just ask people to... I don't know, I don't know if I can ask for Sabotage Saturday. <laughs> I think you could just say, hey guys, let's play Among Us. Yeah, no, it doesn't... Doesn't feel right. <laughs> Doesn't roll off the tongue as much. <laughs> uh -uh. I think I want to try to do, like, as fun as it would be to just do all, like, play Among Us, play Pokemon Emerald Rogue, like, these ideas. I think it'd be more fun to have a lot of ideas that lasted, like, one or two hours instead of these, like, four to six hours. Just kind of fill it mm -hmm. with a more of a variety.
Like, for sure, we're playing Guess Who on that. Yeah, absolutely, we're playing Guess Who. <laughs> Guess Who is iconic. I want someone to make, like, free-to-play, customizable Guess Who. Yeah, but I also do like just being flying Goku Black in the process. <laughs> yeah. Play Explorers of Sky fan-made sequel. So that's... I also don't think that would be a quick game either. I, something I have seen in chat, I know you don't stream often, so people are using... It's like, you ever have a friend who's talking to you, but they're trying to get to know like this other person? It's kind of what a lot of sometimes first-time shadows will pop in. I saw one that was like, Hey, Jacob. Anyways, how's it going, Jade? Congrats on winning a million dollars. I got a hey before the topic changed. <laughs> Just like, hey, Jacob walks right past you. <laughs> I also, th I think it's like, do people realize that I didn't win a million dollars? Yeah, that's the other thing. And Oh, maybe I just... Do it this. Could. It could be crap time. Because I get one free uh, para heal. The million dollars thing was a few months ago. Yeah, but Jade put out her video today, so. Yeah. Also, I'm pulling it, it up. What while. is the name of that Dragon Ball MOBA? Is it Project Multi? Oh, I have to request access. Oh, okay. Well, access has been requested. <laughs> what else do I <laughs> someone says hey Jacob dot 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 erm dot 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 how are you Jaden <laughs> <laughs> hi our friend I think it would be fun to uh in like that 24 hour stream like one of the things I want to do I think it'd be fun to go back to the let's go Pikachu a save mm. file and just catch another shiny not you know just like get one more it's just like a nice little victory lap to just kind of come yeah. back to it it'd be nice to come back for a little bit what shiny would you want is there any that you you desire uh, probably not i think like people would probably want to see like mewtwo or something but like soft resetting for those it sounds hellish yeah i does. genuinely would i genuinely would do like a all 150 shiny Pokemon. I wouldn't be against it, but the hard part is just that there's so many you would have to soft reset for, and that mm -hmm. doesn't sound fun. Yeah, with no speed up or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we get the Spiro <laughs> redemption. That could be true. <laughs> they just love warm hugs. Oh my god, all Stop. these magnitude fives. Colon three, you're being a stinker. That anything else would have killed. Now she heals. Okay, well maybe you get the ten here. Just don't show me the five. Okay. Seven. seven. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take seven. Oh, oh shit, wow, I'll take the seven needed. crit. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Colin three. Alfred, what's your favorite cheese type? I say mozzarella. What about Ooh. you? I I like mozzarella, but ever since I was a child, I could just just chomp down on parmesan. Oh my god. I, I love parmesan. It's fucking crazy. Sometimes I'm cooking and I will like <laughs> I will have like a whole thing of like sliced like just like cheese, right? Of shredded cheese that's freshly shredded and Jaden just comes over and grabs handfuls of shredded cheese and eats it. <laughs> It's like a little treat. It ties me over until dinner. You're cooking really sm nice smelling food and I want to eat something. Someone and called it, it the mouse only thing behavior. I can eat is the cheese. <laughs> Real life rat behavior. <laughs> I I will not deny the rat allegations. Fla uh, Flareon. Vegan cheese. Uh, I haven't said it publicly, but I'm kind of like in between ve vegan vegetarian right now the only thing you really make the exception for is like dairy which i get yeah it's really only an exception with cheese because i don't really 
drink milk. Yeah. Like I'll I'll have dairy if it's like cooked into something, but uh, it's just kind of it. I've gotten to the point where it's a little bit uh, too difficult, and I know that's not like an excuse, but this is what's uh, keeping me like. It's just easy for me right now. I think also the nice part about veganism, I mean, you've talked about this way more than I do, where it's like, like, you know, all labels, they're self-proclaimed. So you kind of get to choose how much or how little of something you want to enforce. So it's like, I, I think, you know, I think a lot of people see as like, are you vegan, vegetarian or other? Do you, or you <laughs> yeah. eat meat where... Or do you eat m meat all the time? <laughs> yeah, because I mean, for me, like, I obviously do eat meat, but uh, I don't eat a lot of red meat. I kind of avoid red meat. I pretty much only mm -hmm. eat red meat for the occasional burger or uh, if it's cooked in a pasta. For some reason, I it, it's different. It's different. But I <laughs> try not to eat uh, red meat, but I eat a lot. I just mainly eat chicken, but... Yeah. I like... For me, I cook with red meat. Oh, it's just easier than chicken, so that's kind of my excuse. But Cooking I avoid with it as much as I scary. can. Vegetarian trainee, I don't think that's what I'm going for. I don't want it. I'm not trying no. to be vegetarian. No, I think it's like eat what you like. <laughs> you know, you don't have to put a label on it. I, I feel like the. I say this every chance I can, mm. but I think the vegan vegetarian community has done so much harm like, for themselves. I'm just going to fight this guy. Just because they kind of just say, like, it's all or nothing. Yeah. And that deters a lot of people. Like, so many people, when they hear that I'm vegetarian, vegan, they're always, they're always like, oh, I would be, but I just like uh, chicken too much. I couldn't pass up chicken. Yeah. And I'm kind of like, you know, you could just eat chicken, <laughs> you know, and not eat other meat. It's okay. Yeah, because I mean, the carbon footprint, all that fun stuff. But I think like yeah, even like, like dairy is like a big issue meat. for a lot of people. But like same as you, it's yeah. just you can just go. I think it's a it's a it's always gonna be a convenience thing. Mm -hmm. Like if people have to go really out of their way to to do this one thing that really has no benefit other than like <laughs> it, if it's not like health I'm, stuff. I'm sorry. I just think it's funny in the middle of this vegan talk, someone just in chat says whopper 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 junior whopper <laughs> <double triple."> <laughs> <laughs> i also saw another message that said hot take veganism Oops. isn't a dietary it's not a diet it's a political stance and, and to a that political stance I, i'll say i'll say it can be i think it's weird to throw everyone else's veganism as your stance. political stance but I mean, I suppose it is more of a left thing to do, but I think I think before it's a political thing, it's just like a um, a cultural societal thing, you know? Yeah. Because I mean, like, food is such a big p part of culture, even like in America, you know, barbecues and eating out at restaurants. Yeah, and, and, you know, sometimes it's beyond food, right? It's just like animal products. Yeah. But I, I think for some people, it genuinely is. Like, I know people who just like genuinely cannot like biologically can't eat meat because he just doesn't something with their body and yeah, i know a couple of people like that too yeah so i think like for them it is just a necessity not even a, a political stance or a dietary restriction i can see the the angle but i think for some people it's less of it, it can just be i really like animals yeah <laughs> and that's i don't want to eat it is them. for like a lot of people like there's yeah. a lot of like vegetarians vegans out there who eat like shit, but they just don't eat meat. <laughs> I like this comment too. It says, I, it, this is all caps by the way. I drink milk all day, every day, and the damn vegans can't stop me. <laughs> See, like, <it's> like <laughs> I'm sure a lot of them would like to stop you, but <laughs> it's really not a big deal. <laughs> I like how they act like they're on the run. <laughs> it's just like oh tostada pushing my mouse oh hi miku she mouse is, she is coming to get attention she's sticking her her tiny little cat butt in my face hi totat big yawn um yeah i think the vegan mob is after him 
<laughs> I, I'll be the first one to say that, yes, I agree that the vegan community can be really intense. I feel like even in like infighting, you know, like yeah. I'm pretty detached from like actual vegan community. I just like eat as little animal products as, as I am comfortable with. I'm making mac and cheese and no one can stop me. <laughs> Go on, I'm sorry. No one can stop me. But it's like, even in the community, like, people will be like, oh, I'm eating this, and then people will be like, that's not vegan enough. You know, I, yeah. I saw before, um, I don't know if it's like still a thing, but years ago when I was way more into veganism and keeping up with it, People would be like, you can't eat normal cane sugar because it comes from palm trees and, or like palm sugar, and that they chop those down and it affects orangutans and it's not vegan. So it's like, nothing is truly vegan. That's just like a weird, like, mm -hmm. power trip people go on. I really, it reminds me of like the, the big twist and like the good place, how nobody is truly good because of unintended consequences. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really just like... Guys, let's just celebrate people changing their diets for for the good. <laughs> for the good of, like, animals and the planet. Yeah, I, I've almost, we've almost, like, horseshoed back around from, like... It's all about intent versus impact, but now I think we should focus on some intent. <laughs> for, like, these issues <laughs> yeah. where it's like... This is someone trying to do a good thing to better their life. It doesn't really involve us. Yeah. I think if you feel like cutting out, like, red meat in your diet or, like, fish or chicken or just, like, one thing makes you feel better and makes you feel like you're doing, mm -hmm. like, good in the planet, then you probably are. And you can keep doing that. And it's... Oh, I forgot I have That's to do... That's a great point. It's just another form of backseating. It's in every community. It is. <laughs> Even in the eating community. <laughs> <laughs> in the food community. <laughs> also, uh, I, I think the that. cap is 31 now. Uh... I don't think I remember... So, I know all the caps up to here. I don't think I know Flannery. I think I... Is it... I know that... I want to say 33, actually. I'm going to lock in 33 as my guess. For Norman? For Flannery. Oh, but we did Flannery. No, I mean, I'm sorry, not Flannery. I'm saying Winona, my bad. Oh, okay, okay. I might bring Ari Yeah, I was thinking Winona. One. I think it's th 31 into 33. And then I think Tate and Liza is like a jump into 42. Yeah, they, they go up pretty high. I think it's 42, and then 8. Juan is... 46? Is that right? Do I actually know these caps? I think we gotta put a Sand Slash away. I like this guy, but he's mm -hmm. not really bringing too much to the table. Yeah, I have played the game a lot, I guess. <laughs> and then I think the champion's what it's 50 I think it's 54 55 56 it's somewhere in there I'll say 56 or is it 80 I think it's 8 I think it's 58 I know it's not 60 I think it's 58 I think the, the melodic E4. the E4 in this game is is pretty whack yeah it's, it starts so low breaks in no match to my Krabby. You're a magic furry. Oh, colon three. Yeah, it's a magical fire magic Crab. furry. Oh no, I've I've seen this before. No. Oh, I didn't realize the crab gets burned. That makes sense. God damn it. It overrides my my water type. Am I still water? I'm just crab. Oh, that was my first mistake. Yeah, you're just a crab. I'm just a crab. How fast is this thing? Oh, I forget that that Yippee is super slow. Alolan curse. Okay. It's a hard gym, huh? I got this. I got this. 
I gotta go heal. My crab died. Will you talk to the guy, though? You're right. I'm just so used to ignoring him. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Don't worry about so just, it, he says. Just, just anything? <coughs> I wasn't scared and now I'm kind of worried because are they just going to... Oopsie. Come on, Jane. Get your head in the game. What's he gonna do to me? Ain't that the question? I always have a route, a route though. I go to the accuracy room, and then I go to the recovery room. And I fight man. I just go. Str I just pick a direction and just. I just go for it. I usually go left and then go straight up. Mmm. Jade hasn't seen your run. I think that might be like the one video of mine she didn't watch because I remember her saying she wanted to be surprised when she watched it, played it. Yeah. I think a lot of people were like that out of my friend group because I like gave them all the run. Oh, Totada. Hi, Totada. She's just standing in front of the screen. Oh, she, she sees my hand. She wants Pat. Uh, crab. Oh, that's just so much more damage. It's like your physical attack stat is so much higher. Yeah, I need, I need like a crab hammer or something. Or just crab rave. Then everything's a crab hammer. You're right. That's such a big claw he has. It's a giant, giant one. I was recently going through like Rivals of Ether workshop to make that intro in my video the other day, and they added Krabby to the game, and his move set's honestly kind of hype. No way. Yeah, they made Krabby pretty sick. <laughs> That's funny. Pretty is nasty he... with it. It seems like he would be hard to hit because he's so small. He do... he is close to the ground. Yeah. Lucario. Oh, whenever I do the twenty-four hour stream, I'll definitely do do another rival CPU tournament. Just a just a dabble into it. Maybe like an eight person, maybe like a sixteen person invitational. Take like <laughs> half the time. Miku needs to have a, a re rematch. Yeah. She what? she she belonged in at least the second round. Eight eight people or sixteen people, eight matches, that's or, yeah, I think that's seven matches, so yeah, that'd be like Previous one was 15 matches, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's how that works. Gotta go heal. Especially if it's single one. I would love to see Thwomp versus Ronald. Well, uh, it wasn't in the video because I thought it was a funnier ending to just end it on that. But we did do the Thug Finals on the stream, and yeah, Thwomp got fucked by <laughs> it was not even close to what you think it could be like it was not <laughs> even remotely doable That's so funny it's crazy that even just the ai knows how to how to nasty that ronald well the ai is like pretty intentional with that a lot of the other characters are just kind of made in the ai is just like kind of just generic whereas mm. ronald is very specifically made to be an AI. Gotcha. Is there an AI that can beat Ronald? Uh, there's barely a human that can beat Ronald. I think with the AI, theoretically, no, unless they are intentionally made to be broken. I can't wait for Rivals 2 Workshop if that ever happens. It's gonna... Mm, wait, if we get Rivals 2 Workshop, it's gonna become the VTuber fighting game. <laughs> you're right. Fairy attack. No, I'm okay. Nah. I think we should have more moves that can go through Protect. I, I was just like... about to say no. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm, just <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was thinking, like, I think it could be cool to have, like, a more competitively viable move that only hits if there's protect. You know, so it's yeah. like the, the opposite gambit. Yeah, I think, like, people, if you say that now, people just get, like, they see red and they see Urshifu. But True. it is strange how he is the one who's allowed to go through protect. No one else is. Yeah. I think it just adds so much more, like, mind games to, it's like, do I put the the only protect hitting moves move on my guy? Because it, yeah. otherwise it's just a useless spot. I think you could do something where it's, like, a low damaging move, but it doubles through protect. Because I think there needs to be some kind of drawback if it's not a read like a correct read yeah well I, i'm thinking like if it's not correct then it doesn't like nothing happens you could also just use taunt they say chat i'm just trying to be whimsical and fun and use my imagination tostado stop playing with my trinkets i think they should nerf or Shifu protect should be protected yeah <laughs> <laughs> i I just can't believe Urshifu is the guy who can always land a crit and always go through protect. Like, why does he get both? Is yeah. Hey, Tostada, stop it. Faint has literally been on a world's winning team before Urshifu. I, I hear you. I hear you. I'm just saying it could be something else. Uh, we're just pitching ideas, guys. We're just being fun and whimsical. Sorry for having a, an imagination, Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'll, my never, bad. I'll never think of anything ever again. Payback can go away. All right. I'm ready. All right, you ready to fight Norman and his very fun and normal gym? Am I? Have you not picked up on it yet? Is it a boring gym? I haven't picked up on anything. I say just keep going. I muted myself. Uh, no. Sounds like what she does not do? know. What, is, what Pokemon do, do he have? Floatzel? Okay. Uh, I can't remember. Water Fluffy Furry. Tostada! Oh my gosh, she's being a nuisance. I need to take her down. Uh, fire, or like, water would have been good. That's fine. Oh, air cutter. You can't warm hug the bird. Oh. I don't get it. I don't know. What is this riddle? I'm just watching. I'm gonna go into... I'm gonna go to my... My beginner starter friend Pokemon. Glomp? My god. Is it because he's only using attacks that are acute and family like? No. Okay. Oh, forgot I have that. Okay. One down. Oh, Lopunny. He can't be a fluffy trainer. That was what Flannery was. Cuddle Slam. No! I need to use my crab. Oh, I need to check. Fluffy Furry. He said, is he a furry trainer? Yes. <laughs> Norman. <laughs> Can't a man have Norman. hobbies? He can. But it's so much different when Norman 
has become kind of like a an like a, a faraway father just to pursue his furry passion. Batman, I got this he's, low pun. He said he, no. He's left his family behind. I so like funny. Stop with the glomps. <laughs> there aren't that many rules against the Pokemon Batman. Krabby. I think Krabby. What's not, also you... funny is I have so many friends who are furries. And same. It's so cool. I'm all for it. But I think it would honestly be a weird <laughs> phenomenon to learn that a parent was a furry, you know? Yeah, it, I feel like it's a just a generational thing that we need to we'll get to eventually. Yeah. Like we're just now hitting as society. Yeah, give it 10 years and it's probably way different. But like right now, I just I just don't think I could I couldn't imagine it with a parent, like one of my parents. No. I feel like maybe it's hard for me because a lot of my furry friends, oh, I got I got to switch out. Don't want kids. Oh, they don't want kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to live their 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 fun little furry life and that's it. Let's bring out Stabby <laughs> against the furries. <laughs> Glomp. Stop! Oh dear. Does Slash work against Fluffy? Come on, low roll. Yes. Ho! Oh, because it's like a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Lucario. Okay. Mm, I need a I need a firestone to get me a, a nine tails for my doggy. Your doggy would be good. Mm. I could warm hug you before you warm hug me. Furry hate hasn't really been prevalent since the mid-2010s. It's mainly microaggressions, the occasional bad apple like the Anthpo video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of... I feel like furry hate is, like, one step worse than the vegan hate, you know? I feel like vegan hate is kind of... You know, it's, like, legacied in, but people don't really give a shit anymore. Yeah. I think it's but also the difference is... is, like, the, quote, like, bad eggs of, like, veganism that you kind of just... Explain, like, try and get other people to be vegan as well. But mm -hmm. I don't think furries are trying ever, I'd ever trying to, like, convert other people to it. Yeah. And uh, I knew that might have happened. So yeah, I think, like, I think it's like they're just they really doing their own thing. Their, they do stay in their own lane, but people mm -hmm. sometimes stumble into the lane. I think that's the, the main problem yeah. there. I would say, like, right now, I. I always feel like very furry adjacent. I feel like I know everything just by being friends with so many furries, and I, I'm I just like a yeah. lot of the designs. But I can confidently say I'm not. And I think when you put all that together, people just don't believe you. <laughs> yeah. And it's like the same thing as, <laughs> you know, I think straight guys will say uh, Ryan Reynolds is attractive. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I think us for like the Anthpo video. I know him well enough to think, like, I think he just didn't think. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a content creator moment of just two in the sauce. Yeah, and you I know? mean... I agree that it was, it was intense. You yeah, know? it was intense. I think I just... I think when I heard about it, I just kind of assumed a lot of it would not be shown. <laughs> yeah. Needless to say, I think the concept of it was really good because I think what he was, I think his, like, the intent was that he wanted to show off that it's, they're very nice and welcoming, but did it in a very less than clear way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think there is also, I think it's, like, hard as well because, um, 
I think when you are trying to like make a over the top funny and entertaining video, of course you want to kind of like make jabs at the thing that is strange. Yeah. You know, air quotes. Whoa. <laughs> but I think like you have to be careful. Yeah, because someone... people will take it the wrong way. Like any negative things if you're not overly positive to combat it. It felt to investigate the alien kind, but like, okay, like take a step back. I think if the video was just centered around, hey, furries have like a, a kind of a back and forth rep to like the greater community and mainly just not a lot of people know about what it looks like on the inside. I'm an outsider, let me show you. And I know it can kind of come off as like some National Geographic type shit, but I, I do think it can just be educational for people outside it to realize, oh, they're very cool. They just, it's, it's <sighs> fun. This is creativity for them, you know? I think the yeah. idea of it is very cool. It just, you know, you know. This battle sucked. I was not prepared for the furry type. Fucking what did... Vaporeon. What about <sighs> Rouge the Bat? What do you want me to say about Rouge the Bat? What do you, <laughs> what do you want me to say? You think it's a checkmate, chat? <laughs> it's, uh... Like, I think there are, are exceptions. <coughs> I think especially when you grew up, you were exposed to so little. So when you're playing Sonic Adventure 2 and you get big titty bat, you go, that's the most I've ever seen of a woman. <laughs> Ari was not the play. I need a different Pokemon. I think Lola Bunny, Rouge the Bat don't count. Especially if it was consumed in your adolescence. I also heard some people say, like, Jessica Rabbit is furry bait, and that that's just a woman who that's has the last name that, Rabbit. It's literally just, like, it, like, d d does she sometimes wear, like, bunny ear, he like, headband? She, is that what it is? It's just, like, we say, let's pick a woman who's depicted as the most beautiful woman in this world. And, and she just married a rabbit. Yeah, she's the furry, but she's not <laughs> furry bait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think people just stretch the term for furry a lot. Yeah. It's and also it's also the weird like, gotcha, you know? Yeah. It's also like, oh, you you think the the cartoon character with massive, massive, like, melons and a, a <laughs> hourglass figure and, like, you think that's sexy? Gotcha! <laughs> what are we trying to prove here? Yeah, because, I mean, I feel like, especially as a kid, like, it's so common to have uh, crushes on, like, cartoons that aren't even close to being, like, anthropomorphic. Like, I know a lot, heard a lot of people say, like, Simba Nala stuff growing up as well. Mm-hmm. But I think that it's just, it's just whatever. Aww. I thought I had Thunderbolt, but this is Thundershock. They just all paralyze. <laughs> yeah, it's that one hug. <laughs> Why does what is Glomp? What is it? I think what it's the like, fuck is this? <laughs> uh, if you check L, you can check it out. You can check. Bruh, this is not thirty percent. I've seen enough. Have you? Let me bring out my my crab. No, I need my my steel type. What do you have? Do you have this sharp type? You have a yeah. slash. Maybe the sword dance. Slash, slash and sword dance. Oh, I just realized just it's so still hone edge. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. I'm gonna just slash and see what happens. Please, let me use my move. Please! Thank God. Oh, okay. big hit. Pretty huge. I just don't have any more cherry berries. Lucario. 
What did I use to beat Lucario? Maybe it was... I think it was just Freddy. One-shot it. Cuddle slam. You think you can out-furry Freddy? Ah! He out-furried Freddy. <laughs> Bruh! Oh my god. Stop with the glomps! I didn't realize he can flinch. Perish. Oh yeah, you got it this time. I don't know which typing of Lucario is weak to fluffy type. Um, I was gonna... <laughs> the one Pokemon I brought for the Vaporeon. Um... Mm, I'll just keep Freddy in. Yeah. I would like to paralyze it at least. Oh, the warm hug would go far. Can you get yeah. one in? <laughs> I forgot that I'm weak to, to water. Uh, we can bring out Yippee, maybe. I don't know. Just like bulk battle. How does square flower work? I feel like... How does Silly, Silly go into this matchup? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Silly... I hope it's not resisted. Please. Okay. I felt the confusion coming. Oh, shit! Oh, so you can be a little Silly. Oh, oh he's scared! He's scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does she does catch the Silly? No way, it's a furry Silly interaction. No, 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 no. A water strong. That's gotta here. be a liquid? It's gotta be... Is Can liquid... Maybe? Uh, because furries are silly. I don't think there's really yeah, an yeah, interaction yeah. here. Hmm. But we can go to Bubble Beam. Yeah, Bubble Beam's the play here. You can handle a couple slams for sure. Oh, no, Oh, I, I was so wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. I definitely thought... But we can go to... You can even give her a haircut. Oh, wait, you're right. <laughs> I think I have Metal Claw on this thing. Yeah. No, wait, that's not sharp, that's steel. Yeah, no, I was no wondering what the, the play was, but... Ah, uh, I'll take... <laughs> Awful day. I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh. I can take one more glomp. Just hit her. No! Cl Krabby! Huge! Krabby, this is your chance! Okay, huge bubble it. beam. Ah, Ooh, one just that more. low special or low special attack stat. Ah, I need a, a physical water move. Ah. I think we got it, though. I think there's like two Pokemon left, maybe. Yeah, I think you make it out. Just get a get a haircut. I'm gonna unparalyze. Um, Stabby. Oh, I see. Stinky Rat is st uh, standing tall, though. <laughs> On all fours, proudly. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know Stinky Rat was weak to. To f fluffy or furry or whatever. Oh, huge! Oh, big damage. It was a it was a tactic. Slash. Oh, I should have sword stance. I should have. I thought about it. Maybe this is. This is big damage though. It might be all the oh, same. Yeah. Yeah. Chevy is strong. I like this first chat message that says, Gee whiz, it's my queen. <laughs> Are they talking about Low Bunny? <laughs> I think they're talking about Low Bunny. Uh, okay. Slash. Uh. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, Shadow, Shadow Sneak. Sneak, please. No, you have a chance here. Please. 
<laughs> That's a close one. Stabby, you did it. Stabby the goat. And iron defense? Maybe. Eh, no. Yeah, I like what you got. No. I don't want to talk to you, Dad. <laughs> oh, now I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to you either. How are you feeling? I feel like that's a... Oh, oh I forgot Latios. about this plot. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's here now. What? Just, just dancing around, scuffling around like a little rat. Mm -hmm. Overpowered. That's the only word I read in that... Uh, okay. Do you feel like that's like a good halfway point? You wanna? I think that's a good point to end. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna play It Takes Two tomorrow, so if we wrap early, maybe we can do a little more of this. Mm-hmm. That was a good, that was a good session, I feel. Yeah. Uh, the rest of it might or might not happen on stream. Uh, if I'm busy, Jaden's gonna finish it on her own, because like, She's just kind of doing it because she has to, but I'm getting a stream because it lined up. But uh, yeah, it was mm -hmm. fun. It's fun revisiting this game because it's hard to like replay it again. But if I get to play with someone for their first time, it's yeah, fun. I had a great time. I like this silly little game. It's a fun little guessing game above all else. It really is. It's it use it makes me use my brain with Pokemon, which yeah, so normally unfortunate. I don't do. <laughs> but thank I you. like all the guys. I can't wait to see more. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, I want to see which of my friends is doing something. I see Doug is doing a charity event for Little Otter. Otter? Yeah. Cute. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll go tell Doug. What, what, what do we even... I don't know. Maybe just some OOs. Maybe we just drop some OOs. It feels relevant for what we did. Mm-hmm. Either we were talking about lines today. Uh, we had a change of plans. You're a little late. Um, <laughs> You're, we're also done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, Jaden and I will play It Takes Two. We say we'll finish. We might be lying. We'll see. I uh, think we're skilled enough gamers to finish it. Yeah, we'll see. Anyways, tell Doug I said hi, and let's raise money for a tiny little otter. Okay, bye, friends. Bye-bye.